I don't see the. I don't see. Oh, you're going. reading the bars. There we go. There we okay. go, man. You feel me? Back on fig and this motherfucker, man. Big oranges in the chat one time. Yeah, I can see yeah. the bars in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heather in here with me, man. No smack in here with me, man. It's all good. But we got my boy Blasi in the building. We in this bitch. Yeah. Listen, bro. Yeah. I just want to say one thing. Like, I've done like an episode at each different part of the set, right? As far yeah. as like your your stage. You know, I, I went to the uh, the first spot on the babe couch. I went to the crib, and just to see this shit here, bro, it's crazy. Like, I don't think, I don't know if people give you enough flowers as you, as you feel it's appropriate, but this shit's dope. Damn. This is hard. This is better than, bro, you can't even walk into a store at the mall and see this shit. What? <laughs> I, I, I wish my quarter store looked like this, bro. What? I sat back here and I'm like, God damn. Oh no, we just had a yeah. We you had a reflection right now. I was like, damn, yeah, man, this I just is crazy. Had to reflect right now, all the stuff in here, how far we came, man. But yeah, yeah man. No, Big congratulations, in the chat, man. I see the W's in the chat. I got the TV now. Don't worry about nothing. I can see y'all, man, going on one time. But Heather, man, what you got for us? Yerna, it's a beautiful fucking Friday today. We have my boy. Well, we have the host. T-Rail in the building. We got our Kanye. We got, you know, you know, we got our Kanye Blasey in the building. Woo. And we have me, Heather, the co-host in the motherfucking building. Yeah, yeah we in this. Shout it out, man. That's the introduction right there. <laughs> yeah, man. So I'll, I'll, before we even got into this, I was like, should we take the shot before the show or... Right when we get into this, we're gonna take a shot, man, right now, man, because it's a long time coming for my boy, man. Yeah, I was just telling T Real, I don't even do podcasts, you know, like I'll come through, I'll chime in, share my story to a different, you know, platform every now and then. But as far as conversation, the last time I did something similar to this was with T Real, you know what I'm saying, about like 12 months ago. So it's only right we came full circle and did it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm messing with my boy, he in here, he in here, man. I love this. Yeah, come on. Cheers, cheers, yeah. cheers, cheers. Hey, y'all got a shot in the back? <clears throat> Woo! Golly! Oh, fuck. Who? what's this? I'm hoping that's right. It's, it's... That's more alcohol? Mm-hmm. She going, she killing it. Golly. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need a Coke for sure. Oh, for sure. fuck. Coke Zero is the best. That shit just smacks different. I ain't gonna lie, Coke Zero. I fuck with him, fam. Woo, the Coke, yeah, everybody love Coke Zero, I wonder why. I mean, it, it, it's it's all the uh, the marketing and shit, you know, the aspartame, no sugar kind of thing, like. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, because I, I didn't know the whole little full background on why everybody like Coke Zero. I'm like, yeah. that's what I'm not drinking. Give me a regular Coke. Nah, right. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a fan of the Zeros, I ain't gonna lie to the you. The Zeros, the Zeros, okay, you know Yeah, what but saying? fuck all that shit, bro. How has everything been with you, you feel me, on the platform, or... I feel like I, I, no, I, I shouldn't go out and ask you questions. But I <laughs> no, no, it's good. I love that because you're doing it up, man. I mean, like I said, it's it's a long time coming. Like you said, you've been in like every like every little spot with us. You feel me? Like uh-huh. every motion, you was there, man. You feel me? Like and you know, coming from the little room, just starting. Then going to back on fig, you feel me? And, you know, having an all orange room and how I felt when I got right on stream and how everybody was just like showing so much love. And then to here, you feel me? Like yeah. the, to this room, because it's wild because out this room is even crazier. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When you walk out this yeah. room, it's even wild. You know what I'm saying? It's all crazy. business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it's big fire. business going on, man. And, you know, we trying to build something big, like, you mm-hmm. know, like. Nah, clearly yeah, I see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I ain't trying to be a small fry and this shit, trying to be, you know, taking this shit, you know, and yeah, not being serious. That. Like, nah, I'm trying to really do this shit. You know, when I used to talk to y'all at, uh, when Redacted. I used to be at No Jumpering, oh, okay. or whatever the case may be, I used to be like, nah, nigga, I'm trying to be the best. Y'all yeah. niggas used to be looking at me like, <laughs> like, this fool crazy, like, yeah. But, but, you but know, no, you actually act, went in, yeah. head and fucking figured it out. You know what I'm saying? You out here fucking popping. Listen, I ain't gonna yeah. lie, bro. Like, it, it's just great to just see your shit, man. Just chilling on TikTok one night and just seeing your clips, you know, from anonymous uploaders. Like, that's dope. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Where it's just like, you guys got real fans. Y'all create real dialogue and conversation, you know? So, like, I want to give my flowers, you feel me? Thank you, Blasi. Yeah. want to give y'all your oranges. Back on Fig fans are next level. Fig Community World fans are next level. They, like, support crazy. Like, I've gotten oh, yeah. so many new fans. Because, you know, I already, ha- I already come from what I do and I have my fans there but 
gaining these new back on Fig Fig Community World fans. Yeah, different I type mean, of just love. in general, like podcasting, right? Podcasting, just like yeah. the whole thing. Like I came from kind of that same thing where it's just designing and that's really 99% of what people knew me for so right. whenever I got on camera not only was I able to amplify what I got going on but people got to learn about like my personality they got to figure out who I was as a person and they checked in or checked out whether they liked me or not like okay I fuck with it let me let give them a chance let me shop up but um you know like podcasting has definitely like leveraged my whole shit you know what I mean like what? Come on, like... And I, I love you guys over there, man, because, I, you know, I, I got something in common with all of y'all over there. What's I, that? You know, it just being fresh, oh, fashion, God. creativity, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Chilling with You the come homies, for that background. What? Come smoking, on. Yeah. You know, like, but that's how you get creative, just talking to your homies. Mm-hmm. Everybody got something in common. I, man, and it's just, it's dope to go over there in that, in that environment over I ex- there with y'all. I explain that to everybody, bro. I feel like the only way you can really be creative, designs, you gotta just be around people. You gotta crack jokes. Yeah. You gotta yeah. be on the road. You gotta, that, that's, that's where the best products come from. Yeah. You know what I mean? You guys just might say some funny shit. I'm just quick to just write it down. My ideas ain't better than anyone's in the chat. They'll tell you themselves, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. But it's just the fact that like I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, fall through with the plan and shit like that. But, you know, it's done me well. But like I said, this podcast is just fun, you know? Like, I And I, I like to just, uh, you know, I feel like they're two different worlds sometimes. Like, it's easy to kind of, like, see it as a gray space, just you, General, T-Rail, Blazzy. But, uh, you know, I've learned to, like, separate my identities almost, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm way more myself, way more fun on here. You know, it's all business on the internet, though, you know what I mean? So, no, like, on Instagram, that is. I get to be myself. Yeah. Like, it's just me, 100% me. And then when they see me, like, in real life, they're like, damn, nigga, this nigga really is, he really the same. I'm like, you know what's crazy? It's built a certain kind of love and family. Feel yeah. some camaraderie with you know it's just like it's just the the shit that you building with the fans it's so crazy like but what she said you know like she said you know it's the internet thing you may take some pictures of influencer thing but here it's just like more love mm-hmm. and I just you know I feel it a lot you know what I mean uh, for sure what and yeah. you got you got also remember like I mean I saw this amazing video on YouTube there did about as far as like just podcasting and how the audience builds a relationship with like the creators yeah. you know that it's called uh being polysocial you know what I'm saying because it just feels like they're kicking it with you in the room you don't really get to hear their story but they know all about you so yeah. when they see you the vibe even you feel their vibe it's like man I feel like I, we've been kicking it for a minute I haven't seen your ass in a minute you know what I mean when the truth is it's like they've just they've just learned so much about you that they already know how to approach you and they know which jokes to crack and it's yeah. like yeah like they coming up saying so wow shit like, yeah and it's what? like you hear me I'm like nigga what's the deal I like, know <laughs> we was baking the cake on uh, Valentine's Day uh-huh. and the oh, girl yeah. she was she you know shout out to I don't know if you watching right now but shout out to you and your fiance, shout out to the cake husband. girl or whatever the case may be. She was like, I just didn't want to say nothing, but I'm just so big fans of y'all. And we baking a cake with, you know, we the got class this class. Like oh, that's the cake one y'all did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then she, you know, and it's just surprising the people that just, that love us. And she was like, and her and her husband was like, man, she be in the house talking about all type of shit, y'all <laughs> lingo and all type of stuff. And he told her, say it. And she was like, you know what I mean? Oh, and she was shit. so fucking funny, She's dog. like, low budget. She was so cute. Can I ask you a real question? Yeah. Why haven't you made a plush with a button, with a urine button? We got it, but I be doing so much shit, though. But you know, That I'll, needs to come out. That's selling yeah, out. Everyone yeah. in the chat is going to buy one. They'll tell you. Button. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just you like that. Like. See, that's why I need to be around you more, cuz. And this is all we do. We just conversate. That's how products yeah. come up. We just made <laughs> six figures on that. Come on, man. Yeah, well, I need to be around you more, homie. Yeah, you be doing yeah. it up, dog. The thing about me, well, this is something that I'm just trying to, like, break this year. It's like last year, I feel like the last five years of my career, like, I, I built it online. And um, what I'm trying to do is just go out more. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I've always been uh, against networking. I always thought, like, you know, like, for what? I already got my shit going on. I'm already busy. But it's like, no, you're able to to learn about how other people... Anyone who makes money online, you could learn from them. Whether they make music, whether they, they sell burgers or sell hot dogs, you could learn from somebody just making money off the internet. They could teach sure. you something, no matter what part they're in. So that's kind of something... I don't know what this correlates with the conversation, but that's something I'm trying to get into this year is just like... Just be around more people, you know. I'm, I am isolated, you know. I kind of I'm in a shelter situation where I'm just at the office and at my crib. I love living a, a a binary lifestyle like that, you know what I'm saying? Where that's all I do, 
just Same. I'm addicted. Uh, it, it's an addiction, you know. What I mean, it's a lifestyle. Um, but I need to break that lifestyle and, and develop on it, and you know, bring more people around. You know, you're able to uh, to get more ideas. I, w- I would have thought about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, you already got you that still shit. Still gotta kind of be selective on where you're going and what you're doing when you when you out trying to build relationships. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit be burnt it's, out. It's be like, I be know, burnt. I be in burnt. some burnt out rooms, and I'm like, what what am I doing right now, bro? Like, That's how I feel when I go out. Yeah. That's exactly how I feel. Yeah. I feel exactly like you because I don't go out. Yeah. Never. You only see me on the internet. You yeah. know, like, I've never You got out. this big-ass spa. You got your crib. Like, what? Come yeah, on. Yeah, my kids. But that was one of my yeah. goals, too. Like, just to be out, be in the streets more, let people see us, let people feel your vibe. Mm. Like, they love you on the internet, but when they see you in person, they'll love you even more. Yeah. So I went out. I went to, like, one of my friend's birthday randomly. Went to her birthday, met somebody, was talking to her the whole night, and then ended up, I got an email the, the following Monday, like, hey, I work for this, this company. We would love to, you know, do a brand deal with you. And I'm like, see what I get when I go out? Yeah. Like, I just made my head me up. some money. I used that to, fast, going out, being nice, talking. This It sounds ignorant to say, but I used to really think that, like, networking, like, only was for, like, like small like 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 yeah. zero like level zero you know individuals like creators people it's who are kinda, just starting it, it, off it's kind of ignorant to say though right? it, it's very ignorant yeah, to say i mean because yeah. now i've been experiencing yeah. the last three months and it's like but it don't matter yeah. what the where you at in your position like you could always use networking and like like i said like i'm i'm breaking that out of me like i spent the last like three years just sheltered dark ass room with a laptop you know what i mean with a yeah, big yeah. old right next to me like it's time to just step outside meet people and you know get a, a perspective on where different people come and you, you you strike new ideas like that as well you know yeah, yeah man you know what i mean shout out my boy blazzy here in the building one time you oh, feel God. me big oranges in the chat man we in here man with I, our new setup yeah. y'all yeah. notice that terrell is not in the front of the camera oh, oh yeah it. that's what yeah because you know i'm so used to seeing you you know, yeah, I'm over here, my, yeah. you know and that's crazy now that i'm sitting here in the back just chilling it's just like Y'all niggas just be looking at the back of my head. <laughs> That's how I really y'all be, be really though. going crazy. You know I mean? Like, yeah. y'all be looking at the back of my head. I'll be over there talking crazy. And y'all just be talking with me. But y'all just really looking at me like that. That's weird as fuck. But well, fuck it. I'm in here. I mean, the whole concept there. of this shit kind of low. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. man. <laughs> I like here. You no, like I to love, sit back here? I love this. This is crazy. <laughs> this is comfy. I'm gonna almost fuck around and lay down. You don't have to control the camera. You don't have to control the yeah. So it's the first time y'all y'all had this set up like, yeah. back man. right here? Yeah. Okay, for sure. Yeah. I like well shit, I'm honored to uh to, to break in the new uh, yeah, exactly. uh the new the new layout, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, this moment right here. but hell yeah, man, shit. We we That's out here, thing. you know. Visiting my boy. Listen, I I didn't think that uh, uh that traffic was gonna uh, harm me, but no, nah, that shit that shit real deal. He said, uh, this side. he said, uh, bro, I'm gonna leave right now. I said, you better hurry your ass up. It was like two something. He thought it was like gonna be cool. I'm like, nah, you better come down, nigga. Traffic is wild. Yeah, out here, man. Man. I flew out here though, man. But I'm glad I'm up here though for sure. Man, yeah, yeah man. I, I see the here. W's in the chat, man. I tell you, I got my TV back, man. It's sitting here. I got my TV back. I see the W's in the chat, man. I appreciate all y'all, man. Big Orange is in the chat one time. You feel me? Oh, make sure God. y'all like this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, if you just new to the channel. But run the likes up, y'all. Run the likes up. Run, get us run in the, the uh, likes up. Yeah, get us in the uh hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let's actually set a discount code for a, a like. Uh, or like w- w- what should we do oh y'all want a discount code yeah we're gonna oh. do like 30 percent or something like that we're gonna have fun how many likes okay that's up to you let's a decent two- cha- a rewarding challenge to your viewers you know i don't know what, you, what we should do two thousand likes two thousand likes discount code on nothing personal oh god we're doing 33 percent now let's go two the nothing personal shop excuse me the nothing personal shop you know C6 right here Search the it. nothing personal shop 33% yeah, man. off man we get to 2,000 likes yes, right sir. now yes sir make sure y'all do that man look at the fire look at the fire emojis in the chat let's do it yeah we in y'all this see bitch, my man. boy we got a little bit yeah. for the crib and for I your I got all of that yeah though. man come look, on hold on nigga what the fuck yeah you, you would think it was about? Christmas earlier yeah right. man, hold on nigga I still got all my oh, shit oh hey and my daughter look my daughter that million stack they're talking about it was 500 the other day on grill. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that nigga, one right there. I got there. all my shit right here. And nigga, my daughter done fucked it up. You know what I'm saying? And I'll, I'll make sure I still, like, keep them. You 
feel nah, me? you really, nah, you really got it, bro. I appreciate yeah, that man. shit. You got the million stack right yeah. here. Yeah. You feel me? Like, oh I god. I nothing personal shit. Don't That's worry right. About that. Yeah, yeah and you got box. Ashley. Yeah, you got the Ashley. Ash on me, Ashley. Yeah. There's some items in here for sure. We, we broke Come our on. tongue, though. Yeah, what, ha- oh. what happened with the uh, hey, bro? You know we what it is? Too hard. We asked yeah, it, too it's hard. motherfuckers right. asking too hard. I don't, I don't know if it's some perverted shit or what. But like, it's all the freaky homies. Too hard. Listen, it's all that put it in her mouth. I know who's like who's cool and who's freaky based on the homies that hit me up saying, "Hey, bro, hey, hey pops," and then you actually my sh- the, the tongue broke. I'm like, how the fuck the tongue break off, bro? It's ash. And I mean, you be we doing it. it, yeah. Might put your thumb on it. Oh, how heavy is this shit? Anyway, I think I was picking it up and I fucked it up. I ain't even gonna. Did the same thing happen with the cars? Because uh, the car has lit right now. Well, the car, the cars. My son actually thought that was a real toy and just threw that motherfucker. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and it broke like. And that I just then? was looking at that motherfucker drop slow, and it was just dropping slow. Nah, then we the need to. Just fell off, and I was like, "Damn, we that shit wild. welded." Listen, there's someone in the chat you who does welding out here. Yeah, oh god. <laughs> Who got the hot glue? Come on. Bro, he broke this, y'all. This is what he broke, And y'all. what I do want to say was cool, what I came into earlier today, was seeing Trevor. I never see him so excited. Man, Trevor what, was drunk. Y- y'all be feeding him bang energy and, like, Tito's Trevor or some shit. I don't know what's going on. Trevor off the shots, nigga. You feel me? I've never seen Trevor talk that fucking much <laughs> in my life. He, 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 had, he had a grin from one year to the other, man. Like, I don't know what was going on. He was, Trevor was talking. He was giggly. cussing. He was calling six a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> he was doing a lot. Why was he so on your head today, six? Trevor and Mark, and he trying to be like the big dog now? Oh, oh man. Oh, him and he Six was on arguing, Six of that. Man. He, he asked Six to come on his show, be a part of uh, Out of Focus, and oh, then they, they start the arguing. Check, I think that was your little oh, event. Check. You, said, you said no? I said cut the check, nigga. <laughs> Wait, what's the rate? What's the rate? Hey, we were talking on camera, bro. Oh, oh, man. Man. That nigga, that nigga got to just cut the check for my boy, man. It's about six for six. Yeah, yeah go man. ahead, my boy. Let's Let do it. Let me get shot, too. Six yeah, six. yeah. Yeah, I'll serve myself. Yeah, man. Oh, uh, yeah, nah, but it's good to see all y'all out here, you know. Who I really have I think I saw AD for a second. I be seeing Duno every now and then. Yeah, that's Duno. why I would be seeing like at an yeah, event. Y'all, or, y'all, y'all Mexican, that's why. Yeah, oh God, yeah. It, it just be around the way. For some reason, I'll be like, man, this nigga Blasi ain't Mexican, dog. Do you take your hat off? I'll be like, nah, he's Mexican. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> no, I, I, I think I look Mexican now, but people used to like. Uh, like really you all actually, Edgar, dog. Yeah, well, my you hair was a little long. You me Edgar, dog. Nah, what nah, you mean? Nah, you Edgar, dog. Nah, my hair was like like sixes length at one moment. I ain't gonna lie it to you. Was, like, you did have a but flame. then I started looking at myself in the camera. I'm like, this ain't, that, this ain't it. This ain't it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That my shit gave me a wake up call. I gotta grow some hair out. You know what I mean? Oh, that yeah. is funny. Well, my boy Blazzy in here. He got some things for us. He man, he showed. He got some. He he, he came brought through. a lot of merch. He brought a lot, a lot of, of stuff. gifts. And that's that's one thing that's in my son room too. Like my son even got the nothing, nothing personal. Oh, and it's really a dirty clothes hamper. He really using it as what it's supposed I to be. Love that's that right. Dirty clothes no, I, for, for, for real. Right. Like you know, carrying it downstairs. Like we all be fucking with it. I'm sometimes you forgetting. Like damn, Blazzy made this shit. That's why I said, make sure. You have your shit. You feel me? Break, bring some more shit in this motherfucker, bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because I love all your shit, dog. Yeah. I love it. Oh, love no, we got to give you a bigger box. So it was just stuff we had at the office. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, now we, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're excited to grow and just keep developing these products. But that, that's really what, what it all comes down to for me at the end of the day, you know? Yeah. So I keep making good, these moments. Good products and doing mm-hmm. good, man. Yeah, I, I feel like people are so obsessed with just making, like, one item or just, like, you know, they're so hell-bent on, like, this is the thing and there's nothing else in this world that's going to make me rich but this. Mm-hmm. When it's like the truth is, bro, you got to have a hundred of those things. What? One of them bitches for sure. Most of them bitches for sure going to hit, but that's the way to do it. You know, and then I'm just, I'm just... Just constantly just trying to chase that that high of just creating new product, bro. And having that moment, man. What that, that shit that shit I mean, feels but you right. You recently just won like uh, best designer. Yeah, Avon Space. Yeah. Uh, man, shout out to Avon Space. That they've been a, a platform I've been supporting for like seven years. You know, um, they they interviewed me when they had like a like a thousand followers. But anyways, great platform. They're they're big as fuck now. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was honored. I mean, I think it's ironic because it's like, you know. 
I uh, I come from that graphic design background and I kind of developed this product side of me like the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it, it just blows my mind that like now I'm finally getting like identified as a designer. You know what I mean? Yeah. When it did take years for me to kind of like break that uh, uh, that title, you know, because that's, that's how it came up. That's, that's how people know me. Do you feel like me. people don't, don't, don't identify you as a designer because... The shit that you design and mostly it's because it's almost like uh, the table accessories or yeah. just accessories, period, to where people feel like, you know, maybe it's clothes identify people as designers. Yeah. Garments like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel I feel like, yeah, that, you know, th th that's definitely subjective right there for sure, where it's like, yeah. you know, are we talking about clothing or is it just generally just designers? Like, I don't know if, if I am considered a designer for making, you know, some ashtrays or something that just sits there. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, it's always interesting to see people, how people define it, you know, because, you know, some might, some might, some people might call me just like a great designer, like I said, some people might call me just artist, you know what I mean, as far as just like, these are just pieces, these are items, so it's always interesting to see where people get it, but when they call me the best designer, man, I was like, man, it's just crazy because, you know, I went through a lot last year and I feel like I didn't get a chance, if you ask me, I feel like I operated at like, I'm gonna say like 60% of what I should have done, you know what I mean, but so, it, but it was my most successful year last year. <clears throat> Uh, craziest as far on all metrics, you know what I mean? All sell the items, you know what I mean? It was a blessing, but you know, with that being said, it's like a, a you know, it, it, it's it's funny seeing people like fuck me on that, but me knowing that I could have gone crazier, it's like what the fuck, you know what I mean? I don't know, but I don't know where this shit went to, but no, 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 yeah. that's good. You feel me? I mean, because you know, a designer. Even when I seen you, I mean, you you opened my eyes to a lot of different shit too. Cause I didn't. People do design fucking accessories. Yeah. You know what? what yeah. Shoes. Not enough. You know what Not what enough people. Not table enough. shit. Yeah. yeah. That's Even why books. It's so cool. All this yeah. shit on the table. Like we need that type of shit. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? well, like to complete the vision. As I get older, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know. You guys could relate. You guys, every, every time you step out, go somewhere. You guys leave with four shirts and a hoodie. You know what I mean? And the ski mask people give you. Yeah. And it's like my my closet's full to the brim and. And I fucking run a brand at the end of the day, just like y'all, you know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, I'd rather wear that. Long story short, I'm starting to look at like my tabletop and finding ways where it's like, okay, if people's closets are jam-packed, because people are constantly buying, you know, you buy more shirts than you throw away, you know what I mean? Um, then I just want to, you know, fill those gaps for people. These are still uh, items that most people don't even like bother even making still. Like, what? No, the you you, I, I would have imagined people would have made, like, I would have had, like, a, a healthy ecosystem, a bunch of ashtray designers at this point, you know? Careful what you wish for, but, you know, it, it, it's just products still that people just kind of scratch their heads at. I think what it is, no one wants to wait, like, nine months to a year to develop something, which is kind of, like, to my point where I was talking about as far as, like, last year, it's like, products that came out you know what i mean every you know we had a drop we did a total of uh, 24 drops last year 40 products um all most of those designs most of those items were designed like a year before you know what i mean the products we dropped it today were designed last year um <clears throat> so i don't think people want to wait fucking 12 months to release something you know but i think that's where our, I kind of, I kind of win. Is I, I rather play the waiting game. I'd be patient, you know, on these be products. Patient. You got to put fifty, sure. in, yeah. Because I used to hate like some of my best products. They take are forever. Made in China, they're made yeah. in Italy, they're made in Australia. But I'm like, fuck, I have to wait so long to get this product, and I want it now. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, but my best products are the ones that I've waited for. So yeah. it is worth it. Sure. Well, hundred percent. It's it's a it's it's a big investment. You know, Th thank God that uh you know nothing has left me in the red as far as any product. You know. Well, that's amazing. Well, due to the manufacturing deals and all this shit. I mean, if if you wait your if you wait your time, you'll get a deal. You know what I'm saying? You'll what get, is the manufacturing deal? Uh, I'm saying as far as we'll just like like, like yeah, pricing, like like yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Where it's yeah, like grow yeah. relationship. With yeah, them. you know that they could tell that like they don't you don't mind waiting an extra month, you know. But is it, the, the the tricky part about it is like like for instance like you know something we uh, a cool product we might mention today. It's like we have that bingo moment right now, but once it comes out in a year, you've already past that honeymoon phase of just seeing this product all day so when it comes out it might be a little bit tough to promote it you know what yeah. i mean so that that's the situation that i'm at right now sometimes with products where it's like you know all the stuff that we make we're kind of forecasting how we feel a year in advance you know so but we we do a good job of trying to like figure out like 
creating things that like would make sense a year from now, two years from now, because it's like, yeah, these things take forever. I learned that from my boy Cass at, uh, his name's Color Formula, uh, the designer at Glow Game, which in my opinion, man, Chief Keith don't get enough credit. He, he's developed a brand that, um, you know, no other rapper has, where it's like, this is my own shit that I got, that don't gotta have my face all over it. You Shout know what I mean? This Chief is Glow I got my own universe with all these figures, all these yeah. toys. All these items. I didn't even know he had a brand. Yeah, yeah. no, it's 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 huge. They got they got popping hoodies, great products, and um, you know, I asked him. I was like, "Yo, uh, Cass, like, how do you do it, bro? Like, how the fuck are y'all able to drop so often?" He's like, "What you gotta do, Blaz? You just put fifty things in in the in in the system. You know, you gotta have fifty items you look forward to. That way, you gotta stay look forward to every week." I heard that at the beginning of last year, and that shit made me successful last year. Yeah. Shout out to Colorful Mula. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. You know what yeah. I mean? Because like. Yeah, prior to that, I was trying products every two, three months. Oh, I'm going to figure it out. Ashley, Chapo, you know what I mean? Little items like that. Then I got that conversation spoken to me, and I was like, okay, no, nah, it's time to drop every nah. two weeks. Yeah. And you're smacking with it. What? Smack and these are with. all items that live on their own. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm, I'm trying to, you know, the, the, uh, the, the key to a great product is you want to create something that everybody wants but nobody has. Mm. You mean that that's... If if that if your product fits into that equation, then you got one. You know what I mean. If not, don't drop it. You know, give sell it to Zoomies or something like that. You know, my boy <laughs> in there, man. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, bro. You feel me? Shout out to Chief Keith because you know, <laughs> crazy. I didn't tell nobody, but he was supposed to come to our first. Never show that. Here. What? Yeah, it was just like we was supposed to work. Friend. Like that's crazy. It was like, damn, my first show up and I had Chief Keith in that motherfucker. I was like, when I woke up, I was like, I ain't even gonna, buy, I ain't even gonna act like it's this true because I don't want nothing to happen. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those, you, you know how motherfuckers be canceling. Well, no, no. You know what I mean? I mean, it, l l let's keep it 100. It's Chief Keith. He hasn't done an interview in like, yeah. Years and years, you can't even find it. You'll see shit from him when he was 16. He's like 28 now, you know what I mean? Like, he does not do no yeah, camera. He don't do shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he don't go on no platforms and do no content. So, for him to even like entertain or tell you. Consider like, that shit. Yeah, what, yeah. bro? That, yeah, that it's deeper like, than Cardi. <laughs> the, I'll, I'll argue, man, there's more Cardi interviews than there is uh, Chief Keith. Oh, What's God. up, man? Someone fact check my ass. Come on. Yeah, oh, God. I'm like, ah, oh, but when they was like, oh, yeah, he's going to uh, cancel today. I was like, yeah, I'm already. You know, don't even worry about it. But thank you. I got the relationship. It's sick. So one day, man, you feel me? Nigga might fucking fall up in this bitch, though. But yeah, make sure y'all get this motherfucker to 2,000 likes. and giving away 33%. Yeah, let's go. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to none personal blasting in this bitch. Let's see what products that y'all can get 33% off right now. He got some of the box. So this is, yeah, let's this is a reflection of a couple products. The whole site will Grab be on 33 for y'all. Um, But these are a couple yeah. of them. They, they, they pull them out real quick. You know what I'm saying? Grab me some. Grab me some. Yeah, I'll grab that box with you. Two! We in here sitting I on the couch. I forgot you, though. Wow. I am too. Fuck. <laughs> hey, uh, I've been drinking all nah. day. All day? You just worked out. I work, yeah. Hey, one thing. One thing about me oh, though is God. like it takes like a shot or two for me to like get there, yeah, yeah get there because you're a smoker not a drinker. yeah yeah, yeah. I feel I'll get dr I'll get blackout drunk once a year I'll get drunk maybe every month you know what I mean? once a month Same. you yeah, know what yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. so actually, like so when I do sip it that should be fucking me up but I'm down to tap in you know I see everybody in this motherfucker talking about uh. 50% off, you feel me? <laughs> hey, if y'all get to... Hold on, hold on. We can talk about it because, you know, most of these, most these products, were, you know, it's good already. We can do 50%. We get to, what do you think, 5? 50? That's, that's a deal. That is five? Like half off? Yes, yeah, 5,000 likes. We giving 50% off. You know what I'm saying? Let's nothing do this personal. Shit. Don't worry about nothing. Don't worry about it. That, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Don't worry about nothing. So these are one of the products, man. We got the good laundry bag. Listen, this is one of my favorite items. The best see. You're not going to find a laundry pack bigger than this shit on Amazon. Nope. I, I promise you. This shit comes through. I got like three of them. You know, I got one for the for the color shirts. I got one for the white items. I, I got shit for the towels. You know what I mean? I, I love these. That shit is so good. I it's be so dragging good. it down the stairs. It's still <laughs> handles I threw this. Yeah. I ain't going to lie to you. Oh, I threw this motherfucker downstairs. It's like a potato sack. What? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Great. Yeah. I threw that it. bitch downstairs, homie. I ain't gonna lie. And to this you. is one of those products where it took six months of like, okay, let's get all these buttons correctly. Let, let's figure this shit out. You know what I mean? And let's see if this shit sits properly. Yeah. You know? And we have the good, uh, uh, now I'm just gonna pull all these out. Fuck it. So you brought well, more than one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I brought like, uh, Design. three. Of these. Yeah. Oh, is yeah. Is this a charcoal fucking. You got it. You got wow. it. Bingo. Wait, so you don't get. 
like in trouble. Okay, here's the thing. Listen, and I will pop that shit. Look at yeah, pop that. Look pop it. that. I learned it from oh. from my big homie Mike Sherman at Chinatown Market. Listen, they came into the oh. game doing thousands of flips, Gucci, Louis, yeah. Prada, all those flips, right? Then you know he taught me that like, bro, like. Most of these people aren't going to really pursue you in court. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. They'll send you a cease and desist. But I never got one. Oh, that's amazing. You know what I mean? Thank God. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even bring but, it to anybody's attention. <laughs> but, but all I'm trying to say is that, like, you know, most of these, uh, you know, companies, like, they're not going to, you know, most of these products, they're not making millions of dollars. Let's keep it real. You know, you got to have 100 products to make that. You know what I mean? But... Uh, these products, they're not going to want to pursue you in court and spend fifty, seventy thousand dollars 70000 Like, man, go ahead and make some shit. But there's people you don't mess around with, like Mickey and all that, like like Disney Channel, like all that, man. They might rip you off Instagram, you know what I mean, for like IP. Yeah, they'll get you. Yeah, they'll get you. They'll, they'll get, get you. you. They'll get you. But, um, you know, thank God no one's really, you know, pursued me. And if they did, you know, I'll act accordingly. Cool. You know, this isn't my fucking... This isn't everything that I worked hard for. Like, man, like, we got another one coming next week. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool. Have that. Um, right. But thank God that, yeah. You know what I mean? Because we be flipping. Oh, yeah. That's actually so hard. Good. Yeah, That's these, actually really yeah, crazy. We probably only have, like, a couple dozen of both of these on the site. 50% left. of them, homie. Don't worry about nothing. Nothing personal. You see that? The charcoal bag. Yeah, man. I, I didn't hate... ran through a few of them. Oh, my God. I love that one. <laughs> That one's so I ain't ran through a few of them, man. That's hilarious, Listen, y'all dog. Y'all want to make some? Like, this isn't no fake on camera shit. No, I've, no. I've, I've invited we y'all. We've had y'all at the office. Yeah. You know, we were taking notes, but like, we honestly got to pursue that. Like, I remember there's one concept that I uh, gave y'all. kind of like Girl allude store. to it, but it was one of those. Uh, um, let's just say it was a it was a pillow for the couch. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh, Picking up uh-huh. one, putting it down. Nah, but I was like, that would be a dope ass product. As yeah. Sure. The, you know, the concept that we were talking about, but. No, like, like this isn't no cheap talk. Like I'll, I'll really how like what? Come on, if we can do business, I'd love to. We don't gotta slap fucking my face on there. You know what I mean? Let's but do like, it. No logos. Yeah. Let's whatever resource we could have for each other, right? You know? Yeah, let's sure. do it. Um, then this is the part we just dropped today, man. This is the uh, the Jesus Peace Nightlight. This is the Jesus Peace Nightlight, <laughs> man. This is the Holy Glow. Wait, and yeah, how I the fuck do I think God, think God got you? <laughs> yeah, God. I'm like, wait a second, which one? Nah, it, God, nigga, God got you. Yeah, I'm God. Hey, man. shout out, big deal. I see you that bag hard. Hell, nothing personal. Hell God, yeah, that man. bitch is hard. Yeah, yeah. It, it fits like like 78 shirts in there or yeah. something like that. You know, 78 it, shirts, boy. You know how much clothes 81, I put in there. Know? Man, that's what I'm saying, bro. That, that <laughs> should be it. holding me back on laundry. I'm like, I'm thinking it's yeah. not a big deal, but no, this thing just holds a lot. No, that shit holds a lot. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, man, but no, we got the the Holy Glow uh, Jesus Peace Nightlight, man. I want to create something, you know. I eventually, wa- I I really want to make this into a neon sign. If y'all want to do it, go for it. But like, I want to make this into a big ass neon sign. I think this would have been dope. But I want to think about the consumer and, and you know, uh, bro. I'm so jealous of like uh, musicians. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy to think that their product is free. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, for someone to enjoy like Kanye's music, all you got got do is click play. Don't cost them a thing. For people to enjoy our products, it got come out of their pocket you know what i mean so like um i want to make my products like uh, i'm more concerned about volume than hype at this moment and you know i really want to get this to a lot of people so i do keep the consumer in mind when developing designs you know this is 30 dollars. you know i mean this is something that like everyone could afford this ain't no dickhead 250 price you know what i mean like this thing I want everybody to have in their fucking crib. And uh, I'm big on just developing products that don't got to have, like, MP all over it. You know what I mean? I, I think that, that charcoal bag's a little bit different, but something like, <laughs> you know, th- this uh, uh, this th- this night light or the ashtrays or the million stack, you know, like, I don't want things to be spread with nothing personal. I want people to genuinely buy this shit because it's dope. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to put my brand's name in, in the way of a good idea, you know what I mean? Like how 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 bad would it have been if it were to just say MP over his eyes? Like nah, no one's buying that. Like what the fuck did you do to that? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's but, why it's so cool though. Yeah, 
Like, you know, dope. like your ashtray too. Yeah. Like, it's just cool stuff that you can put on your table, yes. cool stuff you can put in your house. It doesn't have to be branded all the time. Exactly. 50% like, off. You feel me? 5,000 likes right now. Get to 5,000 likes. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Hey, I appreciate yeah. it. I really wasn't planning on I, I really just put this aside just for, for y'all. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll make it short. I, there's another, like, certain products. Like, nah, man, y'all can find out about. We're going through it. You nah, know what you, I mean? you for real? Yeah. 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 Let's go okay, through cool. it. Okay, cool. I have a story for everything. I have a story for everything. What? Come on. I'll be with you for four and a half yeah, hours. Stop yeah, playing. Yeah, can we get another blood? Yeah. Like, can I hit that? They like, come on. Crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let me hit that. Let me hit that. But no, this is a uh, this is the uh, the duffel bag ashtray. You know, we, we we fucked up on this item though. I will say that only for the reason that uh, we don't have a creative name. It, it totally went over my head. Like I didn't. We got the holy glow. We got ash on me, Ashley. You know what I mean? We got the 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 greatest match hits. This is duffel bag ashtray, so I kind of fucked up right there. The greatest is stupid. I didn't even yeah. know what that shit was called. I just got it. Greatest yeah. match hits. I love it. You know, and we do, have, uh, we do have we do have a big collab with this, uh, one of the biggest record labels um, for one of the biggest artists uh, through this product. So I'm excited to show that when the time's appropriate, but just know we have something uh, in on the way for that. I think this is a great item. But... Uh, this is the duffel bag ashtray, man. Uh, this was a collab between me and uh, my good people, Don Murphos. This is a concept that my boy A1, rest in peace, pitched to me before he passed. And uh, he was like, man, we got to make a duffel bag that's just an ashtray. And I'm like, man, let's fucking knock this shit out. So we went ahead and just created this. And, you know, this is another item that, like, that's you know, we, nice. we, we wanted to really go crazy on just, like, the concept and the development. I'm sorry. I don't know why I asked for this, but I, I can't hit it right now. File box. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like well, a little... Away box, right? You know, we storytelling with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is an investigation box right here, you know? Because the file box is also a prop. Like, I'm exactly. not throwing that away, even though that's what the, yeah. the, the I product want, comes hey, that's in. Good. That's that shit listen, good. listen. Good. Hey, check it out. Check it out. Listen. Look at that. Good packaging will make you feel guilty for throwing it away. I know. How long does it take you to get rid of, like, a Louis Vuitton box? I'm like, I'll, I'll keep that I in the corner. I'm going to keep it in the corner for some time. For I'm not sure. throwing it away the first day. No. Yeah. You know what I mean? You Good packaging will make feel, people feel guilty for throwing it away. So. Oh, God, because that I'll Louis shit, I mean, even Chanel, so, anything, I'm I like, wanted people, throw that bag away, please. I wanted the consumers to feel like, you know, you know, they're making this shit themselves and they're customizing it. So what this came with, I'm trying to like prop this mic. So what this came with is, uh, you know, a whole sticker pack where it's like, cool, let's go ahead and put this evidence stickers where they go accordingly, you know what I mean? Yeah. And now you have your own box where this is your own custom shit. Huh? You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, go ahead and check out the rest on Night Personal Shop or, you know, we, we go into more, but, you know, like I said, it's all about just telling the story and it's like when you think about Duffel Bag Ashtray, like what context are you thinking of it in? Okay, cool. You can ask and it's open. Where do you usually find a Duffel Bag at? You know, you gotta ask yourself that. A closet wouldn't be cool for packaging. What the fuck you have? Just a glass mirror? You know what I mean? Yeah. So then you gotta think about where else would a duffel bag be in, in this context? Or oh, maybe an investigation room. Will be an investigation room? A box like this? A fucking banker's box? That's what you call them. That you know? shit is hard. I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. Shout out my boy Blazzy, man. If nothing personal. If y'all want something from nothing personal, 5,000 likes. Six, how many oh, likes God. do we have? You feel me? How many likes do we have right now, man? 5,000 likes. And we get 50% off, 16, man. 1,600, man. man. We almost there. On. Almost we there. We only need 400 to get to two. <laughs> you three, need 3,000 more yeah. likes to get 50% off, man. Make sure you press that like button. If you ain't already described, I mean, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe right now. And, yeah, man, Big Orange is in the chat. Yeah. Happy to have my boy here on, you know, like you said, on this, on this mission with a solo mission. I've been doing everything with, I mean, I've been doing a lot of stuff with y'all. Solo, though, low key. Yeah. I don't even know if people like kind of know this. Like, you know, House Phone came with me, even though he was with Hakeem, but that was a reunion coming, though. That needed to happen. You feel me? Yeah. Because, you know, y'all put them, them in the room. Yeah. Yeah, and it was just, and it was just magic. You feel me? Like, they ain't seen each other so long. The, I watched the whole thing that That's night. That's crazy, what? right? Come on, no skips. Nah. I played the whole shit. Listen, they was just, they ran through that shit. They, they had, they had crazy. a thing on camera together they probably been in the same room but they haven't been on camera together in like six seven years six seven you know I mean? years him They're and like 2017 2018 so it was dope to see uh, uh both of them come together and under the house of you know back on fig so just to see that shit all play out shit was dope all a lot of motherfuckers out. didn't even know that though 
What a you lot mean? of people didn't even know they ain't been, they wasn't on camera for like six, seven years. Yeah. Ain't, you know what I'm saying? Haven't seen each other and shit like that. Yeah. So, you know, for that shit to happen, that shit was just dope. And it was just like, they was just hey, this the house just to so do natural. it at. You know what I'm saying? It's the house to do it at. Yeah. That shit was tight. Man, it, th- this is really the spot for sure. Yeah, that shit was tight, man. I Hell fuck yeah. with you. You feel me? Then, you know, of course, you. I'm going to do some stuff with Yuri. I ain't even lying to y'all. I'm going to definitely do some... Uh, uh, IRL streams with Yuri finna go out. We I think we got like some acupuncture shit, man. Yuri gonna nah. do. Um, <laughs> yeah, like you know what I'm saying. We gonna be gonna go do some wild shit. Yuri talking about he wanted to spend a night at my house in the backyard for 24 hours. Just wild shit, you know. That's we, like that. That's we, glamping right there, though. That's that, that's luxury. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's glamorous camping right there. What? Oh, the Hell, my yeah, that's a nice backyard no, no. right there. You know set up the temper. No, no, he got to do all that himself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad place to uh, to go to sleep. Yeah, he'd be chilling back there. That would have his heater. Yeah. (laughs) Smoke his little spliff in there. Yeah, I love that, man. I love that. Oh, gotta talk, we gotta get Toke up in here, too. Oh, God, man. Where's Toke at? Come on. Toke up in here, man. Listen, bro. Toke's crazy. I be telling everybody, like, I don't know anyone who travels more than Toke. He be going to, like, Europe, Switzerland, all that shit, like, every other month, bro. Like, what? Like He came back here, and he was, like, skiing. I was like, man, where the fuck are you at? You yeah, know, that's I went so- down the street from your house. I was like, hell no. This nigga was skiing at least 30 Never. minutes from the house. Where? It's a place somewhere by our house. I forgot what mountain it is, but you could go up there and go skiing. I and swear. It's right now. And it's snowing well, right now. Where does it go? I, I shit you not, man. Shut Y'all up, fuck with Lord. the snow? Uh, I ain't been to the snow. I, I mean, Never? I ain't. You've been the Big Bear. I know I haven't. Ever. Yes, you have. Ever in my life. There's no way. You've been the Big Bear. No. What the hell? Out here. I'm not from out here. I'm from Texas. So That's I've an seen hour snow. and a half. I know yeah. we want to go. I was supposed to go for my birthday this year. I ended up having a party though, but it's a it's a good place to check out. I just left from their mouths in a car crash. What? Oh no! What? Like, no? My first car crash. Yeah, like one of those nightmare situations. Fuck. Listen, my homie, he uh. uh you know, he's going down this hill. It's full-blown, like, blizzard mode. Like, you step out, there's going to start being piles of snow on your shoulders pretty soon. Like, it's like that. And uh, he's going down this hill with no chains. Long story short, it was one of those turns that kind of, like, spell out the letter C, you know what I mean? Just, like, curves. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he's going down. So, like, you know, he hydroplanes. He's going 25. He really should have went 10. Yeah. He really should have went 10. But he goes on the other side. And, uh, yeah, my fucking head goes straight into the driver's seat from from behind and um bruh that shit fucked my head up i ain't gonna lie to you what you was in the passenger or no the i was in the back seat, seat behind the driver and like it was one of those things where you see it for like 10 yards ahead you're like whoa 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 and this is my first crash ever I, i've i've been I've, I've scratched a couple bumpers but that's it you know the first time like I, I hit some shit you know so why well, didn't hit you know the homie hit some shit and it's like that shit was all bad bro hey, when you have a crash that shit is I always be telling you, that shit is funny because you that can shit is see fun. it happening. What the fuck is funny about you it? You see it happening, you see it happening, it's just like... <laughs> you hit that motherfucker, go, bah, fuck. You know nah, what I mean? That happened, then you got to hop out the seat and extend up the damage. That shit fucked up my head, bro. You feel me? Yeah, nah, that... that my head went straight to a uh, bro seat from behind, and that I, I felt like I had a brain freeze for a whole minute. Like, like I had to clench my face and like ah. And what's worse is we're in a snowstorm, so the homie's like, "Hey, everybody, get out the car!" Since like it's, it could be one of those situations where you, y'all seen it on Instagram, on YouTube, where it's like these cars just pile up uh-huh. in those snow cir- uh, circumstances, you know. So it's like I didn't want to be a victim of that. So you got to hop out. I got to deal with the snow all over you, bro. Cops fucking take 40, 50 minutes tow truck as well. You know what I mean? Like, you just out. Who's driving? Stupid ass homie. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like, you had a driver and you crashed? I'd be this pissed. Nigga, <laughs> stupid this nigga ass homie. in the back seat. I told him you could have killed me. Yeah, you know what his dumb ass said? He said, I could. I, I probably saved you. <laughs> we we could have we went down that hill. No. That's why I like to drive, because I don't have nobody in charge of my life or nothing. The if cold I make part? That fucked up move, it's gonna be on me. The cold part is I, I went and visited my mom, like right before. And, uh, you know, I'm over here telling her goodbye. And she's like, no, like, if anything, like, you should just leave your car here. Like, just, just go with your friend. I don't know if it would have been better advice if I went, but, like, man, that's crazy. She, you know. 
she told you. Yeah, she told me. She had a feeling. She had a uh, feeling for sure. And that mom's intuition, and then you end up getting in a fucking room. Yeah, and what's worse is like, you know, um, this is the first time I've seen it happen like that. You know, iPhone has those emergency contacts you, you kind of set up. Uh-huh. And I have my immediate family, my sister, my brother, my mom, and... Uh, they all get a text the minute I crash. Like, like my, my iPhone just sends them a message like, hey, I've been in, in a crash. What? This is my address. And I'm in the SOS area where I can't even go on you know, no social media, no internet works. I can't send text messages. So they're freaking out. You know what I mean? It's just like it was all bad. But um, nah, I, I man, hey, I, was I you went not to boxing. Hot- no, nah, no. Nah. Oh, hey, nah. This nigga, this nigga had a no, crash. He was hot boxing, y'all. No, nah, no. Nah. Mom was looking at this. You was smoking weed, motherfucker. Stop. I wasn't ass. driving. I wasn't driving. <laughs> I wasn't driving. You was smoking, right? You was smoking. Not when the car you was <laughs> that morning. That boy. Listen, I got nothing to do with smoking. that crash. If anything, I was playing backseat driver. I was t- I was saying, whoa, whoa, whoa. You feel me? I wasn't acting like, whoa. Yeah, you know like, you said, whoa, whoa. You was high back then. You, <laughs> you said, damn, this motherfucker finna go crazy. Ah, Y'all hot boxing. You feel me? Look, my boy back there high right now. You fucking them gummy bears up. It's <laughs> oh a big God. ass bag of gummy bears. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he won't say And he got a big ass bag of gummy bears. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh dog. damn! I forgot you got a whole liquor store back right here, bro. Yeah, do you like our fake market? Yeah, I love it. This shit hard. What? We're gonna take yeah. Fig Market to the next. Like, we're gonna we have so much merch that we're coming out with for Fig Market. It's just gonna be like a whole thing. Maybe we should do a collab should, for sure. What? Yeah, wow. Fig like Market. Like I'm saying, with all these products, it's like. Man, like, if I could help y'all make it, why not? You know what I'm saying? Like, I got nothing to do. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, you got shit to do. Shut up, man. This nigga lying like a motherfucker. Listen. First he busy, now he ain't got nothing to do. Like, Listen, man, saying, I, 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 love my, I love my production team, you know, yeah. but, like, it stresses me out if they twiddle their thumbs too long, you know? So if I keep them busy, you know, and we get a little more projects, let's get it done, you know? Man, you be busy, man. You got a girlfriend now? You nah, I got no girlfriend. Uh, nah, I broke up with her. What? Why? What type of nigga is you? Fuck all that. Why? Come on. Oh, so yeah. it's you. Yeah. Oh, I broke so up with you. her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you the problem. No, I wasn't the No, I broke up with her. <laughs> yeah, because you the problem. Nah, she was the problem. Bro. Why was she the problem? It just she didn't like, make sense. You know, I think that I know after what it was. Certain, what you mean? You didn't show her. You didn't show her enough. You didn't show her off. <laughs> I think enough. I showed her a lot. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you fucking a lot. I don't know what she looked like. Nah, but, um, you know, after a certain while... It's like I, I had to really take a take a step back and realize it's like, you know, I feel like women take a lot of lot lot of time. You know what I mean? It's like I went from working like six days to two days a week. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it just stopped really making sense. You know, give you the short of it. Oh, so she was the she was the reason why you wasn't working enough. <laughs> For sure. What? So you gonna blame her? Cause you, <laughs> well, yeah. cause you, cause you fucking. No, her, I you have fun. You going what? crazy? No, I have fun. It was dope. <laughs> what? It was cool. But it's like you know, when it's time to check out, it's time to check out. You know, it's work to be done. It's bills to be paid. So you like, you know what? We didn't fucked enough. Let's t- let's go back to working. And she wasn't feeling it. I need to go back to working a little bit more. We didn't did enough together. I mean, I don't want to talk about to too me. much. It's like people yeah, don't even. Cause it's like to give like a short summary, you, you know, you don't even, you know, you gotta give the whole twelve month context of this shit. You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah. I got, to, you know. At the end of the day, it's like th- that was cool and all, but I'm I'm here to fucking design. I'm here to do this shit. You know, I'm I'm at my I'm at my peak right now. You know, what I mean? I'm I'm at the best I've ever done this shit. So it's time to really step up and really get to work. Not like fucking take three days off out the week. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, the kind of like I was becoming someone I didn't recognize. Mm-hmm. And you know, taking that time off, do you feel like you you gotta give your time to your significant other? Cause oh, it was you know, cool, but look, cause it started off with like me taking these trips and my, and my my employees telling me like, oh, bro, go for it. you work hard, go for it. And then you know, after a certain while, I get comfortable hearing that. You know what I mean? I'm just like high booking, you know, doing shit. It's like it's stupid. Yeah. Why is it stupid? And you enjoying yourself going out and traveling? Cause there's other ways of enjoying myself. Pause. He's like me. What, what's like, pause? I can like, save my money. That sounds crazy. Yeah, that like, sounds crazy. This nigga said there's other ways to enjoy yourself, Paul. My niggas. <laughs> I can jack off, basically. Fuck all of this shit. I ain't going to no fucking traveling and doing all this shit. 
Was it it wasn't about that, really. I'm just saying it, it just, like, it It just didn't make sense. Yeah. What the fuck am I doing? I have a whole career. Mm-hmm. It didn't I, make sense. I should happen. be working on drops right now. I shouldn't be fucking watching the stupid movie I don't care about. Like, what? Why did that dawn on you if, if she wasn't giving you the problem? You think, you know, you you yourself had the problem? Like, you know what? I'm giving her too much of my time. I should go over here. Like, and fuck it. You know what? I'm just break that. Fuck it. Like, was that actually the problem or what? Like, was she forcing you to do that? I wouldn't say forcing like that. She puts... I mean, like I said, I'll give the short of it. It just didn't make sense. You know what I mean? But, like, no one's going to play me like, I got broken. Though. Like, come on. Like, one thing about me is, like, I always... You know, whether it's no jumper, whether it's any relationship, whether it's any business situation, I always leave. I could just tell when shit don't make sense no more. You know what I mean? It's time to check out. Like the whole no jumper shit, I was the first one to did before house phone did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, I just got to a point where I was like, this shit don't make sense for me. Like, what the fuck? Like, th- this is where the fun checks out. I'm like, I've always learned to um, just kind of like scope and like gauge situations and like, is there like a long time return in this shit? Is, you know what I mean? Is, or should we just check out right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It don't get no. It don't. It's not fun anymore. We just you got to get bots and stuff like that for your channel and. and what you talking about? Yeah, you, I'm off the subject, but you you oh. you know what I'm talking about. Shots, us. <laughs> Shots fired. What you mean? Now you know what I'm talking about when you leave this motherfucker, but it'll make more. Is sense. people buying bots out here? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you know. The thing what, about the bot game, it's like, I don't get it when it's people who make content who like full-time make content because it's like it's easy for someone who like doesn't make any money off of it to be delusional and um kind of like not uh how could i say this shit man i forgot <laughs> <laughs> no but what i no excuse there you go i i reach for i'm high as fuck look what i want to say is like it's easy to believe someone who doesn't have a platform would do something like that because it's like, okay, like, I figured till you make it. But, like, if someone already made it and they're still faking it, like, what's that to talk? You know, like, that's weird. That's weird, you think? Do There's you- no, like, I don't know. I find it hard to believe. There has to be proof. And if and it, and if there is, like, real proof about, like, bots, yeah, that's disappointing. What? That's disgusting. That's, like, that's sociopathic. Do you think it's, like, an ego thing? Yeah. Like it's some it's sociopath shit for sure. For it's sure, a, it's an ego thing to where you you know you got. You're manipulating up. your situation to kind of get it, get ahead, you know. I mean, but advantage. is there anything wrong with that though? Because you a lot you know, of people manipulate their situation. That's what I'm ahead. saying, but it's you just learn about somebody. You know what I mean? You, you like. I don't know. I, I think that a lot of people, especially in this uh, uh, in in this uh, this content game, like. Not too much integrity, but I think everyone has like an agreement. Like nobody should buy comments, nobody should buy like this, nobody should buy that. Like that sounds insane, and like it kind of like worries me. You go into like how AI is going right now. It's like eventually they're going to be able to develop like thousands of people that are just comedy live. You know what I mean? They could they could incorporate their own ideas and their own emojis, and like they they start talking to themselves. You know what I mean? It's only it'll probably be here in the next year. You know what I mean? I mean, it's nothing wrong with that to manipulate that to get sales sometime because a lot of people want to see numbers before they actually interact. Cause some people are kind of like small minded like that. Mm. But I don't feel like it's nothing wrong. But I, if you if you one of the people that want to go do like live interactions with you, your fans, you know, and your supporters, and you, if you one of those people and you feel like you're gonna rely on uh, AI or bots or anything like that. It's, it's gonna be bad for you, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because those interactions aren't gonna be as genuine, real, organic, and those people ain't gonna fuck yeah, with you. Yeah, what? Up. Yeah, that's kind of like with music now. Well, they just buying likes and buying views and buying that shit, and then when they come around for their album sales, they they sell two thousand albums, three thousand albums. This is people with millions of followers, comments going crazy. So that's unbelievable, like, right? That's yeah, that is that, that is sucks. crazy, right? That's crazy. But at that point, though. Like, you got somebody that actually love you and, you know, and is willing to put their money behind you yeah. and think that you a superstar and do that for you. You feel me? Like, they got some type of trust nah, in you. that's crazy so to believe, It's kind of like, it's, it's a, I don't know, man. It's 50-50 for me sometimes. Like, for motherfuckers to believe in you and do that, like, man, I'm going to make sure people believe in you. I'm going to do this, and then they'll catch on later because I love you. So, I don't know, dog. It's, it's going to 50-50. I, I can't funny. fuck with nobody who does that, who does, like, boss shit. That's no. not cool, yeah. Well, I got I, I can't definitely be near you. 
You know what I mean? It's, it's one of those situations. What's what? going on, bro? No, he can't fuck with boxing. I can't either. So you're telling yeah. the truth. Yeah, oh, what? Yeah, yeah you're That's telling distasteful. The truth. Yeah, right. It's really very distasteful. But, yeah. like, how do you, how can you, like, find bots? Like, I don't do you even just know go off the is. common ratio? I, what is it? I'm being here talking about bots, but I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what. How you get that? What is that? I, I, when I first heard about bots, I heard about that shit when niggas buy shoes and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like motherfuckers buying the shoes and they be like, oh, they got the. No, nah, I feel like they trying to get. What, what they, I think, you know, the well, we're talking about like what? Like who be botting? It's a lot of people. Dog. <laughs> it's a lot of people. <laughs> Another platform. All right. Other platform. It's like, but oh, are know. we going off comments or it's like? Like views and like shit like that. Yeah, cause I can see where it makes sense. Where like, okay, a video has like let's say a million plays, right, and it got a hundred comments. Like, okay, this ain't adding up. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it's crazy. In dude. the context of live streaming, if there, I guess you could tell by the pace of the chat what like five thousand viewers looks like compared to like five hundred. You know what I mean? Who the fuck buying a million views and then fifty thousand likes and three thousand comments all at the same time? What does that do for you? That just they don't do shit for you, right? You're just building an echo chamber. What? I don't know. I, I hope crazy. I don't get to that position. Never that. What? <laughs> they won't even make no fucking sense. You'd be sitting on product like you just fooling yourself. What? It, yeah, no. I be hearing about that where it's like, bro, I just fo- I, I fake sell out, and I'm like, why? What? Like, you yeah. want to make it make sense? You know, sure there is fake it till you make it. You know, build hype. Go ahead, go ahead and do that. But it's like, what? Like, nah. You yeah, gotta, you fake sell out. You say, oh. You you say you buy a thousand units, you add five hundred, and then you sell your five hundred. But oh, we sold out. Thank you so much. Restock next week. You know, so you get people. That is a lot. I ran a couple of those. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. Are <laughs> oh, you ran a couple? I ran a couple of those. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you gotta run a couple of those, man. It's the nature of the business. I ain't even gonna lie to you. How many likes we got right now, though? But, man? But I ain't buying sales though. That's, imagine someone does I don't that. Know. Buying sales sounds crazy. How do you well, buy? I, no, money? I know a scammer. I know a scammer out here who got a brand and he just uh he, he just gets a bunch of his homies and just you know and buy shit yeah That's off his the own site shit ever what when he can just lie and okay. say they bought it yeah <laughs> like, what are you doing no that like it's, no it's just scam money like he's just like uh, oh, laundering he money it. for his own uh, shit yeah okay. oh, he washing it he washing it oh, okay. <laughs> he's dropped in 20k and it's like okay yeah yeah, yeah Juliet we shipped it out to you like yeah okay Oh, no that's, problem, yeah. that's dope. That's actually dope. That's dope. I, I have to I try mean, that. No, that, that, <laughs> for sure. What? I'm doing it wrong. Well, I got I got to buy these products and sell them. Come on, they do it free. Might have to do it. Might have to try that, y'all. You How really? do you know if a product is not a good seller? Mm. Like, how do you know? <laughs> well, it's hard like, because hey, likes. Listen, listen, listen. Likes don't matter. Likes don't matter. I've had <laughs> I've had bangers that did that did less than selfies. You know what I'm saying on yeah. Instagram, and I, I've I've sold you know less items that did like the best likes they ever I ever got. You know, it's like. It, it's it's hard to read it, but like there, there's certain products where you just can't make sense of it. You know there's faith in it, and there's certain items where it's just like nah, Blasi, what the fuck were you thinking? You I gotta hate learn that. from this. Like when I make something and it didn't sound, I thought it was so cute it was gonna be yeah so good, and it just was. You gotta check yourself. You're like, damn, like, what? Fuck. Really? You're not the nigga. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Nah, um, but it, it 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 is it is like interesting, especially with these products too, man. Like you know, like. It, it's all bittersweet until you sell out. Like the Becky, uh-huh. you know, like I love that item. Like, I'm gonna have one for you for sure. I got I got a handful at my crib, but like you know, the Becky, it's like that. That's just sold out the same day, and it was fun. You know, it's the most times ever sold in the in a moment, as far as that like that price range. Yeah, but it fucked my head up because once the sales were done, I'm like, man, I worked this hard just to fucking end it right here. Like I wish I got double. You know what I mean? I wish I would have sat on these bitches. Sometimes it's good to just sit on shit, bro. Like, it, it allows you time to develop it. It allows people just to catch up and, like, get it. And, like, I really don't think that uh, uh holding off your product kind of, like, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't believe in the whole, like, hype behind that. I feel like, like, if you look at the brand like Balenciaga, the biggest brand in the world, like, you could buy any of their products, whether it's on Nordstrom, whether it's on Balenciaga.com, Essence, like, it's all available, but it's mm-hmm. still the biggest brand because of what it represents. You know what I mean? Similar Rick Owens. Everyone got those Ramones. That don't mean that it's not fly. It's not cool. Everyone got Air Forces. Like, you know, I feel like that 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 is a way of selling out. You know, Supreme's proved it millions of dollars. You know what I mean? 
But I, there's definitely different ways of, you know, making money out here. Yeah, man. You feel me? Shout out to my boy, Blasi, man. We got about 2,000 likes in the building, man. No way. We trying to, right, for sure. yeah, we trying to get, we got, oh, no, yeah, we, oh, are we giving y'all percentage? Y'all get 33. Y'all, y'all get 33, 33 right off the bat. Oh, oh 33 right off the bat. Then 50 okay, at 5,000. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's do hold that. Hold on. No, nah, because I want people to buy 30, and then by the end of the show, they were could have got, you know what I'm saying? 50. So, look. Five minutes before, we'll create the code. You know what I mean? Honestly, for every, like, for every 100 likes is, like, an extra percent. You know what I mean? So right now, we're at, like, what, like, 23? It caps at 50, though. What's going on? What's going on? We got to get And it's only for the day. It's only for the day. Yeah. What if we don't get the 5,000 likes? Well, no, I'm saying, like, right now, we're, we're like, 20-odd-something. Yeah. Where we at, six? Two-odd-something, like? We're at 2,100. Yeah, 2,100. You know what I mean? Like... It, we had so now twenty one percent. It goes to fifty. Okay, 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 okay. I'll make this saying? fun. So er, everyone, go just ahead and just send it to your homie. Like, man, fuck, fuck twenty four percent. I want twenty five. Fuck twenty six. I want twenty seven. Like, keep sending this to your cousin. Have them like it. Go on both your Gmail accounts and sign in, man. Come on, let's do that, man. You feel me? Let's get let's get it going, man. Put oranges in the chat right now. I don't know what the fuck these niggas got going on in the chat, but get the fuck out my chat. You feel me? Like. I might cancel both of these niggas in my chat, but let's do it. You feel me? What's going I need, on? I, I, yeah, I've been trying not to read the chat. I want to get Trevor, distracted. Right? No, no, no. It's a, it's some oh, shit. Trevor's still fading? Trevor. Yeah, they going. Trevor's yeah. drunk outside Jack in the Box or some shit? He left back get up Get the drunk. fuck out my chat. Big oranges in the chat, man. These niggas out here going crazy. Shout out that nigga Trevor. He just left off this big tequila. You feel me? That shit oh, is so he was sipping this too. That tequila I like ocho. This. I like this shit. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm the tequila one. ocho. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all y'all go ahead and cop that one time, man. Tequila ocho. Uh, te- that, that's tequila like ocho. A... Yeah. Oh, okay, for tequila sure. Tequila ocho. Um, you, you read some super chats for us one time, and Heather Heather got it going on, man. Well, we're gonna oh, do the drip here. checks too. Uh, I think they're right here, here. Here. Oh yeah. Fit checks. They're right up here. Here. Oh, but here, click this. I am, Let's teach it. And hey, thank you so much for uh, um for inviting me, bro. I appreciate pulling, appreciate you uh allowing me to slide through. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is dope. What? Come on. I wouldn't want to do another podcast, but this shit. I, mean, I haven't <laughs> done one since this podcast. You know, I've done little interviews, A B. You know, here and there, but it's like I, I haven't done a podcast since I did your podcast. Yeah, man. I appreciate oh, yeah. you, man, pulling up because you you be acting funny sometimes. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> no, y'all used to act funny towards no, each other. No, I was, was always funny. good. It was this guy he right here. He was always like <laughs> he didn't you. know how to go about it. He didn't. You it, were so mean I to Bobby. No, just because I would hit him with Jazz back. I'll hit him with Jazz, man. Fuck you too, T uh-huh. Rail. Because of this. You, stood you know your what I'm ground. saying? Yeah. Blasi stand on business, okay, with you. <laughs> you thought you could punk Blasi. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, hey, have fun with him. But the homie, you know, the the homie's finding out all about like this like internet shit for me. So he's like, bro, I saw this clip uh, of of you and bro going back about uh, who's Virgil and who's not. <laughs> I remember that clip. We're like, nah, we'll see who's doing this two years. You're like, and I was like, you you should hang it up. You're like, hang it. I could hang it up. I can hang it up right now. I got the house. I'm not dreaming. Oh shit! <laughs> and I was like, man, I ain't gonna lie, checkmate. He got my ass with that one. Like, fuck. <laughs> Shout out, little boy, man. Make but sure it, it's all love. You know what I'm like. saying? It's all healthy fun. You feel me? Like, no, no, no one. It, it, it'll keep anybody up at night. Come on. All right, I'm nah. gonna read some super shots. Shout out to Defate. He, he, he said right two dollars. He said W B B E and B O F. Blasi concussed. No complex thoughts. Hmm. No truth in the details, oh. LLC said, Trail, you gave Smack an opportunity and he doesn't take it serious. He go live streaming. He go live starting beef and getting his homies to handle it. It doesn't show up to, and doesn't show up to stream. Smack is at a funeral right now for his, uh... <laughs> so serious shit, yeah. Yeah, 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 so make sure y'all calm that down. Yeah, he ain't not jack in the box, come on. <laughs> The face yeah. and no smack, no wop, just trailing Blasey. Let's get to that. Yeah, let's get to that, nigga. This is me, nigga. I'm a nigga out here. Oh, God. What's wrong with y'all? Me- <laughs> Medium Johnson said, can Blasey speak on why he likes bath so much? <laughs> and why Yuri always be making clips of him in the bath? Yuri's going to be yuri and I don't know. He, he, he. He's more upset about me taking baths. I like taking a bath. I ain't gonna lie. If I need a, like the extra like kick to for me and my body to relax to go to sleep, I'm gonna take a bath. What? That's it's so warm. funny because what am I? It's friends? warm. So you take baths. But, but the homies judge. But but look, I'm big on the Epsom saw. I'm not doing the uh you know the the rainbow bath bomb and none of that. You know what I mean? Like I'm going there the with just Epsom salt. salt. Yeah. That's why they judge me. But it's like man, that shit feel good. <laughs> yeah. 
they're, they're like, nah, you go in there with, with raw legs just like chilling in the bath. And it's like, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. Come on, bro. I, don't see, are you like, I know. I'm a bath advocator. Come on, get some Epsom salt on, on Amazon and try some shit. You, you don't like, gotta go, you, you know, you don't gotta put fucking cucumbers on your eyes, but put some Epsom, <laughs> Epsom salt bath, you know, uh, cover the little, you know, the little drainage. Okay. And you're, you're chilling right there. Come okay. On. What you got to say? Um, so are you like uh, who was that guy that I would, Russell Simmons that would sit in the bath that's me for real and like think of new ideas yes, and get what? creative while you're relaxing well come on I'm, I'm handling uh, business through text I'm catching up on shit come on <laughs> nah niggas stop trying to use that fucking I'm creative <laughs> shit and taking the bath you using that shit for an excuse for everything <laughs> hold on hold on so you taking a you taking a clear bath no bubbles why? And you're looking right it's through. It's more pause doing bubbles. I'm going to keep it real with <laughs> so you. So you're looking right through the water, just chat, doing the chat, water. Chat, what's more pause? Bubbles or no bubbles? I feel like no bubbles, bubbles is the way to go pause. about it. Bubbles is like, come on, bro. You, nah. What are you, four <laughs> years old? No, my mama taught me to use the bubbles because it take the dirt off the ring around I'm not, and it get dirty. You feel oh, me? Oh, like, no, no. Oh, I'm, go, I'm going yeah, clean. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that's the thing. I'm not look. taking like no like... Red Dead Redemption bath where I'm like soaking, I got soap in there. No, it's a clean bath. Like I'm not, I'm yeah. not, I'm it's not getting clean in, in the there. Water. Yeah, yeah, I'm just chilling. You yeah, know what I mean? My friend I'm, Bianca's like, you gotta let your, your kitty cat soak in the water. You gotta uh, let it soak. Oh yeah, I, I, I can't relate so to that one. So he's making it, let his ball soak yeah. in the bath. Oh god, I'm just in there. <laughs> But, but I heard, I heard, you, I, heard I heard it fucks up the sperm, the sperm count. You know, what sit in the bath? Yeah. So you How? fucking the sperm count up? Man, it's all good. They got, <laughs> they gonna have AI suck. for that shit by the time I need a kid, man. Come on. How does it fuck up the sperm count? You know, they, they got that shit for everything. For Sprite, you know, for that. tequila. Hey, that shit all fucks it up. Bath you know? to the chat for my nigga Blasi. He lost oh, his God. goddamn mind. What you mean? Try it out. Try, no, don't cool. do the bubbles, though. Fuck with it. Why not get the bubbles? They That's can't even weird, see you. Bro. Nobody's going to know you're using bubbles, dog. But you They're, will. You're in the company of your own home. I'm going to go to sleep that night. Like, <laughs> damn, I just took a bubble bath. Like, there's so still well, bubbles in the back of my ear. Cool. Make it a thing, Blasi. Did he probably scoop the bubbles? He probably blow up. It's hard It's hard to take a <laughs> bubble bath when they're all called, like, strawberry shortcake, you know, like... <laughs> Relax and relieve. Like, come on, man. Yeah, I'm no, not some mom out here. Like, Go get the Mr. Chills bubble blast. Put yeah. a little you cap in there, and you'll be cool. Yeah, but if I'm taking like a design, if I'm taking like a, uh, if, if I'm going out of town or some shit, I might I might stop at a Vons or wherever fuck I'm at and get like some eucalyptus salt. Okay. I might switch it up. Okay. But I'm not doing bubbles. I might do bubbles a couple times a year, but I'll, I'll, yeah. I don't so, know why. Uh, so so y'all you, so you got you this was, topic out of me. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so topic. when you and your girl was in a relationship. Did she go take a shower and you took a bath? I'm going to walk out this motherfucker. You no. No, nah, I never took a... No, but... So, hold on. I don't want to talk about this shit too long. Come on, this is crazy. <laughs> no, you do Hold on. We supposed to get All past right, we this gonna get, We going to get past okay. it. It was a so she, she, Y'all finna get ready in the night. You take a bath, she take a shower. You running your bath water. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. She'll run my bath water. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking around. Nah, I'm fucking around. <laughs> God, dog. I see the bathtubs in the chat one time. Heather can keep going. Yeah, I'm well. still doing it with the salt. You yeah, the salt. I might see what that do. When you go on vacation, do you take baths in the hotel? But yeah, it's like saying. the best bath. When you are on vacation, that's really where you need to go. I'm taking a bath on vacation. You know what I mean? I might not get in the bathtub at home, yeah. but on vacation, I'm trying to see what that shit yeah. do. Okay. That, that, that's you definitely, need to relax. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely a box I check off on Airbnb. You know what I'm saying? When it's like, oh, I'm trying to get a spot. Like, ooh. Yeah. Let me see what, me see what, Let me see what that bathtub yeah. do. Come on now. Okay. Right, okay. Well, that's right. part of the Vegas experience. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if you stand at the wind, shout out the wind. Oh, I need Wind, it. holla at me. What do you like to stay when you go to Vegas? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I was just thinking about how basic I am for, for saying this, but Cosmopolitan. It that's just, not it's basic. good. Well, it's basic because, you know, that's just the standard. That's where you want to go. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really kind of like try and like go to a different range like check out different spots i was like you know i could smoke on the balcony i get a little view and they got fucking sex on the wall you know what i mean that's Man, cool go to the R, and the bathtubs hey no nah, the bathtubs go. player in that spot listen they got the bathtub facing the uh the bed so <laughs> <laughs> oh so you oh, okay so they have like a mirror and stuff? This crazy <laughs> 
say you like, looking at yourself, take a bath. This nigga blasty and lost his damn mind in his own. This, oh my god. Okay, yeah, let's get like back. Let's get back Scarface. to Scarface. Nah, but Scarface was yeah. Scarface was in some bubbles, so yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe that's the way to you go. I ain't gonna lie. No, no, no. Go ahead. Read a couple more, man. Uh, CJ Sweeter said W Pod. Uh, DeFate again said we need the six and Trev match. Yeah. Set it up. Let's get it. Okay, in. The way Trevor was talking today, he's like, oh, he's going to squabble six. <laughs> Woo! Let's do it. Oh god. Chill yeah. till I die. Seven seven three said salute to Quest Love in the back. The shy in here. Quest Love in the back. Hey, no. put the camera on that nigga. Cause. This is my boy Smoke from oh, Baltimore. Say what's up, Smoke. <laughs> what up with it though? <laughs> my nigga Quest Love. This is my boy. This is my boy Ella from India right here, man. Say what up, bro. Don't go that far. What's the deal? What's going on with everybody on the chat? Yeah. Uh, you don't sound like you from India. Oh I shit! Mean, Wait no, a second. He put his accent no, on. Yeah, no. I That's thought why. he was gonna be like have like no. you know. He put his accent on for you niggas. Hey, put no. the accent he, on for him, cuz. No, he got an LA accent, accent and like yeah. he mixes it with the Indian. He, yeah, oh, he'll okay. mix it. Yeah, he'll mix it up. They be saying it in the comments <laughs> with him. <laughs> Uh, I fuck with I my fuck boy. With, yeah. Scooter yeah. from Hoover said, Yo, Blasi, what happened to Canela? And also, tell House Phone to buy a damn laptop. All that money to buy some BS jeans but can't get a laptop? <laughs> Listen, uh, Canela was like, I had this golden retriever, but man, like, I ain't. Tr- I don't want none of that shit, man. Y'all can have, you know, like, just gave the dog away, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't- oh, Canela was your dog. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you gave him away. Gave her away. Gave her away. Why? Because I ain't going to do no co-parenting bullshit. You feel me? I'm a, oh, a your dog. girl's dog? Yeah, man. Got why? It. I don't know why the chat's obsessed with, like, this this topic. Like, what? You gave the fucking dog away. Listen. why? So why? you didn't really have no love for the dog if you gave the dog away. I guess they're fixing the door. Sorry, they fixing my door. Nah, it's all good. going on. We in the warehouse, y'all. You feel me? But you gave the goddamn dog away. So you really didn't have love for the dog. So after her, you just like, you know what? Fuck everybody. <laughs> <laughs> right. Basically. <laughs> Once you bring up with the dog, you go to the dog. Go to retriever. Yeah, fuck the fuck. Go to retriever. Nigga, I'm up out of here. I'm gonna fuck up. I know. Go to retriever. I spoke loosely, man. Come on. Like, I. I don't need no dog like that around me. Meanwhile, um, Dollar 732 said, tell Blasey to just come to FMW. Yeah, I want to, but I yeah. understand because I watch it every week. Yeah. Y'all might not know that, but I watch y'all every fucking week. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Y'all be getting into it. Sometimes I feel the tension in the room. Listen, a couple weeks ago, like, it, it was uh, it was yourself that was late, and it was smack, and it was just, oh, yeah, that was... it was Duno and Pun and, and AD, and AD's just flexing. Man, <laughs> I'm never late. <laughs> Duno's yeah. like, man, I had all these responsibilities, and I got here, and Pun's like, yeah, man, like, what's going on? And then t Rail pulls up, you're like, what the fuck? So what What about it? What about it? We here. We here, though. Why y'all still on this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then Smack's just getting tackled from each side. <laughs> I mean, nah, but, yeah, but, that's but, what it is when you're but, a family. You're going to fight amongst each other. Exactly. What? How, how are you going to know you love somebody? Yeah. You know what I mean? But um, no, I watch that every Wednesday. But from what I what I could kind of like, uh, from like a a, a viewer standpoint, like I, I see y'all like you, I, I see why it makes sense to not have guests on that shit. You know what I mean? Where it's like yeah. it does kind of feel like an interview sometimes. Where it's like, nah, people want you th- there for there, and like you know, yeah. I love your guys' episodes. But I, if I could be in it, you know, I'm down to just chat about whatever we talk about. You know, we don't got, yeah. you know. But I love I, I love Fake Community World. Come on. Well, we want to add more shows to Fig Community World too, mm-hmm. so maybe like oh know, well, we yeah for like sure we're, I'm open to it. Let's do it. Something you know whether it's yeah. content, you know we we or we vlog, we yeah. going to Walmart, we 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 buying a fit for fifty bucks, you know what oh, I mean, fun. or like you know we try to fix somebody's swag, whatever it is, you know what I mean, like because that mean that shit with me and you and Duno, that shit was hard. When we was yeah, in the alley, that was dope. That was dope. They fuck with that. Oh, shit. Oh, we did do that. We I can't believe that. it. Yeah, that was hard. everybody go check out that video. We shot that like twelve months ago. And you won. You cheated. Never that. Yeah, no, never no. That. You no, I piggybacked off the shirt, you piggyback off the pants. <laughs> no, you piggyback you, off I, the pants. I was like, I, no, pants. I was like, wait a second, what's up with this spot? <laughs> the shirts, I was like, oh, okay, nah, that's the way to do it. I, yeah. yeah, I get one of the band shirts. For, I'm getting a Tupac one for sure. Yeah. The pants, man, nah, I was crate digging. Come on. I was like, okay, yeah, we going in there. I don't want to hear that shit, man. Yeah, what's that hole that. in the wall? We getting those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Angel Munoz said Smack don't know how to kiss. Let's get to that. What's going oh. on? How is Angel Munoz going to speak on that? What are you even because talking Smack about? posted himself kissing his girl. But what are y'all even talking about? What are y'all about? talking like, about, how do you man? You know he has not had kids. Like, Does he not want to Smack mind his own business griefing right now. Y'all talking about kissing. It's so much shit going on. Y'all niggas just be hating. Y'all want so much Shame hate. Shame on you, Angel. To go, Angel. Like, let's stop, dog. It's nothing there, homie. For those two dollars, you could have got a kiss to yourself. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For somebody out there, come on, bro. Jario Guido said, shout out to Blasi and BOF. Crazy collab. Like it up. We need that 50%. Let's go, yeah, man. 5,000 likes. Get y'all 50% off, man. Oh, God. Nothing personal. Y'all seen it right here, man. He got too many pro- too much products. Too right. much. You know what I mean? Put the damn camera on me, nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love the camera switch. The camera switch is new as well, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, look. Yeah. Hey, it's hard. Yeah. Hey, I fuck with the setup. Listen, yeah. I'm having a lot of fun on here, bro. Yeah, man. I love this, man. I love kicking it back here with y'all. This is cold. Oh, yeah, God, you like what? it so far? I love this. This is wild, man. I could talk all day back here. I ain't even gonna. I will go get something to eat, and I will sit right here, and I will talk to y'all. Because when you talk are to y'all, there, I will do is, twelve hours. It is kind of like nerve wracking because you have to make sure, like when you do a reaction, you have to make sure you know how to press the buttons and yeah. bring this up, and you're reading this and you're doing that. So to be able to just be back here and chill, you like it. Yeah, I love it, man. You Good. feel me? We can, uh, you feel me? We want to do one more before we do fit check. Yeah, Perk Brady uh, said, W biggest mijo blazito. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. <laughs> Shout out to my biggest brothers in the chat, man. Come on. Oh, mijo blazito. Yeah. Yeah. All right, me, you go ahead. You, you do your blah, fit check. Throw, we gonna do into a, We ain't gonna. We gonna do a fit check. We ain't did one in a minute, man. It's been a hot day. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and go first and just go ahead and do do. Even I ain't really got on nothing, man. But you know what I'm saying? Hidden Hills flannel one time. Y'all check it out, man. Shout out Hidden Hills. Shout out to the boys over there, man. Got the hat on. You feel me? I love this. It say, don't watch baseball. I just really like this hat. You feel me? I forgot the name of the goddamn brand, but I know you're going to tag it, and I'm going to tag you and repost it. Um, a brand that everybody always talks about. They hate it now. You feel me? It's just going down the drain, and I'm going to ask Blassie about this. Shout out gallery department, and shout out these sweats. What? I probably paid $200 for it. Mm-hmm. These sweats is $200. Mm-hmm. God damn. I got some forces on and a little dirty. This is my, probably my last... I'm going to wear them a couple more times and then it's over with. And then, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll go next. Um, we'll get to that gallery department in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my outfit is really simple today. I got these pants from Zara literally right before I came. I have my ASIC Gelkinos, Gelkinos on. Yeah. I have a little basic little top from Pretty Little Things. And, yeah, that's my fit today. Two. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> All right, man. Today... I came just regular, you know what I mean? I kind of had, like, a, a good fit yesterday. I was trying to get out the crib, but I got, like, a, a regular L.A. hat, man. Shout out to Hat Club that hooked me up. I got a revenge jacket. Shout out to my good people at Revenge. You can expect some shit later on this year between us. I got another personal shirt, man. Um, I got some uh, EPTM pants and some cactus plant flea market Nikes. I lost the Nikes, the, 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 the shit that goes on it. Yeah. I was going to ask you, what are those shoes? They're Nikes. The, they, they were the, the ones with the big-ass logo that you were yeah. able to move. They dropped, oh, like, around, like, yeah. I think, like, October or something like that. Uh-huh. Um, but in my opinion, I think the execution wasn't too well because you just can't, like, they don't stick on. I lost all of them, you feel me? Oh, no. Yeah. Um, Nike, well, are they comfortable? I, no, I lost one. Not, yeah, no, they're comfortable for sure. What? Well, I'm doing it without the uh, without the shit inside. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah but took not- the soul out. You do that shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you if can't it makes sense. Shit, yeah. yeah, we from the ghetto, man. Now you take your soul out your shoe. We from the ghetto. Yeah, you said, well, yeah. what can I do with this? <laughs> That is funny. Yeah, man. We run the ghetto, man. Make sure yeah, y'all get 3,000 likes, man. man. You feel um, oh, yeah. Speaking of fit check, shout out Minimal. Yeah, shout, shout out Minimal, man. Use our shout code. out good people at Minimal, What's man. Code? Our code is FIGG20, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Minimal, man. Make sure you go shop their whole site. A whole entire site is just icy. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. full of low 
it's not pricey. It's just very, very, very reasonable, man. Y'all can get something fly out of there. Whether you go to the club, you feel me? You going out to dinner with your girl or whatever. Just oh, kicking it. Oh God, listen. Yeah, I'm saying they got everything for you. It's ridiculous. I, I try to, I try to search up and down Grail, trying to find like some nice flannels. Nobody got good flannels like minimal. Minimal has nobody got flannels. crazy, right? I, you, you could have all this conversation about like, oh, it's the price. Oh yeah, you know. But no, no one. Man, I, I f- show me a better final than what men will got. You know what I mean? I love their I love their finals. And it's just like they got every single thing that you will, like you need. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? Like I didn't, you know, she showed me the site at first, and I'm like, damn. Like, and then I just happened to hit them. She was like, just hit them, see what's going on, man. And they hit me back, like, because I was loving everything that she bought from me, mm-hmm. for me. So I don't even know where you found the site at, but shit, thank God she found that. Shit, I just saw it pop up my Instagram. Clutch. It comes in clutch for sure. Yeah, and then I shopped one. Yeah, day. they do a good job at like reaching everybody. Like they they yeah. market pretty well. Mm-hmm. They'll get their shit out there. I've been familiar. To, like think like they've, they've been having it going on since at least like the earliest like 2018, 2019, yeah. I would say. Probably earlier, you know, yeah. but uh, shout out to them, you know, that that, sh- that shit goes great, crazy, you know what I mean? Yeah, um, man. But yeah. well, we here, man, but, we uh, chilling. You were talking about gallery department. You, yeah, what, you don't think that You don't think that is valued the same anymore? I, I feel like, here's the thing, I, I think that, uh, uh, you know, when it comes to the pants, like, gallery department still got it, you know what I mean? Like, like their pants, I really like their pants. I'll watch, I still go get their pants. I feel like, and they're another brand where it's an example where it's like, uh, like the rarity don't really dictate the market. You know what I mean? Like well, everyone got a gallery shirt. You know what no, I mean? but that, it's just that don't like, really mean uh, that like people don't want to buy it. Yeah, it's I don't know what it is, but you know, it's a, when fads come in, people just like to turn their back on it. And right now, it's the yeah. gallery department is one of those brands where they trying to turn their back on it because everybody's wearing it and everybody want to be so different. And it's weird that our culture does that. You yeah. know what I mean? It's kind of like with the Panda Dunks. There's really nothing wrong with the fucking black and white Dunks. It's really nothing wrong with them. But since everybody has them, everybody wants to go, you know, oh no, don't wear those. They're the most disgusting shoes I wonder ever. what, what, you know what separates I mean? a Dunk from an Air Force. Because me, I mean, I'm right. someone as well where it's like, I don't necessarily wear dunks, but like I wear Air Forces. But like you're wearing Air Forces, I don't right. mean that's like oh, I don't know if I should wear Air Forces. Like you know what I mean? Like everybody got Air Forces. Everybody got French parents. It's like yeah, that don't stop nobody. But like, at what time does the product get to that? You know what I'm saying? Where like who like, determines who fly or not? Yeah. And I be feeling like a lot of the people that's tastemakers aren't really even tastemakers because when you look at them, it's just like. You ain't no fucking tastemaker. Who the fuck They're just are you? reciprocating you the, the, the last shit. You know what I mean? And it's just like clout. You People use their clout in the wrong ways. And people out here working hard as fuck for their brands and doing a lot and putting a lot of creativity into this shit. And then when you work it, when you actually walk into a gallery department and you purchase something, even the pants, they fit that shit. They tailor that shit. Like right on a spot. Like, like they really? got tailors in that mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. I've only bought the pants on like resale or like at Webster or something like that. I nah, never, when you go in a store, I never like, went it's to the real store. Deal. Ever. They have a really cool it's store. You deal. should go visit. Yeah? No, nah, it's real deal. You have to make an appointment to get in, but it's easy. You just go to their website, make an appointment, and it's really cool. You would appreciate it. They have, like, a lot of, like, cool, like, cool props setups and, and stuff. art. Yeah. All right, y'all, we need to get a, a 5,000 likes. Come on, y'all. Yeah. yeah let's, let's get, get this shit going, there. man. Man, you feel me? And then me and T-Rail going gallery shopping. <laughs> <laughs> but I be seeing a lot of people on the internet just like, fuck saying fuck gallery department. I mean, that, it's cool. I, I fuck see, with them. I think you see it, Um, you know, shout out to Hellstar. They're the biggest streetwear brand Oh, you finna right see now. that right now, too? Oh, he has on Hellstar. I've seen so many people with this on. Like, bitch, and I ain't Hellstar, finna buy that shit. Bro, they're, they're great people that designed that. We actually had, um, shout out to my boy, uh, Shawnee. We had him on Disconnected. That, that one yeah. day, Twisty People. The, that's her. That's Lord. Hey, y'all want to see that? Yeah, man, uh, you know, Shawnee actually pushed up to disconnect it, like episode 30 something, 20 something. But, anyways, like, and just to know that they're, they're real authentic individuals and like they really got this shit like grassroots style, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're real trendsetters and they really made this shit pop, you know? It's like, there's been streetwear brands like myself, like Half Evil, like, we've seen these brands, but like, I feel like uh, Hellstar has elevated for everybody, they've brought to new heights, you know? But now we get to a point where people are like criticizing them, where it's like, this is stupid, everybody got this, but it's like, that, that that's such a, a, a default like way of hating. You know what I'm saying? Like, get creative, you know? Of course this shit's popular, it's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, you think if this shit was stupid, everybody would want it? No, but it, everyone like, agrees that like, you know what, this is what we are right now. It's as either everybody community. got it because you can't get it, you feel me? And you just like hating 
Or it's like everybody got it and like you can't be like stand out and be different somewhere where you thought you could be, be different. You, but you still could be different. Like the shoes doesn't matter. Because the truth though, is, look, if someone mean? had a Hellstar shirt in here, they'd still stand out. Oh, God. They, they, it, it, they're still original. They're still unique items. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like that. Like just because like, oh, like sometimes in a room you might walk in and someone might be wearing it. That don't mean that it's superficial or it's lame. That just means that like it's it's gone to a point where it respects it. Nobody says it about Coca-Cola. You know what I mean? If a Coca-Cola right. ad pops up, I'm sick and tired of this shit. Everybody drinks Coca-Cola. <laughs> Think how stupid that sounds. You know what yeah. I mean? Come on. That's really If it's culture. good products, it's good products, man. And like Hellstar does a great job. And it's like, that's just going to come with the territory. When, when you when you number one like that, bro, like all due respects to them, it's like, it, it, that's what comes with it. People are going to judge you. They're going to try to criticize you. That's how you know you're doing good. That's how you know you're like challenging the status quo. This is not what people are used to. That's why everyone's questioning this shit, you know? So... Um, you know, I think we could all learn uh, something from health stars that come up. You know what I mean? They're 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 transgressing. They're still coming up. You know what I mean? We're gonna see where. I feel like they're a brand that I can see like someone like Chrome Hearts or like Gallery like doing a collab with. You know what I mean? That might sound stupid. You know, I, I get judged a lot for my take sometimes on the internet. You know, but that don't sound stupid because I mean, I fe- I, 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 I can see that like, happening. I'll be feeling like Chrome Hearts is overrated. I'll be like, what is that? Yeah, I don't know any Chrome Hearts I nor Balenciaga, but don't like, don't worry about it. I'm not buying none of that. You ain't got to worry about yeah. my sale. Right. My sale is not coming to you. You did yeah. want that Chrome Hearts orange hat. But matter of fact, I got it because it was oh, reasonable. Yeah, you didn't get it. It was reasonable. I did. I know you resale. got some Chrome pants. Your boy sold you or something. Oh shit no, the way. I ain't going Chrome pants. I went a hat. It was ninety bucks. It was some. I think what was no, it? it was like one twenty or something. something? I was like, oh, cool. You, you got hats for 120 That's cool. Yeah. You feel me? But it wasn't no chrome hat. Hell no, that was denim tears. Oh, yeah, denim tears. I got that denim tears hit. I do I had, I do not have That's the thing chrome. about. But I picked up the chrome hearts hat, and she said something crazy. She was like, nigga, 2500 I was like, nigga, never. Yeah. What? For, what? for, for a hat? For yeah. a hat. Hell no. That shit better make me hats. <laughs> what? <laughs> I better that be allowed to crazy, yeah. Dog. I better be allowed to sell these myself. So that if that's what we're getting down to. And that shit was crazy. Yeah, I, I don't. I, yeah, I don't own uh, Chrome Hearts or like Balenci, but you know I can respect them. And you know they got shit going on. But like whether it's like, yeah, I don't want that. That's that's the tough part where Chrome Hearts did reach that level where it's like, man, I don't want it. I can't stand out wearing this shit. You know what I mean? Like wearing some shit with the word fuck on it. Like come on. Hey, you did say you had like a. A quiet year last year, but still one of the great, you know, best. My best, years you no, had. my best year on all metrics, bro. I mean, um, but why was it so quiet for you? I told you I was busy, bro, fucking around, fucking around with your girl. So Chrome Hearts hats yeah. range from three twenty five to fifteen hundred dollars. Bye. I'm not buying yeah. that. That's See you wild. later. And it's just like you know that, bro, and like. Uh, suede passing that shit was fucked up you know what I'm saying and like I just couldn't uh, like I think like April to May like a- April of last year was like my dark I went through a lot last April shit I cannot even talk about like you know what I mean like yeah rest in peace money sign suede that shit fucked me up you know I wasn't able to design cause I you know it was shit that we were like we were supposed to do a drop the day after you know we got the news you know what I mean like we had we, we were consistently dropping shit for him yeah. You know what I mean? I was getting him legal, like, assistant, like, with the money shit. You know what I mean? Like, we were helping him out with that through the Parkside uh, website. Um, so you it was ever... difficult to go on my on my computer and just see recent files with his, like, logo and his fucking face on it. It's like, fuck. Do you ever feel, like, kind of, like, like, guilty in a sense to where, like, you know what? Damn, you know, me and you were together. You know what I mean? Like, when you got arrested or whatever. Oh, there's this weird ass like I've seen this video. You know what I mean? I, 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 you know, this is just a weird ass topic, and this is just like the way people twist things. But it's just weird ass conspiracy that like we got arrested at the same time, and I took a like I had a strap and he had to take it. Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Wouldn't that come up in the police report? Mm-hmm. Isn't that valuable information? How the fuck did they find that shit? Yeah. I heard that, bro, and it's like, that shit offends me because it's like, oh, you know, every now and then I'll get a DM like that and I'll check their ass. I'm like, what the fuck are you even talking about? Like, this is my homie. This is someone I was actively putting tens of thousands of dollars to. And it's just like, that shit's just like frustrating because you, you can't fight the internet. Yeah, because they, they, they think they know the truth. Yeah. And they think they know you and what, what happened. 1090 Jake hit me up. And what was that conversation like? 
I, I didn't respond. He was like, uh, would you like to speak on this? And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is fucking ridiculous. And like, if he had something to show, he would have showed it. Yeah. And it's like, the truth is, like, he turned himself in. You know what I mean? Like, I was there. He got arrested outside my office one day, but he was outside. I was inside. When I came out, he was already getting arrested. Cops were looking for his ass. Mm -hmm. But whether it's like, I had a gun with him in a car and... I was like, nah, fool, you gotta, like, that's fucking ridiculous. That's so offensive, you know? Yeah. That shit really fucks me up. Because they, they, yeah, they had, they, they had me believing, like, oh, man, Blasey was in the car What kind with of him. fucking stupid ass shit is that? You know, it's like, even, I'm like, it, damn, Blasey was in the car with him? I'm like, fuck, he might feel fucked up he was in the car with him. Maybe they shouldn't have left that day. Or maybe I could, well, I wouldn't have been day. able to afford bail. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what's going on? Like, the fuck? Like, it's not like a, I'm like, I have a warrant for my arrest or like, this is fucking stupid. And it's like, you know what I mean? It sucks. Cause it's like, you know, I deal with his family. You know what I mean? They see that shit too. And it's like, that shit's just awkward. It's like, what the fuck? Like, it's fucking stupid. Did his family believe anything the internet had no. going on? No. Yeah. I've been, you know, they we talk on a weekly basis. I still to this day help them out with their business, you know? Um, But yeah, that shit fucked me up. I was like, damn, that, you know. How bad? Like, or, how bad did it fuck you up? I mean, I had talked to him like a week before. Yeah. And I, I was just telling him how it's like, you know, like, fuck, I'm killing it right now. Yeah. Oh, Bobby. Man, it fucked you up bad. And he was like, no, I'm proud. I'm proud of you, bro. Like, keep killing it. I love you, you know? Okay. Yeah. That was what the conversation was like, you know what I mean? Like, you never know what'll happen. You feel me? Like, you know. No, yeah, I told him. It's like, you know, I was like, bro, I'm killing it right now. Like, it's just going crazy. He's like, bro, I'm proud of you. Keep going, you know. You Do know, you have any advice for him since you I mean, lost one of your best friends? I mean, I mean, I wouldn't say that we were best friends. You know what I mean? Like, he was somebody that like we were homies, but like I can't say like I grew up with him. You know what I mean? Like we had known each other for about a year. Still, though. You know what I mean? But it was just one of those relationships where we were hella tight. Um, you know, Southeast LA, there's not too many people come out from that side of town. You know what I mean? Like what? Like Paramount, Southgate, Huntington Park. It's like, we were able to relate on that. It's like, we're, we're two representations of how to do this shit. Yeah. How was it before you guys, you know what I'm saying, creatively and just chilling and, you know what I'm saying, in the office and just, you know, Amazing. holding it down? It felt like we grew up with each other. Yeah. We went to the same malls, went to the same skate parks. Like we, you know, it's like, we knew each other. Mm -hmm. And you know, he just rapping, he doing his thing, you, yeah. know, you know. And he was somebody that would always want to put people in position to win. He'd always come into the side like, hey, fool, like, my homie does construction. How can I set this shit up so it's like, he don't got to do that? And I'll tell him like, man, how, how this full sell rolling trades? Look, I'm going to set you up to our fucking X amount of dollars. You sell them for X amount and you get this, give this full fucking 10 bucks, give this full five bucks. That's how you do it. He was somebody that like constantly was thinking about like those around him. Yeah. Mm hmm yeah, so that was yeah, that and that was just super unfortunate, just you know, for you to you know hear about that. Like, where were you when you heard about that? I got a fucking text. Like, you just see what happened. I'm like, that's the worst way to happen. Worst way to hear, you know? What? You got a fucking text, so you hearing that so, shit? Yeah, on like internet. I saw it like five minutes into like the blogs posting it. Like, what the fuck? And then like you kind of just like don't believe it, and then you hit a people, and it's like, no, yeah. No, that sucks. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Did, did his family start hitting you or what? Well, it got to a point where it's like, you know, I was running his whole, like, his whole company. Excuse me, not his whole company, his whole, like, street, his, his street whole, like, clothing, shit. his merch shit. Yeah. I was printing it, designing it, shipping it out, customer service, a, all that shit. All he had to do was click post. So I, I was at a point where it's like, bro, I can't, I can, I'm not going to have this account. Like, I'm not Parkside. This is him. This is what he built. I was just helping and orchestrate it. So, you know, I instantly got with his family. And, you know, I, I knew his sister just from like, hey, how's it going? What's up? LOL. You know, like, but like I started conducting business with her, you know, shortly after. Because it's like, you know, like I can't have this account. Like, I'm I'm not going to, I can't profit off of this, you know, like this, this is obviously your guys' money. Yeah. So that instantly got poured over, you know, like we, me and, me and Suede, you know, we made those plushies before he passed, you know, that was, everything was perfect, you know, I had an ankle monitor, all that dope shit. And, um, you know, I just gave it to his family. It's like, yo, you guys should use this money. I don't fucking, you know what I mean? I already do my own brand. Like I, this is, this is just like one out of 20 items. Like, this is your shit. Um, 
But I, I've, been, I've been helping them navigate, you know, I'm still helping them design, figure out all this shit, you know. So I told them, it's like, in a world where it's like, you meet a lot of people from out of town, a lot of people from, not even from like your side of town. You meet a people from like West LA, North LA, all that shit. It's very hard for someone like to, uh, for, for me to like find somebody that like grew up kind of the same and like we knew the same shit, like. It was special, so he offered me a lot of like, you know, like friendship, you know? So through that, it's like we've developed a, a close relationship where it's like, bro, I ain't about me, just come through, kick it, smoke up. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be special for you to do that because you be, you don't like motherfuckers in your office. <laughs> Fuck no, what? And it, yeah. that, that's the thing, but I'm, I'm not somebody that's hard to get, a, uh, get along with. You know what I mean? I'm very reasonable, I'm myself, you know, I don't give a fuck, you know? And he was somebody that like, you know, I got a funny ass story. <laughs> you know, in high school, long story short, I was in like drug counseling and um for like weed and like NOS and all that shit. And uh, you know, I, I tried spice during that time because they were drug testing me. And uh my homies tried telling Sway, like, hey Sway, you know this fool Bladdy this the spice a couple of times? He was like, That's cool. So did I. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he never judged me. You know, like he was a skater kid too, you feel me? Like, that fool's cool. Yeah. So, now we had a dope relationship, and, and, like, he got locked up in November, and he was shortly released, like, around, like, Thanksgiving. He was out for another three weeks. He pulled up to my office, that, and that's another thing. It's like, bro, like, this fool pulled up to my office the night before he turned himself in. You know what I mean? Like, we kicked it. Kevin Moore shot, shot it. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was a dope vibe, and, like, we, we, we set together business. We figured out, like, what we're going to drop for the next six months, but most importantly, like, during that three weeks that he was out, like, I would pressure, I would tell him, like, nah, fool, like, we gotta, we gotta work, we gotta figure out what's next to come, what do we gotta design, what do we gotta do, and, um, during that time, he'd say, he was like, nah, bro, I'm just trying to pour up, man, let's smoke some weed, let, let's do some shrooms, I just want to kick it with you, and that's what we did for a majority so you, of that time. At, at no time did you ever feel like he was, like, in danger or in fear for his life or anything? Like, I don't want to talk about that. You? No? I, nah. Nah. Man, that's, you know, I, I, I asked that because, you know what I mean? Because it know? gets hella deep and shit like yeah. that. It's like, who the fuck am I to speak on shit like that, you know? Because the motherfuckers, because the people will be like, you know, was he sad or like, what was he going through around that time before he got it? Like, was he sad around anybody? Oh, at, at least his, like... Yeah, like, what was his Well, I could, life, no, I could tell, like, you know, he was like, fuck, you know, a lot of weight on his shoulders, but most importantly, he just, you know, he was big on just, like, utilizing every fucking day, bro. He was, he was the homie that would, like, react to my story at 6 a.m. because he had just woken up, you know what I mean? Like, he's up in the morning and he's going to sleep at, like, 1, 2 a.m., you know, like, if it ain't the studio, it's fucking me designing with him or he's figuring out some shit. He was always on the move, but those last three weeks, it's like, since we got all that working out the way throughout the throughout the year, um, 2022, it's like, he was just like, nah, let's just kick it. Like, come on, like, let, let, let's just post up at your crib, let's play FIFA, let's smoke some weed. Chill, yeah, you know? chill. I like that, dog. I mean, I like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad. Oh, I he had a dope ass bands, bro. Before he, yeah. before he got locked up, bro. Now, what kind I, of bands he had? It was like an S class. <laughs> that bitch was fly though, bro. What? And this fool was just like, he was so yeah. excited, like, it was dope. You still ain't got a new fucking bands. Why no, you I still? Do like, you, you got it? Yeah, I got it. You a, finally uh, got it. Yeah, I got a GLE AMG fifty-three. <laughs> My nigga, <laughs> with some four Gs. It's in the front. It's in the front. For real? Yeah. My nigga's like, I'm gonna give me a new whip. Yeah. I love that. You got to well, Yeah. Yeah. It, it was about time, you know. Um, I don't really like, I, I do like driving, like, my last car was fun, you know, that, 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 that shit's still a little faster than what I got right now. Yeah. If you want to get technical about it, but like, um, you know, it's good for taxes. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I would love to spend it on myself rather than Uncle Sam, man. Yeah. Listen, right. fuck him. Yeah, Uncle Sam burnt out. We ain't fucking mm -hmm. with Uncle Sam, man. You feel me? No, yeah, but Sam. yeah, I got, I got, I got a whip like, like the last week of December. I was like, <laughs> I need to do this shit ASAP, man. Come on, I need to reflect for, t cause like I said, it's like last year's the best year, you know, as far as everything goes, as far as business. Personally, it's a little, 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 little off, but everything in business went, you know, a one. It couldn't went, it could have went a one hundred, but like you know, a went a one went great, but um. I don't know what I'm going at. 
I'm faded as a motherfucker in here. No, you ain't faded. I see. You feel me? You want to speak on it, but you don't want to speak on it because you know it's a, it's a touchy topic, and I and I, I fuck with you. You know what I mean? No, for because real, man. people, yeah, people go through times, but you know, sometimes we reflect on times so we can really kind of. Well, get I, I think times, the way I got you know? closure through it, it's like yeah. you know. When he was alive, he wanted to do this pop-up. He wanted to make this money with his brand. I was selling them that dream. I was like, we could do it. You have the platform for it, you know? You pay me A, you get B. Let's do this shit. And um, he always wanted to have a pop-up. He always wanted to have people rock his merch. And it's like, man, for his birthday, we did a pop-up at a Sally. Shout out to my boy Milo. And, uh, you know, he had a line. The line spelled out the letter Z throughout the Santee Alley. You feel me? Throughout the fashion district. He had the craziest line for like 300 kids. We only had about like a hundred uh, plushies on hand, you know, and uh, we didn't have enough. Like they sold out within two minutes, but Damn. people just came by just to show love to uh, the family, just to show love to everybody and just to pay respects to him, you know. Still to this day, bro, like he, he really said, um, you know, as far as like Latinos and Mexican goes in like L.A., it's like, you know, Shoreline Mafia, they killed it. They did it. You know what I mean? You know, that's the beginning of the movie. Like, movie two, it's like Sway, like, he really lived that Southeast L.A. lifestyle. You know what I mean? Like, he really was that. He really was HP. You met him. You're, that, that's why he was, that's why he blew up so big and so fast. It's like, man, this reminds me of the homie I grew up with. You know what I mean? Of course it would bump this shit. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, he, he, he broke a lot, a lot of doors for everybody. And, like, you know, now, like, you know, Latino rap is, like, bigger than ever. You know what I mean? I feel like he definitely, like, he... he he intro- he took he set a different tone. He was somebody, you know, where Shoreline had their own island. He had his own island as well. Where it's like I don't need to rely on anybody. This is my fucking shit, and like I need everybody to come fuck with me, and they did. I mean, fucking Snoop Dogg remixed this song. You know what no, I mean? That's crazy, yeah. right? Yeah. So, what was bro's name? Zosama. Zosama, yeah, that's Zosama. That's Zosama remix, man. So that that's just special to uh, to see. Um, but yeah, rest in peace, Sway, man. Rest in peace, Sway, man. Rest Still to this day, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm telling his family, it's like, yo, this is the best way to do it, this is the best way to do that. Like, his mom wanted to give me, like, a, you know, a payment for, like, the plushies that we had ran for Thanksgiving. And I told her, like, what the fuck am I gonna do with that smoke here? Like, nah, I'm good. Like, like, this year, guys, like, this is the least I can do. You know what I mean? Like, you, like, your son brought a lot of, like, happiness. And you gave that to her. That's fucking dope. You should get yeah. all of that 100%. Yes, yes. No, nah, that's actually dope. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people don't know that. A lot of people probably don't know you did that. What? No, I would feel weird. What if I, if I was yeah. just touching that? Nah, nah. We we, we got the podcast with uh, his sister. You know what I mean? Like, nah. Yeah. That's dope, man. R.I.P. Sway, man. R. R. Sway. Don't worry about Next nothing. Way. You know what I'm saying? I love that, man. I love Blasi being here. You feel me? We still giving away. You got emotional, low key. I ain't yeah. gonna lie, man. There was some right cracks in my there. voice. You know what I'm saying? I it was some right cracks in my voice. voice. <laughs> yeah, he was gonna drop a tear for y'all. Oh like, God, like, I had drop to, that motherfucker. I had to stop at, at that red light for a second. I'm like, <laughs> why are you wanting to cry? I'm like, yeah. drop a tear. I drop lie. a tear in my drop head. Drop a tear for the chat. Drop some tears in the chat. You can clip and chop it up and say, Bozzy. Bozzy balls his eyes out, freaks out. I'm like, drop that motherfucker. He just, he just looking. He like, man, it was crazy. Yeah, the yeah, tear was like, y'all. Up. My tears were like, you want me to come out? I can come out if you want me to. But <laughs> you know how you hold the tear? That motherfucker yeah. be right there. Yeah, yeah, but I got nothing to hide. What? Crazy. Of course, of course, I'm almost crying. I'm talking to my, talking about my boy. What? Come yeah. on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Shout out to everybody fine. in here. Make sure y'all like mm-hmm. the video. How many video? How many likes we got? Uh, 2,800. 2,800, 2, almost 3,000, man. man. We almost need 2,000 more likes. 2,200 more yeah. likes, man. We can get there, man. 2,200 more likes. 50% off, man. Nothing personal. We in here kicking it with my boy Blazzy one time. Make sure you yeah. like this video, man. We what we got bitch. as far as these super chats? What we got, man? Uh, Go Ran Bluther said, stop with the Twitter fingers. It's corny. Set it up. I think he's talking to Trevor and Six. In the chat. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What no we doing with that, Six? Yeah. <laughs> Six gonna get his ass knocked out by Six Trevor. Six was giggling. He can never come back. If, if Trevor knocked you out, nigga, don't erase my number. I'm gonna put 2K on the fight. Oh, man. Yeah, on the fight. Hey, Let Trevor. Go. Six is giggling off of that, man. Come on. He don't believe. Man. Come on. Then after that, one of y'all gotta see point and shoot. He, he need both of y'all fade. He duck Yuri. He duck point and shoot. He gonna duck me next. Oh, so oh, he duck Yuri. Oh, he duck shit. point and shoot. Yeah. Now he gonna duck you. Whoa! Come on, Damn. Trevor. Wow. 
Damn. What's going on with that? No Chill said, do a thrift store fit challenge. Ooh. Oh, I could do that. I come from the thrift store. What? But right. the fit I used challenge. to have fun yeah. with $5. Bro, bro, bro you're not putting this on a better fit than me in the thrift store, I dog. swear to God, I could. What? You want to do that again? We going round two? Come on. Yeah, we can go round two. I feel like it's you. just an L.A. thing to like go thrifting. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if people what? do it in other Listen. states, but yeah. I didn't do it till I got When I was, when I'm going to sound old as fuck, but look, when I was 17, like in 2012, and I, I was going to prom. I had a hundred bucks. I was thinking about going to like the fashion district, getting my weak ass Italian little little paisa suit. But I was like, <laughs> nah, I'm gonna go to Wasteland, and I got a YSL jacket for that hundred dollars. Come on! Oh, and shit. that was one of those things where like I learned like like very soon that like okay, like this was like 20, 2012, you know, going to Melrose and shit like that, and just like. Like, okay, like, you could go a long way, you know, if you try to look for this shit. Yeah. You know, and I, I found out about that whole street. I'm like, what? This is it right here. We got we to gotta give ourselves a budget, man. Then we going to go thrifting. Because you can I go mean, thrifting. You can do I feel like a 250 thrifting. budget. Two, okay. You can do expensive or you can do cheap thrifting. Because I can get some. I Maybe can get $50. Maybe you give me budget. $50, I'll go crazy. Yeah, same. $500 for thrifting. Give That's me like 75 you know. 75 bucks? I want to grab some chips on the way out. Seven, you know what I mean? Like, come on. <laughs> oh, he shitting. Nah, yeah. I'll kill Blasi on a thrift nah, in the shopping. Hell Let's nah. do it right now. I'll kill Blasi. I'll kill Blasi. Matter yeah, of fact, put up a post. Up. Put up a post. Who y'all think? Of, yeah, put up a put up a poll. Put up a poll. Who y'all think of, uh, go crazy out of thrift shop? To me or Blazzy, man? What's the deal, man? <laughs> that was crazy. What else you got, man? For your uh, super chats. Um, he it went all the way to the top. Um, M Town Memphis Maid said, "Biggest bro to FMW. Let's get to that." Yeah, let's get to that, man. Oh, Yo, Mama God. Love Me nine oh nine said, "Long live Money Swade." Yes, Money sir. Let's go. Money Swade. Yeah. Six O H said, "In the hospital, watching with my girl. We just had our second son. Shout out to Back on Fig and Blasey." Yeah. Wait, they yeah. said, what is that brand? Asali. Oh, Asali times Blasi so shot, collab soon. Shot, yeah, I, yeah, we're gonna we got a we got a, a whole collection coming soon. I just want to have a moment and give my boy uh, Milo his flowers. That's the designer and owner of uh, Asali. That's that sweatsuit everybody sees of like Chapo and Escobar. Just oh, okay. repeated. Now, uh, uh, I feel like you know I have a lot of like fashion homies like kind of walk around with their nose up. But I be telling them, it's like, look, bro, this is hood fashion. But, like, I don't know anybody else beyond Den and Tears that got a fucking a pattern like that. You know what I mean? It's yeah. the truth. That shit's, like, uh, that shit's crack out here. You know, it's everyone crack. want it. Yeah. Everybody got a sweatsuit. If you could drop it, you know a music video, you know a music fin, fin the slap if, if bro rocking in a solid fin in this music video. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. It just sounds yeah. different. I'm, and I, I just want to, uh, I, I want to give him his flowers. But yeah, we do have a collab coming soon. You could go on Bravo to Bag Chaser's Instagram. He's been wearing this bracelet that me and him got uh, coming out. Uh, me and Asali. So shout out to uh, Bravo and Asali. Um, good people over there. But now nah, we got a collab coming soon for sure. Oh hey, I'm go oh, nah. Man, fuck they the chat. See how they the chat. Give me, man. Nah. Fuck the chat. Of course, Blasi's gonna win. Well, leave. we got some Blasi bots. Nah. <laughs> Blasi bots. <laughs> some Blasi bots. Oh my gosh. Hey man, turn me up. Go crazy in the likes. Yeah, he's winning. Terrell. Yeah, no way. He definitely killed too. It's solid seventy three. Everyone voted or something. Nah, the chat is haters though. They, you know what I mean? Nah, yeah. they 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 say nah, they be hating. They hate. They be hating. What's they up with the zesty shit? What zesty <laughs> shit? Fuck y'all niggas, man. They said Trail's fashion sense equals wearing <laughs> zesty, zesty shit. <laughs> what are they talking about? What are they talking about? Oh my God! I don't even Does know. Does he got like six? Black six. Shirt. What's his question? Okay, he's pulling it up. We need to see a questionable fit. Y'all are crazy. A questionable fit is crazy so because she, I had some questionable fits. She's gonna pay through Sarala's cash app. Yeah, I know. I gotta oh, talk okay. to her to hold on. Okay, okay, okay. All right, what are we doing? I, I I gotta see the fit in question. Yeah, I mean it's some questionable fits. Why y'all trying to go to him is like really, really crazy. Like, yeah, y'all some haters. I hey, just know, just know they don't even make a hundred gas. It's ninety one. You know you gotta make some mistakes throughout it. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you rate this fit right here, Blazzy? It's ninety one supreme, oh, but no, this is definitely no. This is the zest Girl, is like. Whoa! It's up top. All right. but, What's wrong with that fit? But you with Heather, that kind of counter offs it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's it, like, it, it, it. you can't call that zesty. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I'm with Heather. Wait, what's If you were Dolo, yeah, it looks a little crazy. 
<laughs> Wait. <laughs> this is a dope date fit. Yeah, y'all get it now. This is cute. Don't you feel like you on the way to Alvarez's? Nah, like. <laughs> Why did four percent milk comment y'all fire with a heart? That's right, my nigga <laughs> milk. <laughs> I love milk. My for nigga that. milk, my nigga comment on that shit. I fuck with you, girl. But then you come, <laughs> but then you come, Jeff Hamilton. And it's like okay, yeah, yeah. I made it up. Yeah, you made it up. Yeah, ninety one so with my girl. Yeah, boom. And then I come, Jeff well, Hamilton, you know, the with the Gucci cowboy right boots. Let's let the record reflect. Nigga still don't got that. But me and Ace Rocky. We did a we little the too only much. You that rumble with that one. They didn't even know about it. Yeah. We did a little too much. Damn. I was like, Yo, oh, I've been on the sprinter. Yeah, right? we, we went up. We, <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all could have got a black I'm truck. Like, fuck that. Yeah, for real. But I'm like, okay, my nigga's in a movie. We about to do it. Yeah. They hit the big red carpet. Hey, like, I'm in a movie. I'm in the Sprinter. Yeah, yeah we pulling up Sprinter. We, out the we sprinter, coming man. Sprinter. I had but, two seconds in that motherfucker. We was killing them. But, <laughs> bitch, y'all better not give us no motherfucker so fight. I'm telling you, I'm going to eat y'all up. I'm already a superstar. Y'all niggas trash. So we went to take <laughs> photos before we actually got on the red carpet. Just because uh-huh. I was like, I don't know if we're there. We're going to get our photos, whatever. I want to be in control of our own photos. So we had our girl Becca meet us at the rooftop at the Roosevelt, take our photos. Yeah. And we were looking down at everybody, how they were dressed. And we're like, oh, we did way too much. <laughs> we did entirely way too much. So we had those blue outfits in the, in the Sprinter. So we're like, we got to change because... This isn't the vibe. And we changed into the blue and it was like perfect. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, y'all did it. Because you going with a silk fucking you, mesh shirt, shirt. Oh, that shit would have been that embarrassing. That just seemed dolo. Yeah. That shit would have been embarrassing. That's not dolo fashion. <laughs> <laughs> That's couple fashion right there. Hey, it if I would have stepped in that if movie theater with that fucking shirt on, then it would have been so embarrassing, G. Because they were dressed like us. <sighs> So for us to hop out nah, like that was cool because like, it was lie. like high it's, fashion fly. I'm starting to you piece it mean? together. Like, okay, for sure. I'm taking it in. Like, that's dope. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he I was excited. It. He's like, I'm in a movie. We got to go up. Yeah. And then you only have <laughs> one word. <laughs> what for <laughs> sure? I'm going to sprint it for half a word. <laughs> for a cameo. Yeah, I was in that motherfucker. But- Nah, no, is he crazy, <laughs> homie? Oh, yeah, oh this one right? Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. yeah, this one and I caught it. it. Oh, this one I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> this one I caught it. The chain bigger than the shirt. <laughs> the chain bigger than the shirt. Why <laughs> did I like you? I'm so <laughs> This is crazy, bro. I think I was disgusted. Your head now. got shorter. I swear to God, Why it don't it don't extend like that. I don't know what's going on right Bruh, there. That is you got trash. a troll. Oh, that's because my wait. forehead was so big. Look at that. My hairline was fucked up, cuz. I okay, put the wait. turkey on these. But niggas. the fact that you and India were still on good terms. Love that. that. Was, she was young and we was doing it up. She thought you were big. She thought you were big. <laughs> oh, she taking a phone with you. India just yeah. fucked with me and yeah. I fucked with her. That was one of you know. We are one like of the, family. One of the yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I fucked with her heavy. She was young. She always come through, support you, want to hang and bang, whatever the case may be. But, but I she, did the bullshit. She chose her family and her sisters as she stood <laughs> over me, you feel me, when I did that shit with Alan. And it's okay. But we ain't been the same India, thing. Yeah. Cause she's on the <laughs> cover. We ain't coming to back on figure. It feel like it is. That's some, out. She ain't never fucking with me, girl. But no, shout out to her cause she's on Kanye West's new album. Yeah, shout out oh, India what? for being yeah. on that, man. Oh, I'm, okay. You know what I'm saying? She That's has, tight, man. I'm proud of you, man. You do even it up. even for a, a tight dollar sign. Like you couldn't tell me ten years ago that this was gonna happen. They're gonna have I a know. collab album. What? I know. And Ty Dolla Sign is legendary. Let, let, let's get that out the way, right? The but album like, is great. Yeah, that's legendary. To, to hear that, yeah, for sure. But to right? hear that they 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 collab on the album, like what? That's you couldn't tell. You me collabs that. on the album with Kanye. That's big. He would never even yeah. thought of no shit like that. Yeah. Your dreams, especially like God I mean, always got you. Y'all know him directly, but just hearing like the interviews about him, about him like going couch to couch, and he was the last one amongst like the whole era to bro up. You know what I mean? Like it's it's kind of crazy to see his plight. You feel me? Just, bro up as far as what YG? Yeah, because YG, Tyga, everyone kind of got their shine, and then Ty Dolla Sign. I mean, he was on tour and booted, but it's like he wasn't known for his like his independent shit until a couple of years later. You know what I mean? On a bigger scale, you know what I mean? Like once Mustard became like a big ass just pop. A developing producer just like Iggy Azalea vibes that's why I feel like Ty Dolla Sign hopped in his bag yeah yeah he, he hopped in his bag he probably hopped in his bag a little after all of those uh, all of them but he still when he hopped in his bag it was, it was super hits it was even his even if he didn't what? have uh, Kanye West you feel me no offense like he'll still be big 
you know, big than me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he been had big, Kanye big, songs big, too, yeah, like yeah, five, six years you know ago. I mean? like, yeah, it, it, he got yeah. that only one song with him, like what 2015? Yeah. That shit was fire. He, he was with yeah. Taylor Gang too. He was doing it up. Like he had, he had a lot of moments. You feel me? But for this moment to come, and you know, to him. Kanye West like collab album yeah. and y'all number one. Let's get that out the way. Y'all number one. Let's on get iTunes, that out the Bill, way. Yeah, Billboard. That's was it. Not Taylor wild. Swift soft or something like that. Yeah, I think I saw that. And he like the number war, number three like most popping artist on Not Apple yours. Music or whatever the case may be right now. Like, and I think he above Taylor Swift on that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's what it is. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but fuck it. He on there. You feel me? Like, I was number one on uh, yeah, I'm instant uh, Apple Podcast. I was number one on Apple Podcast, nigga. I don't know how long it lasted. I think it's 24 Why hours. Why is that on the wall? 48 hours. We need to have that a screenshot. Yeah. Wall. Screenshot on the wall. Us, you should have your favorite screenshots. It's gotta have like five, ten of them. That's oh, yeah, that's dope. Moments. See, that's why I need Blasi in the building. You feel you me? And we just yeah. thinking this shit as we talking. We don't got no fucking <laughs> test tubes and yeah. beakers, you know what I mean? We just talking. Yeah, you feel me? Like the year in the mean button. Oh, and then God. we need the uh we need the screenshot. What can we create with big market? Like there's so much what? I mean I like, feel like just naturally y'all should be doing pop ups at liquor stores and shit. Ooh. Pop ups at once liquor it, stores. Once you guys come around to that, you know, once you guys like, all right, let's do this. I, I feel like that'll be a dope setting. Yeah, for sure. Just have it naturally like that, and just buy the liquor store. Like, yo, we're we gonna have it for the weekend. We gonna set it right here. We're gonna move your counter over there. You guys already know how you guys do this. You know what I mean? What if we did like a cool like ice chest, like an igloo? You know, the old school like vintage that'd be super like hard. ice chest. Because I was just was looking at this ice. Like the, you know, mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, there's like so, no, there's so many. Pro- I mean, just the just the market vibe. It's like there, there's so many affordable products you can develop and create. People want, you know, what I mean, they're already shopping for. It's but like, you create products that are like normal shit. Like that is normal as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like that paper holder, you know. But it's so cool because it's, it's like I would never. Yeah, exactly. There's some shit you see already at, at fucking Office Max. You yeah, know what I mean? exactly. But uh, yeah, it's all about context. I, th- I think yeah, it's, it's like you guys gotta have fun. Well, we need to set up a meeting together and just yeah, like we need to. That he looking around like this shit called I'm gone what like I'm seeing on the camera up. it really looks like there's a there's an ice room with the beer in the back behind me what oh they yeah. got multiple chips in the back y'all can go ahead and, oh I know it's free yeah. you y'all know how to tell drink. him y'all want some to drink y'all can get some y'all want some tequila no, no, oh you don't drink you know what I'm saying go ahead mushrooms in the refrigerator if y'all oh, take mushrooms my boy out shoes right shit. now Oh yeah, big take one. Just fuck, just because if you don't up. take it right that's now, yeah, same, get, get that's one. That's the same brand you. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Mr. Mushy. You know what I'm saying? You got my Mr. Mushy's bar right here. Hey, shout out um, to Mr. Mushy. My boy smoke. Uh, yeah, it, it's not the same shit that he loves. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got this Mr. Mushy. Don't worry about nothing. Yeah, you feel me? Shrooms is like next level. Shrooms is definitely next yeah, level, man. Yeah. Shrooms is definitely next level. Yeah, I can't do them. Why? Um. I, look, like I'll try that. I'll try like a half a gram, a gram, and I'll start vibrating. I still feel, I feel a little jumpy, and I think I can handle it. And I take two more, three more grams. And it's like <laughs> that should put me in a whole other mode. Different. Like where you be at, Bruh, Listen, when I'm sober, when I'm high on weed, yeah. you know, when I'm doing my thing, like I'm happy, I'm thankful, I'm so blessed for the opportunity. Like I appreciate everything that I have in my life. I'm always having to think about it. When I'm on shrooms, bro, I start telling myself, like, bro, this is all dumb. Like, I get <laughs> negative. Like, I don't you know. You get negative? Yeah. Wow. And it's you like, having bad trips. Well, yeah. here's the thing. It's not necessarily bad trips where, like, I'm taking a cold shower in the corner, you know, a cold bath. You know, I'm not doing none of that. It's just, like, it's still manageable, but it's like, oh, I want to come on, like. Got two hours left. Like this shit finna take a minute. Like it's boring. Also, oh, it's getting so. Just what the shrooms is is getting you to your real life thoughts and bringing you to reality and how you really thinking. And then it ain't no, you know, it ain't nothing there to cover it up. So what you need to do is, you probably need to get out there and really have some real, real positive thoughts because you probably really covering up how you really feel about the day, instead of really, you know, sharing. You know your real but true how, emotions, because the shrooms is bringing bringing you to your real true emotions. So but my you might thoughts, need to pray it up. That's why you take it bad. The thing is though, check it. No, I do. I pray every day. Listen, I, I'm, That's I'm why thankful. You take it bad. Yeah, no, for sure. You try to get that energy off you. Get that energy but off. But when you. I'm sober, whether I'm on weed or I'm faded right now, you know I'm a little loose off, off what we're sipping. It's like you know I'm not negative. I'm thankful. I'm happy. You know it's just like that shrew specifically. I always hear it too. It's like oh you gotta be in a good mindset. It's like I'm, I'm in a good mindset, but it's like 
once I don't know, it just it makes you vibrate different. I'm like ah, I just, he ain't. I don't know, Chad. He I've done. He ain't, I done he, shoes. Ain't, he, ain't, he ain't heavenly yet, the, man. No, because it's like I'm you ain't t- heavenly. You ain't in your heavenly vibe I'm, yet. I'm reflecting on like a dozen experiences throughout the last like five years. You know, I'll try it every like three four months, see if it's for me yet. Uh-huh. You know, and it's still like I've. I've had, you know, gr- mostly great times the last, like, five years, you know, for the most, I've changed my life, you know, it's like, telling me about all those times there wasn't an opportunity for me to be, you know, it's like, the shoes just make it feel weird, I don't know. I'm not someone who's open to, like, shit like that, but. It's like, get out that thought, because you say you had dark thoughts. You said I you mean, had those dark thoughts, and you said you would never share those. I mean, so if those a, dark thoughts, you got to get out them bitches. I'm not finna share the bitches on <laughs> no, here. No, 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 no. You're not gonna share them, yeah. but you gotta get out the bitches. You know what I mean? Like, the shoes gonna bring you back to reality, out. G. I am mean, trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. God, man, Shrooms told me but, who I was. But check Shrooms it out, check it out. Shrooms told me I was a nigga. Nah. Shrooms told me I was like, nah. you a god, you okay. an angel. You, but check you it out. here. Numbers don't lie, right? Yeah. If you're just going for the best for me that it's ever been, why am I telling myself I should quit tomorrow? Fuck this shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that don't serve me no good. You know what I mean. Everything's great. Everything's so you think it's giving you bad thoughts. Yeah. Hell no. I swear to God, I know it's somebody. One per. I, I need one person in the chat. You get half off. Nah. I know there's one person. Show me the chat. You feel me? And we need five thousand likes so we can get fifty percent off right now, man. Show me the chat. What is the chat? Chat saying, man. T T Rail crazy. Yo, ego crazy. T Rail, you crazy. Yeah, my ego is crazy. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's nothing wrong with that, too. A lot of people that's out there, don't let nobody tell you you, you you ain't who you are or whatever the case may be. And fuck all that being humble shit. You feel me? Like, sometimes being humble and all that shit, niggas, just, they want you to be humble because they scared of you or they intimidated. You feel mm-hmm. me? And your presence make them a little bit insecure or whatever the case may be. So... Nigga, fuck all that, nigga. I'm a nigga. You feel me? Like, and fuck you. You feel me? Like, that's just how I've been. Like, lately, look at yeah. this shit. This is wild. Me sitting back here looking at this shit. I'm like, these niggas in the liquor store. Oh, look God. at this. You can't really? fuck you talking about. You feel me? Like, yeah. it's like, Kanye, yeah, how do I be humble when I'm looking at myself on a jum- j- jumbotron? Like, that's wild. Like, yeah. I wouldn't even imagine myself. No, the thing is, no, you are humble because it's yeah. like, there's like unwarranted, like, flexing where it's like, I came into you guys' office. You could have been like, oh, uh, how much we made today? Or like, yo, you mind, like, oh, Same like, bullshit. yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're flexing yeah. on, fle- you know, like, that's, that's distasteful. But like, you showing what you've earned and doing it, that, that, that's amazing. What? Yeah, that's but amazing. But there's levels to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, if I need a flex, it, yeah, I got I got a hundred things to say. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, um, there's people who like will, will go out their way to let people know, like, oh well, shit, I got Quavo's phone number. You know, some stupid shit like that. It's like that don't really we get don't you far. Care. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but then yeah. there's six shit where it's like, nah, you gotta flex that. You're number one. Come on. No yeah. one can say that. You know what I mean? It's like, it's sometimes uh-huh. you just gotta do that shit, man. And it just. It's, it's like, like it, it, the, you the, know? The, the flexing, it's a credit card. A f- yeah. It's a credit card to flex. You know what I mean? Like, you're saying you're the shit. You gotta show for it. If you don't show for it, you lose credit. But and you can't be, be flexing no more. Flexing? But if you flexing and you got credit for it, you keep paying off that credit, yeah. you can keep flexing bigger and bigger. Your credit score is higher. But are you flexing because you're happy of what you accomplished? Some motherfuckers just take it the wrong way, dog. And it's like, you can't believe everybody Not out here. You it, it would be can't. someone like, like let, let's say like um, Kanye, for example, like... I think he's generally humble. You know what I'm saying? Like, he don't get in the way of reminding people what he got. You know what I mean? Or maybe he do. <laughs> <Bad boy. laughs> I ain't never heard a motherfucker that been around him and know him personally be like, man, that nigga's an asshole. Yeah, I'm tweaking. That's one of them stupid yeah. thoughts I had. Kanye Humble? No. <laughs> no, he's not, he dog. Gonna let you I mean, he, he, I mean, he gonna let you know in the songs or whatever, but when you're around him, it's humble. Every time we've been around, it's like humble. It's super humble. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, he, he got, got, he got, got like, nigga. I'm a nigga, get out the way. Yeah, no. Y'all been in the shit. room of people like that where it's like, what the fuck you talking about? Like, yeah, I could get up on you like that and double it. You yeah. know what I mean? But it's like, for what? What are you trying to win them over? Like, they're already a bad person. You don't want right. them around you. It just speaks on their uh, person. It's back to that whole bot conversation. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, it's not really... Yeah. It's not really gonna keep me up at night, but it's like if I could choose to be around you or not, I'm gonna I'm gonna opt out, you know? Yeah, so no bots. 
Nah. Okay. <laughs> so today I was in the gym. Yeah. And I saw this guy with a shirt on that had a D on it. And I was like, oh, he's wearing Keem's brand, whatever. Like, let me go talk to him, see if he knows Keem or whatever. So I was like, oh, like, I love your shirt. Like, uh, is that a dedicated shirt? And he's like, oh, yeah. He had his headphones in, too. He's like, oh, yeah, Dad. Uh, dad, uh, he said Dad Gang at the time. But the music's loud and stuff. I was like, oh, yeah, I love it. I was like, so you know Keem? And he was like, wait, sorry, who? And I was like, you know Keem? He's like, oh, no, I don't know Keem. He's like, this is my brand. It's called Dad Gang. And it said Dad Gang, but it had the, the D on there. And it was like Dad something something or whatever. And I was like, oh, sorry, I have a friend. He has a brand named Dedicated. I thought it was his shirt. I was going to take a picture and send it to him or whatever. And uh, I was like, who stole whose designs? <laughs> yeah, I was like, so, how long you been around? Yeah, because this is like exactly his shirt. Yeah, he needs to send him a cease and desist. I'm like, who stole design. who designs? <laughs> you know I mean? He's yeah. like, oh, I've had my brand for like over five years. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 we hear that. I ain't trying to hear that. Like, yeah, he's like, shout out to Keem, though. He's like, it's money Try for like, all of us. don't know you either. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That nigga stole the homie shit, yeah. girl. Oh, my God. He was like, <laughs> I, but he was like, yeah, say hi to Keem for me. Nah, oh, back to no, that. He just stole the homie shit. We not going for that. Back to that cease and desist conversation. Nah, that nigga stole the homie shit, man. I we ain't going for that. It. Oh God! Well, yeah, we throwing the book at him. Nah, we need. Yeah, we gonna throw so the book at him, man. So, do you go through people trying to steal your designs? Uh, or? you know what? I'm past that. Like, I. See, the like, thing is, my whole my whole thing about copying me is you can't be my homie and copy me. Yeah. Okay. If you want to be some like random person that don't know me, like go ahead and make your own fan all shirt. Like, I'm not. I'm not God. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. have no copyrights for none of this shit. You know, so like, make your own, but you can't be my homie. Like, if you my if you my homie doing that shit, I ain't gonna fuck with you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like your competition. You yeah. know what I mean? But yeah, like, yeah. can I be offended that someone wants to do it themselves? Go for it, try it. You know, it's not easy. You know, it takes years to develop this shit. But <clears throat> yeah, nah, nah. Uh, but people who like, that's what I'm saying. It only hurts if it's like my homie. You know what I mean? If they, it's like, oh come on, like I ain't fucking with you. But if it's someone who don't even know me like that, like you can't judge them. They saw your shit. And, and they thought something, you know, in their opinion, better. Yeah. yeah, they're like, you know what? If I were to do something like this, I'd do it like that, and that's why I dropped this. So if your that's homie, so if your homie did it, it's another. Yeah, well, I be getting at that. Listen, I have homies all the time. I, I, I listen. I always say how I feel. I, I tell them it's like, bro, like you can't be a. Uh, I'll, I'll send, I'll send my shit to him. Like, bro, you really gonna do a comment right here? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Yeah, nah, me and my homies get along, Still though. Even like, from your friend is trash. Like, I'm not. Yeah, my fr- my friends know better not to drop no ashtray with a girl on it. <laughs> How did you come up with that? That's such a good idea. Man, I, 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 make these, I make these ashtrays off significant others. Oh, I'm just kidding. Okay. I'm you ain't around. kidding. I'm fucking around. No, you're not fucking around. <laughs> I heard the story already. Yeah, I'm connected to the streets. Shut the fuck I'm connected up. to the street, so I already know where that shit came from. <laughs> nah. Nah, I do, dog. What? Where did it come from? Don't even worry about it, because I can, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> she go, hey, she, yeah. Because that ass train, the other one with her bending over, that's your girlfriend. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's your girl, dog. That's Wait, your ex-girl, dog. Wait, why is everybody dog? saying that no. your ex-girl is with Lefty Gunplay in the chat? What? I don't fucking know she probably is. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> They're like, oh, she left this Lottie for crazy. Lefties. <laughs> oh, I know that she ain't with me. You feel me? Fuck her then, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? She fucking with Lefty. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Do it up, man. Oh, God. We getting the money off the ass straight mm-hmm. up. Right. Oh, no, well, yeah, I'm going to make some products out of it. <laughs> we getting the money off Come the on. ass straight up. You know what I mean? Don't yeah. worry about it. We have yeah. saying? We should make an What's the third one looking like? Check. Yeah. <laughs> we should make that one of your girls that you talk to is ass. We did that already. We did that. That's, what we, that's what we talking about. He, he getting the chili. Okay. Yeah, he getting the I'm chili, the man. Game. Nah, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably make a third ashtray soon. We'll see. We'll see about that. You know. Yeah. They're fun though, for sure. But. Yeah, no, nah, I try. Yeah, I, I try fun. to cover that market. Come on, right. they fun, man. Uh, How many yeah, likes yeah. we got, man, over here? Thirty-two. Thirty-two hundred likes, okay. man. Whoa, sure. let's go. <laughs> let's thirty-two hundred likes. We got thirty-two percent right now, y'all. Can we get thirty-three? I don't know. Well, we need eighteen hundred more likes. We need eighteen hundred uh, more likes before we get fifty percent off, man. Or nothing personal. We got my boy Blazzy here. 
man appreciate him coming through man uh yeah man if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe right now man what do you want to do we, let's get into a topic one time man I can't let's get into a topic died, so oh my computer I died i got my bag is on the door right outside the door should i get um plug i don't even know oh we got topics on here? here yeah Oh, let's get it. Don't worry about it. nothing, man. And shout out Prize Picks, man. Shout out Prize Picks. Make sure you use our code, man. F I G G, man. It's a double your deposit up to a uh, hundred bucks. Make sure you go over there and download the app right and now. Don't worry about nothing. If you need my picks, go over to Winnable. I have a link to Winnable too, man. Go over to Winnable. I've been having a gang of picks over there, and we've been winning like crazy, man. You feel me? If you want my VIP picks. Then let's do it. And, and ask everybody on my VIP picks. We've been winning chili. I'm going to let y'all know that right now. I'm not even kidding you. I'm feeling me. So make sure you go yeah. over to Winnable and, and uh, do that. You feel me? And, and pick that right now. You feel me? But yeah, man, shout out to Prize Picks. Oh, God. And, uh, and if you need my picks, click the um, Winnable link. Um, and that's how we doing it. But Larry, let's get into it. Super chat, uh, not a super chat, but let's get into a topic. Which one? I know a, bl a blast, you can see that, but I'm blind. Kanye West, all right, y'all. So, check it out. Kanye West is headlining an extra day of Rolling Loud. Woo! Let's um, talk about it. That's crazy. I feel like, yeah, Woo! Kanye, hey, man, the numbers up. Look at that. That's 100, 100, 100. Is that Beautiful. disrespectful? No. Nah, because um, he just went right above Nicki Minaj. Like, and shame on you, nigga. Nah, come on. Kanye, I, maybe I shouldn't speak on Nicki Minaj on this. You know what I mean? Like, if the, <laughs> You scared of barbs? Yeah. yeah. I don't need my Instagram deleted for some bullshit. <laughs> oh, my God. I got my nigga scared of barbs, kid. <laughs> they, they have that. No, they, we need to change that title, man. Rolling Loud <laughs> Trip, and we need Nicki Minaj on top. Nah, Rolling Loud, man. Kanye West is is definitely headlining uh, Rolling Loud right now. You know he finna bring through the stupid yeah, guests. you all already seen how his uh, his listening party went, man. That shit was crazy. I'm talking about Playboy Cardi in the building, man. You got YG, of course, Side Dollar Sign in the building, man. You got it was so many artists like in the building, man, doing it up, man, and um. Yeah, you feel me? I can't wait to Kanye West yeah. do that shit, man. And shout out to Chino Pacas. He's all the way on top, man. That's my dog right there. Chino Pacas? Yeah. Chino Pacas! Yeah. It's crazy it got him all the way up there, man. That's great. Shout out to him. Chino Pacas, you think he been doing his thing? Yeah. 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 He's like a cool that. little homie, bro. He pushed up to my office uh recently and we're smoking a blunt. And I didn't realize how young he was until after he left. He left was like eighteen or sixteen or so. I was like, what the fuck? Damn. <laughs> yeah, bro, just turn it up. But like, you know, he, he he's good people though. Yeah, we got we got some shit we're making right now, man. Shout out to Chino Pacas. Are we yeah. going to roll it out? Uh, we definitely. Go yeah, we can go to roll it out. Let's do it, man. Get some fit checks. Get some questions out the way over there. Yeah. Oh, Rub so to some people. So how do you go as... Like I'm not media. for to be in the dirt and being no, and then questioning no and asking uh, okay. these niggas no know, damn nigga fuck y'all yeah, that's what the shoes cost. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, let me interview you real quick. Let me interview you. Yo, yeah, Cardi, nah. Cardi, <laughs> what, what minute, Cardi? Come here, come here, come here. Let me get one minute, Cardi, 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 Cardi. What's up with the makeup? <laughs> what's up with that G string you just had on? So what's up with that though? You you fucking with that? Somebody could go out no. as a backup fig rep. And yeah, do it. six. Like six. Yeah, yeah, he could go if he going to fuck with it anyway. Yeah, he already emailed. But no, I'm not fucking with the play. Boy Cardi, uh, thong. What do you yeah, call that? Okay. Body suit. Body suit, but the, yeah. it wasn't buckled in the in between. He finna yeah. buckle that. I'm, I'm not rocking with it. Yeah, like, is he flexing? Is he flexing that is not buckled at that moment? I know he tried those buttons. Is it an expensive body suit? Fuck no. I mean, what? That'll make it. that make it non zesty. <laughs> nah, that shit. When I was like, oh, Cug got a G string on. That look crazy. He made me hot, though, right? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Wait, looking at the picture. Why are they more. judging him? Yeah, I'm looking at the picture more, and I'm like, okay, he don't got it buckled up, though. But it's still, <laughs> okay, nah. it's still crazy, though. It's very crazy. It's like, still crazy. I'm not putting on no bodysuit for the fit. Like, like that's is just that like, fashion? The thing is, though, when you're using hey, the restroom, like, how you even go about that? Just, like... He lifting a little slap up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> like... And what's his face painting about? Ah! Yeah, uh, yeah. He 50-50 with this shit. Yeah. That's what he that, doing? That is in that photo Oh. Oh! oh. But he knew what he was... Listen, I, I called him out the other day, too. It's like, bro, he's at, he's at Arco. Like, they set this shit up. Come on. No, they did. They set this shit up. 
They did. Yeah. And he, yeah. yeah. I, I think for this one, I ain't gonna lie. Like, he knows what he's doing. But like, he don't come out. He doesn't get paparazzi. Yeah, like, he, he doesn't don't come get out. paparazzi. He don't, he don't come out. And he he has don't the got... bodysuit hanging off his shoulder as well. Probably it don't fit. I'm not even gonna he, lie he, to you, yeah. but if you seen Playboy Cardi just walking down the street right now, niggas ain't like, oh, that's Playboy Cardi. Like, you not my nigga. Like he's not getting that much press. A lot of niggas don't even know what the fuck the he looks like. The thing is, it would make sense nah. if he kind of came into the game like that. Like you know, that was just his swag originally. But like, bro was rocking like Jordan One Supreme like five years ago. You know, mm-hmm. like today, you know, he he you, y'all saw that Aiden Ross news where like he he ran off with like two million dollars. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he said a couple words. Yeah, okay. love music this year. Okay. You know, he he could play it off as that's his personality. But, like, he has, like, full hour, two-hour interviews from back in the day where they're asking them, like, so tell us about your upbringing. He's like, oh, I had a, you know, I, I used to rap with the homies. Yeah, I fuck with Tupac. Like, you know, he's had these these detailed conversations, so he can't act like this has been, like, his Chief Keef style or, like, since day one. Like, this it's not, it's how not, high, not, not how I think high. that like around the time like uh, shortly after a whole whole lot of red dropped and he he started associating himself more with Kanye I think like Kanye might have taught him a little bit about like how to carry himself but cause since then he's been like another under the visual you know what I mean like he, he's somebody else at this point so I'm being somebody else as far as exposure because He's been dressing crazy and doing his vamp little thing. thing you know, is, it's kind of like dark the, the fashion. Interesting, the know? interesting but, thing about Cardi is like it's not he's not necessarily like little Uzi where like his his songs make the charts. He's only had a handful of songs that made the charts back in the day. You know what I mean? Whereas Uzi has like he has hits. You know, you could even compare it. Numbers don't lie. So what I'm trying to say by that is like I don't think he's necessarily like growing a bigger fan base as the time goes by. I just think it's getting more dedicated and like you know. Uh, the music he's dropping today, it's like it's in my opinion, it kind of reminds me of the shit he dropped two years ago. You know what I mean? But it's like that's not the point. It's just like the dedication is stronger than ever. Like I think at the end of the day, people just attract themselves to individuals based on like their charisma. You know what I mean? Like how they hold in themselves, and they like how how Cardi holds himself. You know what I mean? They're like, okay, this is cool. I can fuck with it. But I don't think he's growing fans like that. I don't think that like. Yeah, I, I think I, I think he is, and I think he's I think he, what he's doing. He's in a transition phase. Everybody has a, a, every artist has a transition phase, and now his phase is coming out. What he's about changing Travis his Scott? Voice. What about Look, Travis Scott though? Well, Cardi's changing his voice. He's doing a lot of uh, different records with a different tone. Mm-hmm. So he's he's changing that. Now he's coming out. He's being photographed. He's starting to post more on social media and things like that. So I'm, maybe this is a part of something. You know, maybe this is part of a rollout or something that he's dropping or he's doing. You feel me? That he's coming out with. But, you know, we don't know. But that's what I would be guessing because he's been using the same tone, voice, and pitch for, you know, the majority of his career. So, for the last few years of his career, and then now he's 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 starting to change it up. You know what I mean? Yeah, Yeah. no, he's doing the baby voice. And even with this album, he's going even like, he's making like even deeper and like. The deeper tone, right? Yeah, you know what I mean? So. But I really don't think he's like growing his audience. I think, like I said, it's just like everyone, Maintain. everyone knows about Playboy Cardi now, so they've made their decision: do I fuck with him or do I don't? Like everybody yeah, yeah. knows his name. You know what I mean? They've made their decision of whether they like it or not. I think that that's where he's at right now. And the people who do fuck with it, they're stronger than ever. They're not casual support. You can't really be a casual Cardi supporter. You got to get into. So music. as a designer, as a fashion enthusiast, <clears throat> do you uh-huh. fuck with the bodysuit? The bo- oh the the leotard <laughs> hell nah 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 that's insane the, the leotard to make it seem like he got panties on nah that's how I'm not doing none of that what my I, I I always tell people like my drip is just GTA online just online GTA that's that's how I dress yeah like online GTA how, how I would like put to some just, shit on to make you so that's how I feel today yeah like I that that's that crazy. that's my fashion is like I just try to dress myself like how I would my online character on GTA like. Like, what would you like to be in the middle of the street? And <laughs> you know, you're like, what would you like to do some shit in? Oh my yeah. god! Why is no, cool GTA? Up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. GTA fits is fire. Oh god. GTA fits is stupid fire, man. That's what we calling them, man. That's my fashion. It's like there's van fashion, there's GTA fashion. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. GTA fashion. I ain't gonna lie. GTA fashion is fire. I, you know. Yeah. They got everything. Oh god. Why well, you need a little everything? You know. They got everything. Gallery is GTA fashion. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, what? Well, we okay. in GTA, you know what I mean? Like We doing it up. Yeah, if you were on the server right now, the, the Fig Beauty that's server, an like... accomplishment. Yeah. Yeah. For, bro, that's if huge. If nothing what? personal hit GTA, we made it. 
on God. I'm gonna say we, cause I know you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit, I have a, a. We fucking made it, nigga. God damn. I got that rock star. Where's that shit at? Oh. Shit. I got the rock star logo tatted. Just that's my fit. That's what inspires oh, all that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? I used to just speak it into existence. Yeah. What? Come Manifest on. Manifest it. I, I, I tell my office all the time. I got a dirty joke where I'm like, bro, if rock star hit me up, y'all gonna have you to can figure have something it. out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, <tempted. laughs> I'm, I'm out going of here. to rock star. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. This See is where you. the end of the movie's at. Damn. Um, nah, but there's someone I look up to, bro. I used to just play their game. You know, GTA 5, San Andreas, all that, and just, like, be obsessed with their universe. Like, they really got their own shit, you know what I mean? Where it's, like, it's their own flips. Every single car is a flip, you know what I mean? But we still love it, you know what I mean? That doesn't discount what it is. Just We just love the uh, the GTA universe. Yeah. I don't know. I sound like a nerd right now. Man, it's, no, you're not a nerd, but for hip-hop, man, because you, you, you know what I'm saying? Clothes, music, everything, you feel me? I, I be feeling like I'm, I'm talking to Disconnected. I love them over there because they really connected but you know your opinion on Killer Mike, you feel me? And you know Killer, um, Mike, Killer doing Mike his thing, man. Uh, Why the fuck he got arrested? And, um, apparently he was arguing with the security guard. Never. That's crazy. Yeah, that's wild. That they might act- be the most racist shit ever. But the Are you police. the Grammy. I ain't even gonna fuck with you, my boy. What's the police? Like, I'm not even gonna fuck with you, bro. You just won three Grammys. I ain't gonna fuck with you. But instead, you know what? Man, put your hands behind your back. Yeah. We're gonna go viral. Yeah, well, that's crazy. They're doing the most. While across the street, they just they're just blowing up that uh, uh that big ass skyscraper, tagging up on it. What? Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, while while it's homeless people down the street blowing fentanyl in the street in there, you know, like. Nah, I mean, I I didn't really watch the Grammys. I think Killer Mike got like you know a solid career. Um, I don't really listen to him too much. I'll be honest with you. Uh, the only real like. Music I listen to, I, I fuck with Rilo Rodriguez, uh, No Cab, I fuck with Kodak Black, I fuck with D Baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I like that struggle music, I can't lie to you, I, that's just hard. Like, I, so when you hop in the car, you off Rilo? That's all we're listening to on the way over here, yeah. Yeah. That's little baby's real, artist. Real. Yeah. yeah, he wanna be real. sad. See, he yeah. Look, what you mean? Lazzy wanna be sad. Yeah, you know I man. What you mean? Go nah. To struggle music. <laughs> he got some shit he going through. I'm telling you. Nah. Oh, nah. Hell no. Nah, oh, that's some real shit, huh? You got some shit you going through, dog. You can like. Hey man, I'm always going through some dog. shit. Come on. Yeah, man. Um. So uh, you're downtown. Have you seen all of those apartment that uh that big apartment building I was with so all the hot. Art graffiti on it? <sighs> Check it out, like my home. I want to go see it too. Yeah, I, I I've driven past it. I can see it like on the way to uh, the office. Like, um, my homie offered me six hundred. He told me he'll put my name up there for six hundred bucks, and I fell asleep that night a little too early. How I are wish they I getting did. up there? Oh, you, there's literally stairs. And I asked the homie. It's like you know what, um, man. I, I think this changes the game for like homeless people. Like what? Like y'all should just kind of like peek your way into some of these buildings, bro. Because imagine you got spawned the fiftieth floor up, and that's kind of fly. That is, that's icy. fly. If I'm home, I don't got no fiftieth floor. I mean, you gotta be. You can see the Pacific clean. Ocean from there. You gotta be respectful, clean. Nah, homeless. I'm kicking shit off the fucking. Uh, because uh, you know it's kind of homeless that like to be hoarders. Hey, you got. You, know, you can't be the hoarder homeless have, nigga. But I have. You, know I mean? you have the whole level, man. Like I'm on the fifty seven. You take the fifty eighth one. Like what? Come on, like. Like, we could all get along here. Up and down is And big. I'm kicking trash off the off the off the uh, skyscraper, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This nigga said he kicking trash so off the So would you pay your homie six hundred dollars to put nothing's personal up there? I wanted to put Blasi on there. <laughs> Blasi <laughs> <laughs> I mean I would pay no, for that. Uh, I was on the homie story there where they're kicking up steaks on the roof. I'm like, bro, I would that sounds dope. I, I wish I went. But that building has been vacant for five years. I know. That's crazy. Oh, Who yeah. would have thought, like, you know what? This bitch is vacant. Right? I think it was right. Hopes. It I was think, one I do, th- Duno told us it was Hopes. He was like... Well, Hopes hey, was the last people to... Uh, he was the first one, I, th- I think. Nah, he, he was the one who hit it all the way on Hope top. Hopes the top, but he wasn't the first nigga who did it? No. No. Oh, but I think after Hopes, everybody was like... He hit it like that weekend. It. Um, it, it, it was somebody, apparently, like, the, the story goes, that was just, like, a, a tagger just posted it, like, let's do this shit. It was in a group chat or something like that, and the rest goes on. But, uh, nah, Hopes top, topped that whole shit off, though, right there. That's just crazy. Uh, shout out to the Grab community, man. But that's five years, like, fuck it, let's go up here to the top floor. Let's yeah, he barbecue. got a whole pop in IG, too. I wonder how that works. 
But like, yeah. man, if I'm putting my the thing is too is like that's six figures, maybe seven, and just repairs and like if you really yeah. if those investors, which apparently uh, left the project because they were broke, they ran out of money for it. You know, so you it's know like, when you on those type of contracts and people trying to charge you top dollar for what you do, cause you gonna go get the best people. That's that's imagine, well over a million. Imagine that. That's been well over a million. All those like uh, beer cans, everyone took a shit in there. Like, come on. Yeah, that's well over a million. But back to that man, it, it it would be cool to be honest in there, but also like Uber Eats would be a bitch though. Having to walk all down them stairs, bro. Now the, but now police is watching it. You can't do shit. And now, yeah. now they got stupid squad cars watching that shit. But so I feel like it, it, it's on to the next. Yeah. It's going to be another, like, skyscraper of the month. You know, I think Miami kicked... The skyscraper Miami, of the month? Yeah. <laughs> I think Miami set the tone for that during our Basel because you saw how they did the... Uh, they, they had a vacant uh, sky um, apartment building, same way. They were about to demolish it, so all the artists just illegally tagged up on there. And it's like... I, I wonder if they buffed it or not. It, it's going to be interesting to see how that building plays out in a couple of months. Like, are fools just going to keep, like, riding over each other? Or is it just going to all... Is it gonna get demolished? How do you demolish a building? No, I'm it's not gonna get demolished. Oh yeah, you come in with the. Uh, you big they gotta ass replace those windows though. That truck. sounds like dusty, no? Like big if you, if you, do, if you blew up a building in downtown LA, all that debris can get all over the. place. How do you do that? That big ass ball coming. Boom! I'll be down to watch that bitch. I'll probably like. Are right, they just over. gonna blow it up though? Nowadays, shoulder you know, of the they freeway. Just blow it up. They just blow it up. You know, put some dynamite. Uh, some explosives. But that shit up. finna make, like, a mess. Like, there's people who pay, like, top dollar for, like, their 50th floor, like, they don't give a fuck. spot right next door. Spray it off. Y'all good? We finna blow this bitch up next yeah, door. Y'all got the email? <laughs> yeah. Y'all got this email? We finna blow this fucking apartment up, so don't even worry about it, man. Uh, We can get into another topic, which was, was super crazy. Um... I want to get into that after this, but I want to give a shout out to the homie, man. Shout out to the homie Q. He finna drop Blue Lips March first, man. Schoolboy Q finna drop his album. Um, he ain't dropped the album in about four years. I yeah, saw that. Man. I saw you post it. Yeah, man, it's coming, man. Blue Lips. I feel like you about to do something Q. for it or something. For me? Yeah. Um, you designed the merch for sure. No, 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 no. But I was, um, I'm gonna give you an in depth look. You feel me? He got, he got footage too. But I'm gonna give you my perspective on what's going on to make, you know, to uh, make another album. You uh -huh. know, just different, different like scenes and shit. When we was in the studio, just behind the scenes, personal conversations. So it's gonna be part uh, of the rollout. Uh, I'm gonna make it a part of the rollout. Damn right, you feel okay, me? Okay, for it's, sure. It, I was, I was, I'm there to do that. You feel me? Yeah. Like, he chose us to do that. Like this is the homies. I'm gonna let them do that. You feel me? Get in here and see the process. Cause a lot of people don't see the process of, the, of albums being made, especially TDE artists, mm. any TDE artist. So I got a chance to get in there, get those behind the scenes of those studio sessions, those mixing sessions. Um, and just those conversations with us even going walking, going to get pizza. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just doing shit, just yeah. having those conversations there. Yeah. And shout out Keem, too. Yeah, real you know personal I mean? and yeah. depth, get real with somebody. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's when, and that's what we was doing, just showing the relationship, that's what's fine. going on, and, you know, and how, how much you respect what we got going on. And like, again, shout out Keem. He was there along the way, too. He set up a lot of that shit. Oh, so this is already know, recorded. Man. Yeah, this is already recorded. Oh, okay, it's cool. Done, you know wrapped what I mean? up. Yeah, yeah that's dope. wrapped up. Here. Yeah, last oh, year. Oh, what? We okay, all for sure. Y'all prepared. Mm -hmm. We got about a month. Y'all got a calendar, of, uh, yeah. Full of footage, man. That That's I, dope. I'm excited to show y'all. Um, and, you know, hit him on the day. He like, should do whatever you feel like you want to do, whatever you feel like is right for the album. You know what I mean? And I was like, damn. That's tight because, you know, he trusts me yeah. at that point because, you know, you wouldn't put a lot of trust because it was a lot of personal conversations, uh -huh. a lot of things that we were doing. So... Yeah, man, I, I I fuck with it, but Blue Lips, March 1st, we there, man. Go get that, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Back on Fig, you know what I'm saying? I can't wait till y'all see that shit. Heather was there with me, damn near every fucking session. I'm glad um, I got to experience that. Yeah, she was there, damn near A every session, like, man. cool ass moments. Yeah, niggas was cooking up, because you never know. They be in here like us. We in here smoking, we chilling, and then he hears a little beat. And he might go over and start touching some shit. And these motherfuckers start touching buttons, recording. It was insane. Start doing shit, grabbing a computer, and just looking at him as he go. He starts singing some shit. Now they recording. Now they 
Now he stopped recording. Now they building on that shit. I'm like, damn. It was an experience. Yeah, shit for crazy. Sure. No, that was and crazy. And we got it all on camera too. That's the the best part about it. No, that, and it's just crazy to it's have right. that process. Even though that's some rich nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Everybody what? got the luxury to that. You but don't get a beat a pack at Mac at, at most. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And nothing was like that. Yeah. It was crazy. It made man. me look at Q like, wow, you're a real artist. Like you're really real deal. Yeah. You know no he game. rap, but that solidified as this nigga real deal. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. It's yeah. been a minute since he dropped, too, so yeah, it's going to be dope to see him do his shit. They play yeah. Yaren on the radio today. I heard that, you Yaren know what I'm saying? Yaren is out. Power 106, shout out Letty Duno was there this morning. You I know did see me? that. I think, well, I don't know if they on a 100 show. I don't know what the hell y'all was celebrating, 100 shows. So I think it was like a year. 100 show? One year. One, One year. year show. One year yeah. show. Shout out Letty Duno, Vic, you feel me? Vic, that's my boy. You got to come over here, man. Back on Fig, man. Oh, God. I fuck with you, man. I mean, Vic, man. Yeah, Vic up in here. Bro. Listen, I used to have, shout out to Rosecrans Vic. I used to have beans with him at Starbucks like seven years ago. Yeah. Figuring out that like, we both had regular jobs. Figuring out how we're gonna do this shit, Vic. Yeah, that's like, wild, like he's commissioned man. me like for thirty dollars, forty dollars for like flyers and shit back in the day. I've I've tried doing logos for this motherfucker. You know, what I mean? like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like nah, yeah. But nah, it's Vic, he deserve it though, man. He been Deserves hustling. It. He does. He does his thing. I, he been I, in the streets. He I knows was, what's going on. I was with him. I think late last year, early this year, and I told him like, man, like all due respect to you, man. Like. You 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 you're you're the last one standing to uh, to do this. So like, you actually were able to get your shit popping, become the A&R you wanted to be, become the host you want to be. He's holding a lot of people's dreams. You know what I mean? Like he, yeah, I respect Vic for doing that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's Shout out Vic because he got Lefty Gunplay on there for me, man. And he asked me about a few more other people that you know could come. Down. Oh, and that's uh, the thing yeah. about Vic is like he has like a big ass network. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Just like everybody you want to like do content with. You feel me? So, yeah, shout out to Vic. Shout out to Vic, man. Shout oh, out God. to Duno, man. Shout out to Duno, too, man. He just sold out uh, two shows, two comedy shows, oh, God. man. Shout out to Duno, Yeah, shout man. out to Duno, man. We it's got some boy. shit on the way, too. Yeah. Yeah. And Duno got me, if y'all don't know, <laughs> Duno got me opening up for his comedy show. Nah. I, want, I want everybody to make sure y'all hold on, attend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I love okay, that. Okay, okay. I'm opening love, up, man. Yeah. I got five I'm minutes. there. You got, you got to sneak me in there to the back. I know it's sold out, but I'll give you the 40 bucks. Listen. <laughs> ah! I, I, what I want to see, bro. Like, like what, what, what's your, like, how, how you going to go about it? You going to, like, go up there and just, like. my I, I can only give you one thing. <laughs> I'm coming out the Los Chones. Look, I'm going to come out the Los Chones. And that's my thing. I'm going to give y'all that's it. Because that's one of my favorite songs right now. I'm not even going to kill. I don't I don't know what the fuck they even talking about. It's called La Chona. La Chona? La Chona, yeah. I'm like, Los Chones? I'm trying to think about it. Like, La Chona. I don't even know how to say it. La Chona. I just know when it come on, La Chona. It's crazy. Check that shit out. Y'all, that. If y'all going to the Burbank show, I'm coming out to that shit. That's dope. Lord Chona. I love that he believes in you and he really thinks that you could do it. No, he don't. They think I'm funny. They don't think they don't believe in me. They think I'm a joke. I'm think I'm a, I'm a bomb. And they Are think you everybody practicing? gonna be quiet. No. Uh, no? Because bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. Stand like up. you live in my dream right there. I wanna do stand up one day. You wanna do st- get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Man, that's like on the bucket. I mean I'll, that, that's not what I'm a die. That's not, <laughs> That's not what's going on the tombstone, you know, but like, nah. We not watching Black for nah. five minutes. I got some funny jokes. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I got some funny jokes. I write them down. You write I swear to God, like, like their products. I write, I write my, I write my, st- I have a whole tab where you can just go like that. It's just jokes. And just <laughs> stupid shit. <laughs> well, you do. Well, we did have that little roast and you had jokes. Remember, I wrote some down. I'm, yeah. I'm no, I, I'll write a joke down. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I have different, like, uh, stand-up topics where it's like, oh, this will be a good one right here. <laughs> like, hey, you want to hear a funny one? Go ahead, look, dog. Right, look, I feel like Mexicans, man, we exceed at everything. We always try to outdo other races, right? Yeah. We say uh, dude more than white people and the N-word more than black people. Okay. Wow. That's the joke. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> but look, That's I gave you, I gave you the thirty second version. You know, you gotta like harp on that for ten minutes. Okay, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, we're proud. Of, uh, 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 you know, but we say dude more than white people, dude, dude. You know what I mean? And then, 
Come on, bro. Our fool. Yeah, we got fool. Hey, fool. You yeah, got the F word in there? Yeah, yeah. Y'all, y'all definitely gonna say fool more than anybody, man. I, but I, I love that too. You feel me? Like, but you. Also, I be seeing Mexicans standing in line everywhere. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? No what? shit. We in LA. We two hours away from the border. You can like, go a football to Mexico hey, here. It be a lot of lines. It be a lot of, every time it's a line, there's a lot of Mexican motherfuckers in line, right? Nah, a blind man they in support. LA. That's why. No. I be like, it's something going yeah. on in that line, homie. Listen, if them niggas standing in line, listen. we doing it. If, I'm if, telling if, you, if I you, might go stand in line if, if I see gave, a long line. If you gave a blind man a football and threw it into a crowd, he's hitting a Mexican. Cause it's a lot of Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That's wild. Like, we deep over here. You know, I think it's like I think it's the majority in LA County specifically. It's Hispanics, Latinos, and like a crowd. But yeah, my boy is giggling over there. He's watching. <laughs> we got him. We got him giggling. Up. You see? Okay, we got. Oh, That's good. hey, look at my yeah. crowd right here. Yeah. We got a crowd. We got to make it a noise out in the back. I, I can hit him with part two. I got about twelve jokes on my phone right now. <laughs> He finna read a joke All off right. this motherfucker. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, we yeah, this is a versus battle. Oh no! This is a versus battle. Yeah. I just said that off the top of my head. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You know what I mean? I'm going crazy. You feel me? Like this nigga I'm really got no he trying to be a comedian. Nah, look. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hold read up. one of them motherfuckers, girl. You can pick one. Some of them ain't funny though. <laughs> they jo- what are you talking? Why would you? Why the thing is, though, their funny? topics. It's like okay, this would be a good like how how kind of you know you got to talk about it for ten minutes. Like yeah. these is like a one sentence like, like one of them's that like, I'd be a bad homeless person. But that's something you want to talk about for like five minutes. So that's the joke I would you just gonna have, build on. Yeah, I would just have a cold sign. Why would you be a homeless bad homeless person? Because I have a really hard ass sign, bro. I feel like I don't get creative enough. Like if I was homeless, bro, I'd have like. Man, like my car's on fire down the street. Like I, I need some money it for ain't this really shit. No homeless Mexican motherfuckers. Like no, nah, it's a gang. Yeah, I, I feel is. like there's no homeless Asian. Nah, They're no very tight. Me- Mexican motherfuckers. It's they a gang of homeless Mexicans. Nah, what? they just be drunk and they just be trying to go to the houses. Yeah, they, they, they'll go back home at the end of the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> nah, look, check, they check just be faded. Look, <laughs> look, I got jokes, motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> They like Blasi got jokes. Yeah, I'm not lying. <laughs> there ain't no fucking jokes, man. Yeah. Let's see, this let's thing is that Mexicans, Mexicans. Can you tell Mexican a joke down. off the off the top of your head right now? I, I, I ain't uh, no joke. I just told I them a like, joke. I, I feel just like told them Mexicans. We go. They be standing in line everywhere. I, I feel like Hunter Biden is doing it right. <laughs> yeah. Like if I was the son of the president, I'll be smoking crack and fucking prostitutes too. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god You gotta say that After everyone To let people know That that's a joke you know I mean? that's what He said he'd be funny. Smoking crack <laughs> If you were the son of the president, what? Come on, you can do anything you want. Come hey, on, I'm man. seeing these emojis in the yeah, chat. Yeah, they rocking yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Theos and Theos, they, they smoking okay, crack for okay. the free. They don't okay, need to be man, president. Listen, listen. They just coming over here doing dope. This one might be a little uh, controversial. Okay. You know trans culture is brand new when we won't have a word for the grandparents yet. Okay. Trans word is going to be brand new when we ain't got a uh, it's word. Brand, we, like, what do you call it? Like a grand... Grand opening? No, like a grandmother's grandpa. So was someone grands. who don't identify as either. Oh. oh. Idea of flesh. That's why you gotta do it in person. You know, I'm getting feed. I'm getting live feedback right now. Hey, so do you know a lot of gay like Hispanic people? Um, <laughs> I know about them. <laughs> Shit, you know, like. <laughs> Yeah, hey, hey, listen, it's a it's, it's, it's a, a very minimal sure. gay, yeah. it's a very minimal gay Hispanic niggas. <laughs> you think it's you think it's like bare minimum? You don't not a lot. You don't know a lot of Hispanic motherfuckers that's gay, nigga. You don't, dog. They say you're standing up. You're really trying to get ready. For that nigga said I was, was about to stand up comedy. <laughs> that nigga said I'm gonna. <laughs> I was standing up and doing this. I'm pacing back and forth. Like, how's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. <laughs> How y'all doing? All right, How y'all all right, doing? All right, How y'all look, doing? Why do people name their kids alcohol like like Hennessy? You know, what do people start naming their kids like weed names like me, my son, lemon cherry gelato? That's trash. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Sorry. No, you're no, joking. No, you're that joking. was the last if, one. That nigga put his phone in his pocket. No, I'm not your jokes. Keep going. Nah, but listen, like, like hey, Kanye went through a similar moment when he showed songs, so you know. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't know. My I'm nigga fucking put his phone in his pocket. <laughs> He's like, they're not fucking. Nah. Six, 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 shit all day. He'd be like, but I need no. Stop it. <laughs> this is what I got. To say. <laughs> Nah, it's not the end. He going up. I see a nah, lot. Of, I look. I see a lot of laughing emojis. Girl. They get it. Listen, <laughs> they get. It. Okay, no. Okay, one more. Well, I'll give you one last one. I got like twelve. I'll give you one last one. Yeah, um, get a board, girl. I'm not twelve. All right, check it out, man. Um, that one ain't good right now. Um, okay. I wonder if motorcycle riders arms hurt every time they give uh. A, a person the peace sign whenever they're driving past them. That was a T-Rail joke, huh? <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> oh! What the fuck? That's a T-Rail joke. That's, no, that, that's number four out of like... <laughs> no, you're not gonna... No, this wasn't no new set of notes. He got in a motorcycle accident and he only has one hand. He can't throw a T-Rail. Oh, he what the, the fuck? I wagon. forgot. <laughs> I forgot. That's crazy. I forgot. Excuse me. But look, I have had this list since February 3rd. Like... <laughs> Nah, he edited that motherfucker. Nah, hell nah. Two weeks ago, no. No, but listen, edited. they always be like, you know what I'm saying? Whenever he passes, fuck with like, us. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, nah. oh man. Hey, one nigga said, I'm doing this stand up comedy. Oh, Duno, God. you got Duno. that nigga fucked up. Duno, hit my line. I could give hit my line. I could give Blasi two got my minutes. Number. I could give Blasi two minutes of my five minutes. I'll, I'll, come, I'll polish those jokes, bro. I get two minutes of my five jokes. minutes. We got to talk to Duno. We got to talk to Duno. Duno, hit me up. Come on. Two minutes of my we'll five minutes, man. We got Blazzy in the building, man. He got jokes, dog. Like, I see a lot of uh, <laughs> I see a lot of laughing emojis. I can't see what they y'all get saying, it. though. Yeah, People yeah. are laughing, though. <laughs> People like it. Blazzy cooking. Ah! My nigga Blasey oh, cooking. Yeah. Look, yeah. My nigga Blasey cooking, man. Okay, for sure. Best joke, nigga. Yeah, say <laughs> another one, cuz. All right, one last one. <laughs> one, last one okay. But that's the last one y'all get. Y'all got paid. Y'all got pulled to the vet. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness, are we? The thing is, most of these are like concepts that they got to get built out. You know Come on, I mean? man. Come right. on. Do it up. Build it um, up. All right, so, in, uh, so I went to Mexico City recently, and... Uh, my weird ass homie was talking about like, bro, like you know, talking about like I want to go to massage parlor. You know, have it. He was talking about that shit. And the homie was like, nah, bro, I hear they do it with haircuts. You so in Mexico City, so you get a haircut and you get like a happy ending at the end. It's like a female cutting your hair. Okay. So it's crazy to think that there's a bunch of people in Mexico City with fucked up haircuts and smiles on their faces. Uh, <laughs> that, that's how I'm ending it. I hope y'all get ending. home safe tonight. Uh, uh, just kidding. <laughs> So niggas getting jacked off in the hey, barbershop. I gave chair. y'all five jokes. I don't got too many. So when the, the, also when the niggas getting jacked off in the barber chair, where's the waiting? Like where do you wait? Uh, yeah, for that's the next what I'm barbers? saying. Like, I don't want like where's that hair? Like that's gonna that's gonna hit some hole. You know what I mean? Like, <coughs> oh my god, dog! <laughs> Shout out to my boy Blacks. He got jokes in his phone. Cause look, he really <laughs> on one. Look, oh no, nah, read them bitches. Get them hoes off. They was in there since February. Nigga, they laughing at the chat. They need more, cuz. Man. How many people we got in the chat, dog? 4,800. 4,800 people in the chat right now, man. Make sure y'all like this video <laughs> one time, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, we need so 5,000 likes. This would have been part of like, the whole, like, I'd be a bad homeless person kind of, like, riff, because you could add, like, different little jokes in between. I was going to say, like, uh, um, like, why do I like? Why do homeless people always drink like tall red soda? You always see them with a big ass red cup of soda. Okay. I, That's the joke. That y'all were fucking up. You know what I mean? We're at, yeah, we're, we're cutting the jokes from that moment. It's starting to get a little dry. I can't so lie. So homeless people be talking about they be having red. I always soda. see no. I always see them with like big gulps of just red. Just you know, it's like it's the coldest, like most corn syrupy, like syrup, like soda you ever had. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We we down that list already. After that he, he, <laughs> he went past two minutes. I I feel like I feel like we could do this in two minutes. Nah. You could do that. Did it go past two minutes? I mean I feel like I'll ever if it was count, man. We go doing it up, man. That was two minutes. <laughs> that that, was that last one minutes. was like, yeah. 
But you was going, man. Nah, ain't my turn. Y'all got to come to do no show, but it's sold out, so y'all not even going to get to see it. Y'all not getting no free show right now. I'm debuting my shit at a real comedy club. <laughs> wow. I'm going to be at a real you. comedy club up there, and, you know, I'm oh, a God. bomb just like a, uh, my boy Brad. <laughs> <laughs> We bombing right now. You know what I'm saying? We bombing with class, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? We bombing with class. That's good that you believe in yourself, though. <laughs> yeah. He got up here with no nothing. No, oh, it's like designing no, one. Nothing. Like, I got 100 products. One of these bitches is going to hit. Exactly. I'm going to have 100 jokes. One, You know, one that's going to smack, you know? For one shit. of them going to slap. You know what I'm saying? So Don't worry about plan? it. what's your plan? When you go on stage, yeah. what is your plan? Because he's starting to realize, like, wait a exactly. second, <laughs> these you jokes last ten practicing. seconds. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. You gotta, you gotta take them bitches out, huh? I don't want people you, booing you off the stage. You gotta pace it. Why not? I'd hate that for you, Terrell. You got about so t- what? You gotta extend each joke like into like eight minutes each. You know, I'm what like, I mean? nigga, I got booed off a of comedy stage. That's wild. That's a part of my life, my life story. Yeah. But what if I get up there and they and they and they go crazy for me? Yeah. yeah I mean, you finna have Netflix what, at the edge of the door. All what if all I get up there and I just get, get three laughs or three smiles? You doing it again? I'm do, I'm doing. I, I have no choice but to do it. You going on tour? Me and oh, you doing two nights? I'm doing two. Oh, oh I'm doing two feel, shows in one that's night. That's perfect. Oh damn. Oh, well, that's okay. perfect because you'll be able to reflect. Thirty. You be able to reflect and be like, okay, nah, that's the joke I say right there. And mm-hmm. this is how I can extend it. Is you gotta let the beat build, you know, you gotta let them laugh, kinda pace mm-hmm. it. Like I don't know. It's just it's just I, I be hearing you sound calling, I'm like, okay, that's how you fucking tell so I be dying laughing at shit. Even the shit y'all say, so that's how I know you'd be good for it, but it's like You think I'd be good for comedy? Yeah. Being, I've been telling you that for years. Being good, being good for comedy. I'm like, you need to do stand up comedy. You could do it. Obviously, it's gonna be tough for me. From now, I'm gonna be in, in. I'm gonna be like in front of a Hispanic crowd. They got you. I don't think, I don't they're, think, they're gonna they're gonna laugh their ass off. They they can't believe you're there. They don't know me. They just know Duno. Stop it. They don't fucking know me. Somebody's they just know Duno. I think that, but when, because Duno has a, yeah, he has a lot of like different communities that fuck with him, but I feel like the, the amusing, like the humor side of like Duno, like his stronghold, like they know about T-Rail. Come on. They're there to see Duno crack some we jokes. We gonna Chris. see. Yeah. Yeah, we gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna see who, uh, what. What, but do you think if you tell Hispanic or Latino jokes that it could get like no? Racist? What that's how you that's how you break the ice. Right. What and I feel like Mexicans we, we take a good job of just like getting able to like you know we love a good joke. What yeah. come on? There I mean there's some people who are like yeah they don't play that shit and like no fuck that this is my culture. Hey fool, what you saying? Fool by my shit. Fool. Y'all can't even eat a taco. You know what I mean? There's people like that. You know what I'm saying? But like, Damn, no, a nigga I, can't even eat a taco. God, I'm gonna have a taco. <laughs> Oh you niggas God. ain't holding me to no taco. I'll give a fuck. But I feel like you in, I, bitch. I'm eating the taco. I feel like if you, if you're an audience member at a comedy show, like what you had to you had to accept the jokes. They're funny. Come yeah. on, and it's like, hey, bro, I love a good food Mexican joke. Come on, like who does? A food joke is good. Man, you know what? I be I be living in L. A. so long, and I just be feeling like I should know Spanish, bro. Yeah. I just be looking at motherfuckers, and they just be talking, and I just be like, I understand exactly what you're talking yeah. about. You got to that point, but I don't. You know what I'm I mean? Pretty but sure, some like, words, but it's it's so crazy because some words they could be having a full conversation, and I could be looking at them like this, and they'll look at me, and I'll just nod my head like, "Yeah," <laughs> like I understood what you said, but I didn't. But I understand. You've been the in vibe. LA too long. Like, I'm just looking at the body language at this point. I'm like, "Yep, yeah, oh somebody <laughs> fucked up." I feel, uh, like, yeah. I feel like it's the easiest like order food probably you know for people who don't know Spanish like that, that's the first way like you learn how like at least like get that oh no dos yeah. yeah dos true oh no yeah. niggas be getting hot <laughs> niggas be trying to speak <laughs> niggas be trying to speak dog and shit yeah niggas be trying to speak he responds in English I got you oh no oh no I got you no. T-Rail I got you T-Rail what you want <laughs> dos like fuck she don't understand me. That should be giving me hot. But no, when you go to Mexico, when you go on vacation, they teach you, you know, like, Windows Deals, Windows Deals. Yeah. 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 Then they be saying that shit. I'll be like, oh, Windows Deals. I'm going to start saying that shit. That shit yeah. sound cool. Windows Deals, Windows Deals. Yeah, 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 but I, then again, I be saying that shit. I be feeling like motherfuckers be like, bitch, you don't know what that shit means. Shut up, bitch. I'm saying that shit. You know what the fuck? Windows Diz, like, I mean, that's like entry level, though. Come on, like, you, you, could, yeah. you could Google so that. So if your homie came to you like, hey, Windows Diz, bro, you'd be like, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? Come on, bro. Why a nigga can't say Windows Diz? He could for sure. Mucho gusto, como estas? You know, all that shit, but like. Bien, 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 bien. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you might have to. Hey, that's my go to. Hey, that's my go to when niggas be saying shit. I be like, BN, 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 BN. See, You got, you got to try to crack a joke in Spanish. Oh, like a little bit. No, that, 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 that might have the whole. Bit. They might be the whole the joke. What the fuck is he talking about? Not a whole joke. We gotta. I got. I need some Spanish words. Mm. Or yeah. and then you also have to do like a joke on somebody in the crowd. Yeah, that's like gonna have. I I know. Like if if all if all comes down to it, it's like you could at least get that off. Yeah. You could spend five minutes talking about like fuck somebody. this wrong with your shirt. I know y'all ain't dating. If you how long, oh, oh so yeah how you long brought her tonight or what's going on? Oh well, yeah. she got her ass out of here. You know you fucked it, bro. You fuck. Let us know you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, that's five minutes. Ah, uh, no. Nah, see, Hispanic couples, they love their girls, dog. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I love my girl, fool. Like, no. Nah. These niggas love their girl. Like, nah, this my girl, fool. Like, they don't play. Like, bro, like, they don't play about they bitches only when they really... <laughs> <laughs> when they really love them, I ain't for the fuck with no nigga bitch. Like, hey, nigga, what's going on? Yeah, they like, finna crash out right fool. there. Like, you talking too much. He fool. stands up quick, huh? Yeah. That's my girl, dog. Oh, sorry. Yeah, my bad. That's my girl, dog. <laughs> that's my girl, dog. Hey, dick. Hey, hey that's dick, my chill. girl, dog. Oh, like, okay, I get it, my nigga. Like, okay, my bad. I ain't fucking with you. Like, because you, you know, you know, you, you, you one of them type niggas. I what love my mean? girl, dog. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck you talking about? Whatever you say I that. I love my girl, dog. <laughs> hey, fool, that's my hyena. That's my hyena, fool. That's my hyena, fool. Uh, you said that shit before? No. Nah, no. that's my girl, dog. Hell no. <laughs> You said that shit before? <laughs> why? It's my hyena, fool. Like, watch out, What fool. is hyena? Close. Bitch. My girl, yeah. My oh, girl. My girl. Yeah. Put, puta is... It all means the same shit. Okay. Girl. Puta, puto, hyena. You're referring to your girl. Okay. You know what I mean? My hyena, fool. Hyena means, like, shorty, like... Mm. Oh, it's you know? my little thing. Yeah. Okay. My hyena, fool. <laughs> I'm gonna hey, use fool, that one. You know what I'm saying? If you come to the comedy show, y'all ain't see that? I'm gonna put that in the joke, my hyena. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what you gotta do. Like, all right, how many of y'all came as a couple? Woo! Uh, yeah. All right, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay away from joking on y'all, cause y'all, 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 you guys Mexican women, you guys don't play, and that's that's your five minutes. Come on, Blasi, you might have to go down. Woo! Oh, bro, bro. Hey, I could call like this shit. I'll be in your earpiece, like Nas. Man, I said the homeless joke. <laughs> and the hyena's got the thing in they purse. Fool. Come on, dog. <laughs> I ain't not holding the thing. I yeah, love man. my girl dog. It's hilarious. I love Somebody my girl dog. <laughs> I love my girl dog. No, that shit is hilarious, man. Maybe we got some more super chats. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that's liking the man, video right now, man. Up here, bro. Yeah, it's real. good. It's good company, man. This is home. This is the living room. We've literally experienced every like emotion on this bitch, man. Yeah, hell yeah, you were definitely gonna that cry. Stuff. No, I wasn't. No, I was. You was finna drop a tear. <laughs> you was finna go crazy, and it's all. It's well, okay. I've been the first tier on uh, back on fig. Tears on fig. No, you wouldn't have been the first tier. Uh, who was the first tier? Maybe Heather was the first tier, and then but she's here comes Smack. Smack was outside the second co-host. Tier. Outside co-host. I would have had that title. Damn, you would have had that title. That's kind of a cold title. Yeah. Damn, Blazzy, the first you one. Got the real back on fig. Yeah, that's he's still shit. capturing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what nigga is that? gonna be a big ass. Uh, hey, your boy was waiting on you to cry. He was gonna hug you from the back. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was looking for Kleenex box back there. So like, we got Lays. Where's the napkins at? <laughs> My boy Blazzy crying, dog. Uh. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. I'm gonna get to some super chats. Yeah. <laughs> I love to hustle, so shout out BOF and BBE. Fire. Can we get Blasi slash Duno and Worm or Gina, Auntie or Toke for FMW News? Oh, wow. Away team. Away yeah. team. Damn, what's up, Don? Away news? team. That's hard. I could commentate on shit. I'm not doing shit around the morning, around the daytime. Oh, I could, I could cool. move it around. Yeah. All right, for sure. I love to hustle, also said. Heather, ask Smack. It's mid February. Where's Charleston White? Tap in. Hold up. <laughs> no, for real. Because I, it's he said February. Uh, Charleston was coming in town, right? Yeah, and he was yeah. we ain't to gonna hold that to bay. Smack. We already know what the fuck's going on. Charleston White. I love the hustle. Just keep sending them. He said, Fuck shout out Terrell. 
for cocktails, the Bake Off Part 2. We starving. Blasi on cocktails. We starving would be stupid. 100. Bring Blasi on the I'm ready to, to drink world. and eat. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love the hustle. He keeps sitting him. Shout out to Vincent Q for killing it for the West. Yeah. yeah. The Fate said Zach Lee a bot. Get bro out of here. Uh, <laughs> Gerardo Asuna said Blasi invite back on Fig to the next pop up. Oh, uh, girl, y'all gotta be there for <laughs> sure. Ace Boy 909 said Heather's sitting tucked with the yeeks off the couch. Wow. <laughs> he also said Blasi was killing me with the dad jokes. Yeah, shout out to Ace Boy. Joshy Boy said Trail about to go on tour with Cat Williams. <laughs> Let's go! Like Vlad Rosales said Blasi is higher than my electric bill. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's a little low. weed. Y'all smoked like six blunts, though. For real? Did yeah. we? It's been it's like been two, or three. My boy looks cool right here at the court. He's all shit. Hey, shivery. put the camera on my nigga. Can you put the camera on my boy? Hold on. Damn. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he what's cold. going on? You hungry or cold? That nigga just in this oh. bitch, nigga. Like. <laughs> Everybody's like, smacks I'm at the free. motorcycle club, Terrell. How do you feel? <laughs> Is L it smack. cold in here? It's not cold. That's crazy. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. He, he had to go to, uh, he was at a funeral earlier today, but you know. <laughs> Ain't no make no sense for you to come over here right now. Go do your thing, man. Have fun, man. Do y'all usually smoke on the show? Yeah, we smoke. We Yeah, everybody smoke, man. Is someone bringing like a bong or is usually like a blunt, like a joint, a little spliff? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. They'll, yeah. Be, they'll be doing dabs here? Dabs? That be getting a little too weird with the torch and shit. That's another joke. But Damn. you know what I'm saying? Like the torches get a little funky. I don't think nobody ever did a dab on here. Even though my boy Rucci, I was going to say Rucci did it, but Rucci ain't even been on here. He Rucci has been on Back on Fed. Oh, yeah, he's known oh, for he his bong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he'll walk yeah. around with a bong. He brought it. He brought it. He brought it. He Oh, yeah, we was back to back. Crazy. God damn. He didn't stop? Man, yeah, he had a suitcase this big full of. I'm like, God damn, they still coming. I'm like, bro, we fucking, we high. I'm looking at the screen like, I stopped talking. I stop talking in here. And she start asking them questions. She start interviewing the nigga. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, she doing good in my head. I'm like, damn, she going. It's crazy. like you just watching it. Yeah. I'm like, damn, it this is so wild. fucking high. I'm like trying to be cool, trying to smoke with his Khalifa. Yeah, you stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Try to be cool. Act like he's big smoking, doing it up. Stuff. Can't even yeah. talk to him. That's right. Somebody said this motherfucker said smack party. That's right. Go up and party, my boy. The face said BBE FMW. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Set it up. Oh, I'm for sure smarter than a fifth grader. Come on. That'd be fun. Smarter than the fifth grade. The said that said, uh, I said that on the news. Blasi more funny than Duno and more Mexican. Troca. <laughs> hey, well, hey, I'll go versus with Duno. Versus with Duno? Joke oh, like for Joe. joke? Duno go Nah, but he, he, he known for, yeah, he known for this shit, though. Excuse me. I'm hey, nah, nah, fuck being known for this shit. He gonna beat your ass with nah. jokes. You don't think so? You think he's talking my homeless joke? <laughs> he's smart. <laughs> no, I be seeing the clips. You, I be fucking with the clips on Instagram. He posted that I seen them on TikTok. That feels funny. Nah, that fool is funny. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm to you. glad he he was able to transgress. You know, like the um the skits is like you know that's his that's his bread and butter. That's you know that's what he's known for. But like I love to see him like kind of try different avenues and make it work. You know what I mean? Because a lot of comedians hate on Instagram comedians. So Instagram comedians kind of got to like gain the respect of real comedians yeah. who've been on that actual stage. Yeah, they got to get their ass on stage. You feel me? And tell those same jokes or just tell jokes. Period. To yeah. be respected in the um the older communities in that, in that comedian you know what I'm saying yeah the community that field, shit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I think so. that uh uh just just what let's say she can say about like paintings and uh, photography it's like when photography came into play it's like oh this ain't art you just took a photo you didn't you didn't spend eight hours like I did painting this and it's like you know it's like people just learn how to like contextualize it for like 2024 you know and he does a good job at that you know. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Let me see. Um, let me see. We can get back into a topic. Is that our last super chat you you was reading? That was last one. Yeah, we can get back into a, a topic real quick and see what's going on. Glad to have my boy Blazzy here. How many likes we got too? Also, thirty seven hundred. Thirty seven hundred, man. Oh, here we go. It's man. coming. A fifty percent is coming. Thirteen hundred more likes. Make sure y'all get this to five. Thousand likes and for context on price yeah. and everything, man, we got the matches. I think at like 10, 15 bucks. The Astros at a hundred, so that'll be fifty bucks right there, which is so uh, that so that so the matches that's gonna be ten bucks. That's yeah. gonna be twenty five bucks. Yeah, and then the Ash trade a duffel bag. 
Yeah, double bag. I'll show you after the discount. If we hit fifty, that'd be fifty bucks right there. Woo! And the, the nightlight we're selling them at thirty dollars right now. That'd be fifteen. Fifteen which is bucks. Like, man, you want that or a burger? You know what I'm saying? Go grab. How it. long is this sale gonna last? Once we hit five thousand? Uh, likes? you know what? We'll have just an exclusive, just like discount code for like the next twenty four hours after it. Nah, fuck. Well, twelve hours. Twelve hours. Well. Somebody got to be up. At yeah, by the time. Yeah, by the time I wake up tomorrow morning, you know. You, by the time got, you wake up, so that's twelve hours. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah by waking, eight, yeah. eight nine in the morning. Mm-hmm. Eight nine in the morning, it'll it'll. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But get us a five thousand likes so you guys can get that fifty percent off, man. You feel me? Nothing personal. Yeah. Uh, what else we got right here, man? My boy Bow Wow speaks about being hospitalized due to lean addiction, and oh. a lot of people thinking he capping. I mean, he has gained, like, a lot of weight. I think that, uh, uh, that I think it's very hard to be addicted right now to lean with the, uh, the scarcity of it right now. The scarcity it's of it. It's never been lower. It's not even <clears throat> like that. Yeah, I don't there's even no think more, it might even, no more not, it might not even be real. There's no more purpose. It's not even there's real. No, yeah, there's no walk so hard. So why would you lie about so that? So you drinking, you drinking no, but like the, real. The thing is, yeah, I mean, there's, there's Tris, there's Pi, you know, there, there's barely any Quagan, but, like, there's Red. But, like, it's different, like... Uh, levels, I guess, of drink and like all that purple shit's done. You know it's gone. I mean? like, so yeah, the activism is they, out of here. I, I, that ended like eight years ago, but like I'm saying, as far as uh, like walk hard, that ended like last summer, uh, supposedly, you know, but they had said that every year, but I really like it's it, it, yeah, it doesn't really exist anymore like that. It's don't even exist. Yeah, it's just different, like off brand, like you know, fucking bathtub lean, you know what I mean? Like, so you don't even see a lot of people holding double cups, it's rare. I mean, I see it, but it's like we're talking about people, you know, for something that would have costed a hundred, you know, hundred thirty dollars last year, they're paying two hundred, they're paying two fifty with Walker, and I'm paying like four hundred, you know, what, yeah. Four hundred for that? Yeah. To and be it's like, sleepy. I know the dealers that sell to these big ass rappers that you hear on the radio, and like they're they're paying the super high, and they don't it's just, they're they're getting it like that, so they're not tripping. But people are really you know spending money. I mean, in Bow Wow, it's like drinks probably the most like, expensive drug there is out there. You know what I mean? Per like <laughs> per metric of ounce. You know what I mean? Maybe yeah. this wasn't recent. Maybe this was just before, and he's just now saying it or something. No, no, no. This is recent. Supposedly, you know so, what I'm saying? Let him tell it. Right. Yeah. You know, but <laughs> I love my nigga about, but sometimes yeah, he be bullshit. Sometimes he be saying anything, so we don't know. Yeah. We don't be knowing, so I, I'm. It's fifty fifty with my nigga about. I ain't gonna say it didn't happen. I ain't gonna say it happened. You know what I'm saying? It's I don't 50, think 50 that like boy. for you to get hospitalized, bro. You gotta like. You got to be down here doing heroin at that point, like, to, like... Get hospitalized off the lean. That's ridiculous. Like, come on. You don't hear that too often, even with, like, addicts like that. Like, yeah, there's, like, withdrawals, but for you to, like, have to go... You have to be on Lil Wayne levels. Lil Wayne said that, you're like, okay, prayers to Lil Wayne. Like, you you would understand it. But it feels like fucking Bow Wow. It's like, bro, come on. I never seen a photo with you with a double cup. Come on. I've never seen nothing with you with a double cup. If Drake said the same shit... You know what I mean? It's like what? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but we was we was having this conversation right before you came in uh, about Kai Sinat and uh, Steph Curry, and uh, this is how the argument started. You know, what I'm saying part of the argument started with Trevor and uh, Six. We was talking about Kai Sinat and Steph Curry, and who's bigger than who? And Trevor went in and, and said that Steph Curry is. Um, not bigger than Kai Sinat. Kai Sinat is killing Steph Curry as far as fame and notoriety. And Kai Sinat is helping Steph Curry out. You feel me? As far as influence. And oh, damn. that's when the conversation went left. We said, are, you are talking about Steph Curry. Even here, I know. My yeah. boy. We know what's going on here. I I know what's going on here with uh, Kai. You know what's the success he's having <laughs> right now um, in the streaming world. He's one of the biggest streamers ever. Yeah. Um, he's doing his thing, no doubt. But uh, him we're talking helping, about Steph Curry. Him helping Steph Curry. Yeah. Nah. Like <clears throat> image, like him just you know gaining clout. And who's bigger? He said Kai Sinat is well over. You know what I'm saying? He's way bigger than Steph Curry right now. Right now. This second. Nah. And I couldn't believe it. What well, do we at think this that? moment... Well, uh, well, check it out. Well, at this moment... Well, no. I mean, Steph Curry walks into a hospital over Kai Sinat. Damn, who, who, who's doing more... Uh, uh, Steph Curry. Who, who are the kids going crazier for? Steph. 
Steph. If it's one of those situations where they got to see kids, like, yeah. If you got to go see kids in the hospital, and this is, again, this is this is a lot of people think the majority of Kai Sana fans are young adults, just young teens or even under that. So yeah. you're saying that if Kai Sana went into a hospital I'm not, with kids, I'm, no, I'm asking you that think as a they're question, going like, to scream for him? No, I wasn't saying that. I was saying, like, who do y'all think? Um, but at, whether it's like Kai Sana is like a, a, like a valid second option, like, um, I mean, he's definitely popping, but you know, let, let's keep it real. He's been known. He's been at this level for about like a year, whereas like Seth Curry's been like the go for what, like five, eight, ten years. You know. First of all, if I'm in that hospital, I need Steph Curry autograph. Who is who? The fuck is that? Yeah. No, I love you. I love the content. I love watching it. You're doing it up. You're making a tremendous amount of money doing doing you right now. You're the hottest nigga out there. But move to the right real quick because I need this man's autograph. Thank you. <laughs> like what are you talking about? You asking about? them like, yo, can you take this photo for us? Yeah, please take the picture of us, please. You, yeah. you the only nigga right here. Yeah, you. Yeah, the biggest streamer. <laughs> can you take this photo of us real and, quick. And, yeah, and that's how the conversation started, bro. I don't, I don't know uh, what who was tripping, Trevor. About. Yeah, Trevor was saying that. Um, yeah, Kai Sana was bigger than Steph Curry, and Steph Curry, Steph Curry needed him. You see, while they walking down into the arena, he obviously needs him. Yeah, and I said, "Damn, that shit sounds crazy." You feel me? <laughs> I really want to. <laughs> what the fuck are we watching right here? <laughs> so Kai only touched the ball once the whole game. That was so, that, that was his shot right there. I mean, Same. he playing basketball, dog. You feel me? Like, <laughs> and not only in the game, like the flag football game, his boy was just dominating. You feel me? In the flag football game, his boy was dominating. How tall is Kai? Five. So five one? Five four? Oh, I said five one. Five one. Five four is still wild, dog. <laughs> yeah. Shit. I know I'm not the tallest in the room, but I'm I'm thinking for at least like five eleven. Sometimes you be, do you feel like you should be taller? Like Nah. I think five eleven. Like I'll get some pussy off that. You cool with yeah. that? Yeah. I'm. I, I, it's bare minimum. You know what I'm saying? I'm, <laughs> I'm at the border. You know what I'm saying? Like it's bare minimum. <laughs> it's, a, it, it's a wobbler. You know? Yeah, it's a wobbler. <laughs> but it's in my favor though. It's it, it, it's this looking like seventy thirty. You know, eighty twenty. Yeah, I mean everybody. I might wear the Prada six, boots. You everybody know? ain't six two six three. I mean, yeah. I think that's kind of like where you at. Like it's six two six three. It stop there. Once you like what in you that at? six four six five range, you should be playing basketball. What's your height? I'm like six foot six one. Okay, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm for sure fucking. You up shit. there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> nah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. You know what I'm saying? That's how I got it. Would y'all. you have, if you were if you were uh, um like Kaisa Nance uh, height? Are you are you grabbing those those shoes that make your uh you you know like those like it's like some shit you put inside the shoe. To kind of give you like oh, yeah, an extra two inches. Height. I might wear some platform Get that Uggs. surgery done. Yeah. <laughs> Set the knees and shit. I might go platform <laughs> Ugg with these niggas, bro. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Hey, I, you know what I'm saying? You in the yeah. fashion. You see Kanye parading around. First, how do you feel about his girl? Like, and how she, you know what I'm saying? She dress, you know, like, what's Man. your take on it? She fine, you know what I'm saying? Like I can't bad blame her. She bad, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta show it what? Yeah. Um, but like I mean, they they always like one thing about Kanye is like you know they say like oh we're tired of hearing him like he left the country he went to like Europe like all, most of last year and they still kept following him around over there and it's like honestly listen if I was in Italy with my bitch I'm for sure getting head on one of those boats. Remember that photo where he had his crack out like. <laughs> No shit, my ass I'll get head. Yeah. My dick out too. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Yeah, fuck wrong with y'all. How you feel about the mask he be walking around with? That's like I, I think he got a lot of like enablers who will just like will just eat his words, just deal with it because he's been right every single time. So it's like Fuck it, let him do it. Yeah, you might question your own like sensibility when he probably is in the room and it's like, no, this is wrong. Like, oh, this is the guy who fucking knows all this shit. So, uh, but I, I I don't know. He he's. I feel like if I met him, I never met Kanye. I feel like I met him, like he would just be hard to like communicate with. I don't know. 
Due to the mask. I mean, I, I got I Yeezus tatted guy. on me. Like, he was one of my biggest idols. You got Yeezus tatted on you? Yeah. Damn. What? You got Yeezus tatted on you, yeah. dog? Get your motherfucking ass out of here, dog. <laughs> nigga got Yeezus nah. tatted on him, dog. Damn. Uh, nah, but I, like, I'm a, you know, Kanye, yeah, he... I got inspired where did by the him mask? Where did the mask wearing uh, and the mask creation originate from? I mean, he had that shit that you should with like Margella designed all that shit from around that Ooh, time. But you like, be knowing, God. Nah. You be Margella knowing. designed those masks for Kanye around that time. Yeah, you come be on, knowing. nah. I went on. The, I went to that. T- went on that tour. What? Come on. Went to that tour. Excuse me. Yeah, you so be knowing, dog. Yeah, 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 he, he did those masks, and now people, but people were like, you know, he's coming out of nowhere with this shit. Like nah. All right, but are you rocking the uh, the sock shoes? I'm rocking the sock shoes. How Man. how would you style? You you'd have them like like just say with straight the straight sweats. Right now? Sock are you doing shoes. all black? Or are you doing like a like a I trash like, bag looking sweatsuit? I think that is like an Asian culture, maybe more so probably Japan, something like that. You feel me? Like where they walking around? Yeah, Buddha. <laughs> what the fuck? I think it's, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Japanese, know. karate, you know, I yeah. don't know. Like, it's, the whole shit, yeah. It's giving that to where it's some type of comfortability there. He, but he's that, probably are, figuring out where how they walking around in that. But I would but walk with around that. So are you coming like, you know, baggy daddy jeans? You, you come in flare? You doing skinnies? You doing shorts with I'm those? I'm straight like, Swiss t-shirt. I'm a dad. I, and I think that's more inspo. That's where Kanye just, Swag. You just putting that shit on real quick. Oh, he, that, that's how he styled them. Okay. Yeah, like, I, I go, I'm going to go straight dad. I put on my socks. I walk outside. You feel me? Like, so to have me a little soul under it, I don't I don't mind. You feel me? $820, too. They was $200. But now they $20. I need some. Um, whoever Damn. got whoever got them bitches for twenty dollars, I bet you they selling them for two hundred. So whoever I'm gets sick them, if, yeah, I'm yeah, sick for the pay. ones that spent two hundred on them. That would have been ten pounds. Uh, hopefully they refunded them and gave them their money back. I, I did see that. I think they're refunding everybody one eighty. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. Twenty bucks for that shoe. That shoe for sure costs five dollars to make. Or less. I'm th- I'm thinking like a couple bucks. Couple bucks, twenty dollars. Yeah, ain't no most for that. Dollars off of that shit. That's straight. Yeah, there ain't no like sti- you know. There's a couple stitches, but like that's really about it. Yeah. That's the bare minimum right there. Um, but man, I, I think Kanye is gonna have this shit down till uh, uh till the end of it. I feel like people are always gonna like hold them to like the respect that he's at. Yeah. He's goaded, bro. Like he's somebody that's uncancelable. You know what I mean? Like. We're just gonna accept Kanye for who he is, you know. You can't cancel him. You can't. Knife for what? He's been he's been, ca- ca- he's been attempted to be canceled for like fifteen years, twenty years. You know what I mean? Like, it's no way, dog. Yeah, you can cancel him, man. Um, A lot of people at that George Bush comment, they probably would have checked. That probably would have done their career right there. Like, fuck, I never was able to bounce done. back off of that. You know. But that's where creativity come in, just being a musical genius come in, mm-hmm. just probably being behind the scenes, just a, a, a good person. You can't diminish that, you feel me? Like, no. God knows what's up, you feel me? And, God you know, always knows what's up. God knows what's up, but if you need to be, if you meant to be canceled, your ass is canceled. I swear <laughs> you are. Like, they say cancel culture is, is fake, but you know, no, it's not because some I people never take me- heed to that shit and your ass is gone. Y'all ever met someone personally who got canceled and like their whole shit just went just tanked? Fuck no. Yeah. Nobody ain't even that big for the the masses to kind of put you in that that box to cancel you like that. It's nobody not even that big. You got to be like an ultra star. They try to. They try to. Uh, they try to cancel me on Twitter for the Astros. It went viral twice. They're trying to call me a pedophile, uh, a sexist. This is uh, this oh, is wow. disgusting. They were on my ass. And I've I, never seen it. It was a topic. Yeah, it had like five million impressions. Shout yeah. out to Fulcrum, uh, the um, the live streamer. He he put Twitter posts. He posted and everything, and like they fucking were on my ass and. Uh, they weren't fucking with it, but they like it's like about a fucking ashtray, but they got fucking sex toys everywhere. They got all type of pedophile is crazy like, though. Off the ashtray, come on, wow, like what the fuck? fuck out of here, like it, it, they that, trying to put just, everything on niggas. That's just Twitter nonsense, you know what I'm saying? But like, I can't believe like I saw that last year. I was like, this is ridiculous. What the fuck? Like I'm not out here being crazy, you know what I mean? Like ain't that deep? It's just like. Ashtray, man, I can show you 
motherfucking reference and shit. Nah, man, niggas ain't gonna do that. Oh, but God. let's get into this uh, next one up. My boy Terrence Howard said he's only made 12000 from Hustle and Flow. I want all my people out here, the culture, everybody. He's, he's, you know, you got Tahari, you know. Oh, my gosh. She's, everybody's saying how much money they made, but we haven't had a male figure come out and tell y'all that. Mm. Um, so, you know, Damn. the black women won't be sitting here left alone, man. And shout out to him. Cause Terrence, Terrence Howard is telling y'all he made twelve thousand dollars from Hustle and Flow is crazy, and not only that, they took his royalties from the song that you oh, know shit. that he had, like, and it's just it's super crazy. Now he got to go and sue Paramount. Well, um, can he sue them, or is that something where it's like he just did bad business? You know, like, no, no, I mean, he, he was quick on a check. He didn't. He overlooked some things. Like maybe it depends on the con- uh, contract, but at the end of the day. He sung that song, so he's supposed to get some type of royalty or back in from that shit because those are his vocals. But you know, we I don't know. Obviously, twenty years of know? residuals, my boy, my boy coming for a bag. Oh yeah, twenty years of residuals sounds crazy. He coming for it. I need it all. <laughs> I would I love to say some right. shit like that. Settle what? it out. At twenty <laughs> years me settling down. Maybe twenty years of my life. Yeah, I, I I need that right now. Yeah, that'd be great. Do you think he's gonna win? Yes. They might settle out. Court, they're gonna settle out. Pipe them down. Be like, all right, I got you. How the hell do you only get paid twelve racks for a movie? And influencers are getting paid twelve racks for a post. Well, it was a, it was some a, fucking. Dumb it must have been bad business. Was that, a, that was a movie, right? Or a series? Movie. It was a movie. Yeah, Hustle and Flow was a movie. Oh my goodness, dog! You know, it's that should make millions. That movie is like classic movie. He didn't make money off of Whoop That Trick. It's crazy. Bro, Whoop That Trick. Whoop That Trick. Oh, that trick. Whoop That Trick. <laughs> whoop that trick. <laughs> whoop that trick. <laughs> but 12 bands, man? What's that? Good, like 30 oh, yeah, all that. All the songs. All the songs. That's like 30 bands in, in 2006 or I something like that. Like 12K? 12K in 2006? For a shit. movie? For a I movie, need, though? I need oh, that's a what million. movies were the biggest. That's what they really popped in, yeah. I need a million minimum. I what are you doing? K or like yeah. all that practice. royalties, like non royalties, is crazy though. Like I want, like I, yeah, I wonder if was it uh, you know Paramount that uh, uh, did like a bad deal with them? Like did they say like nah, we ain't fucking with you no more? Or was it like or they just he was like man, I need twelve bands right now. Like could we do something? You know? Or they could finagle it and just know that he didn't read his contract. He ain't looking over it. And he probably ain't going to never look over it because they said we don't read shit. So it could be that. You know what I'm saying? They could be just disrespecting you and just don't take the money. And once you realize, years later, that's what he realized years later. Now nah, it's over with. You feel me? Now you got to come back to us. We're going to sell it off for some little change. We're going to give you some little money. Ain't, ain't what you was supposed to get any motherfucking way. And yeah. that's how they going to get it. Business is scandalous out here, bro. Business is really wow. But oh, it's cutthroat for sure. What? You yeah, can't. twelve thousand is why I would never think he'll be getting twelve thousand for a film ever. Like he's one of the, he's a, he's a great 20, rapper. That, that is just insane. To yeah, me. That, he's a yeah. Great, that, he's that, a great that's actor. offensively low. That is offensive. And this isn't not. Nah, he's been it's a not his first yeah movie. exactly. Yeah, he's a great actor. Like, that's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great. He's a great actor. That's fucked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Man, what yeah. kind of agent? Yeah. I don't know what they had going on with that. They they gotta get that figured out though. I wonder when they're passing out that those checks that day, and you know he's looking at his like you know his co stars and shit like, hey, what you get? Like, sure, where everyone's like, man, yeah, I got I got half so a mil, bro. If he got twelve thousand, yeah. them niggas got five dollars. What T I get? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. T I what do he get? Thirty five hundred. <laughs> that is wild. Yeah. Hey, we need to know what you got for hustle and flow, homie, because that nigga got twelve thousand. And how much should hustle and flow bring in? Oh my goodness, what whoop that trick? That shit is diamond, nigga. <laughs> when that shit that came out, like, how much did the movie make? Like, but that's when that's physicals were hot. You know what I mean? Where you know they could, they're really selling like DVDs and shit. Yeah. You know, so those wow. are like hard dollars that were really I hope coming he gets in. His money. I hope he gets what he's owed. Yeah, I hope he get what he owe too, man. Uh, yeah, that, that's woman horrible goes right there. For taping a pad to her baby. I saw that earlier today, bro. That's despicable. They need to take that kid away. She's just flexing. Oh, She's no. like anti-flexing. Or maybe she didn't have a diaper. She said, "Come on, in t- income tax. I just taped this pad on my baby." Uh oh, yeah. Oh, so she, she was trying she to go viral. No money. Yeah. Well, she's she in the trenches. She's she trying to go viral. 
it she throwing hurt. emojis she and shit. Off the baby though. Yeah. yeah. That's tape, right? Yeah, that might hurt her skin. You could Elsa probably ask. Like, you know, yeah. She's doing what she has to do for her baby or whatever, but she needs to open off? a GoFundMe. Yeah, that's not cool. Yeah, like, hey, I need fifty bucks real quick. Who got me? Let's Aww. get some donations in, but. I ain't got no diapers. If I ever come to that, look, I don't give a fuck who in this motherfucker like it. But if I ever come to that and I ain't got no diapers, I ain't got no money, and I can't get it, I'm going to the store and I'm taking that shit. What? Yeah. On the For set. Sure. What am I doing? Like, if you Target, ask, Walmart, yeah. nigga, the grocery store, yeah. wherever it's going. I'm still in them diapers. They got them at the it's hospital. No fucking Walk way. up to the front desk. Yo, can you can I get a diaper real quick? Like, come on. She's trying to go viral. She's funny. It's no way, dog. Yeah. It's no way. I'm you go to a, you go to a jam packed Walmart, you ask ten people, they're all gonna say, Oh yeah, I got you. Yeah, maybe one might not might not, but like you odds are it's like, yeah. True. I mean, as a woman too, if you and you standing in the diaper aisle, you got your baby or whatever the case may it may be. I, you can try your luck too with asking a motherfucker like, "Hey, look, I ain't got it." You feel me? Is like, it I irresponsible of the mom? Like, what would have been more disappointing? She had diapers for the baby, or she didn't have pads for herself? Diapers for the baby. Diapers for the baby. The baby. Yeah, that's you ain't got priority. Pads for yourself, even that's stink. You dirt, that's stink. Yeah, you down. You might as well yeah. go down stinking. I mean, you could put some toilet paper in your panties and keep it moving. Like, this is a baby. Like, the baby needs diapers. Yeah, some toilet paper in your tape is crazy great. though. Tape. I mean, if tape. you don't got no pads, ah, oh, yeah. I, you just feel you can just feel that right now, like ah, ripping off, right? Yeah, yeah stretching the that. skin and shit. You know, like yeah, that's, ah. that's what I'm talking about, is getting it off and changing. All that like sticky she, glue on the body too. Oh, it's all that residue baby. and shit. Poor baby, man. Poor baby. Yeah, man. Go yeah. back to my topics, fool. Yeah, on to a lighter subject. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's even crazier, too. Florida cop mistake. What, what do they say, man? What the Florida cop talking about? I can't even see that. So the Florida cop mistaken acorns as shots are fired. I saw this. This is crazy. So, like. So he literally just, just heard, like, acorns. Shots fired! Shots fired! He resigned the next day. Needless to say, fucking dickhead. Like what? Yeah, what a piece of like, shit. He, he, he sh- yeah, he aired somebody out. Like yeah, I'm gonna he resign. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I don't, I don't uh, think he killed them, but he, he shot somebody yeah. Who's already in the back of his car. So he thought the shots came from outside on, the inside dog. of his car. What? He arrested someone, put him in the back, and then the acorn hit the windshield. So he thought the nigga had a gun in there somehow. God, what a dummy. But if you patted him down, how the fuck would he have a gun? That's crazy. Yeah, you needed to resign, sir. What the fuck, bro? bro. What part of Compton you from? Uh, from the east side. You from the east side? Yeah. Oh, you from Bloods? No, you know Chili Dub? Yeah, that's like my uncle. That's your uncle? That's hey, talk about cousin. your like story, bro. He, here, come yeah. to the front. He's hey, sh- hey shout story. out, shout out, my nigga Chili Dub, man. I seen that nigga in the chat. Um, you just walk around, yeah. fool. Just walk around. He's about to jump over your leg and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good, man. You know what I'm saying? We in the living room in this motherfucker. Shout out Chili Dub. I just seen you. I opened my phone and just seen you one time in the chat, man. And he was like, that's my boy Andy. Like, but yeah, man. What's going on, I'm man? You from the east side of Compton. I don't, I don't gang bang, though. You from the east side of Compton? Yeah, I grew up with the fruits, but I'm originally from India. Yeah, That's you grew up with the fruits. Thing about this whole <laughs> shit, bro. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> How long you been knowing Chili Dub? Like that's uh, that's like like you know like I I really stayed in that neighborhood, so he always looked looked out for me like family. Yeah. Made sure I went to the studio, type of thing, you know. Yeah. Made sure I had the right. Uh, I was connected with the right people. 
write engineers, write producers, stuff the like that. The accent is distinctive, bro. I love him to death for that, dog. Yeah, <laughs> that's my cousin, dog. You feel me? My relative on bloods. So you feel me? On fruits. I fuck with my nigga on Paul <laughs> Rook. That's my boy. That's crazy. Like, look, people come on back on finger. I'm back on finger is crazy. Like, cause everybody be knowing somebody from somewhere, even if they see your ass all the way in the back, man. We gonna bring you up here to talk about it, man. See what's going on, yeah, man. He hit me up. He hit me up earlier. What you on today? I'm like, man, push up. We fuck it. Yeah. 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 Back on fig. We doing it, man. <laughs> How long you been out here? Since 2013. 2013. Yeah. Since 2013. Yeah. Damn. How, how was it? You feel me? How was it back in your in your hometown? I came Your out country. Here, um, originally, I came out here for music school, so I wasn't expecting, like, you know, India is so, so different. Like, we have, I mean, we have uh, cows outside and, like, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> like, yeah. for the lack of a better word, it's really third, third world. It's going to wow. move out here. It wasn't much different, but it was just still, like, I learned a lot. Like, you know, because coming is it's humbling. It's humbling. Yeah. Oh, it's humbling, yeah. humbling. Did it? Did you living in Compton? Did anybody kind of like bother you and shit like that? Like you know, make you feel uncomfortable because of where you was from? No, a lot of people embraced me. Embrace you. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I'm man. not trying to be who you know, like anybody else. Yeah. You see how we do in Compton, homie? You know what I'm saying? You see how we do in the ghetto? Yeah, man. We homies. Like, bro, where you from? Oh, it's my nigga. You know what I'm saying for me, nigga. We in this motherfucker. <laughs> They be doing that. you like that, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm Barber is my nigga in the end in this motherfucker. <laughs> no, I feel like that's that's for LA County in general, you know? Yeah. yeah people yeah. are really receptive to places uh-huh. because it's such a melting pot cultures. Yeah. You ever ran into any trouble being out here? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you gotta Hell drive, yeah. you know what I mean? These niggas got the burner in the whip, maybe some little dope. You gotta speed up, make the right, you feel me? Yeah. It's uh, what you didn't got into, bro. <laughs> He's high as fuck. <laughs> God, what you didn't got into? You ain't gotta say no names, but just say you got into some wild shit before. We in the ghetto, you from the ghetto. We trying to initiate you, bro. Some- <laughs> no, no, hell no, none of that, none of that, none of that. Yeah. This is my first two weeks from India. I, I mean, like, uh, for the lack of a better word, I say, I made a money play with somebody. Yeah, like three, four people. I was waiting for them to double up that money or whatever, you know. Uh, yeah, I had seen, I had seen uh, Hoover Street, I had seen Grape Street, I had seen Paru Street. You know stuff like that long live my pops rare room he was one of those people that had like you know um showed me la and stuff like that like you know uh-huh. so i had i had like a rough idea but i didn't have a rough idea at the same time because i'm from india you know yeah. i am a foreigner i'm waiting for this uh the so-called money to double up or whatever um I keep asking the person where's the money at he says on crib street <laughs> uh, mind you, I'm fresh from India, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking, uh, I don't want to feel dumb. Because, yeah. you know, you're like, I might, I might just be disrespectful. Yeah. So I search it on, on, on the GPS. I don't see it. Yeah. Uh, say Crip Street. Like it says so the, you search Crip Street? Yeah, it just says... <laughs> Put the camera on his <laughs> It says <laughs> Search Crip Street <laughs> It said No results found <laughs> No results found so, <laughs> so me Just really being from India Like I'm not I'm not thinking yeah. Like I want to be out of place You know I want to be Like you know At the same time I don't want to be stupid Or whatever Fast forward short, I asked him, where Crip Street at? <laughs> <laughs> he like, uh, the, <laughs> ask me that again. You yeah, came wrong, cuz. Say They're rolling. Where <laughs> Crip Street at, bro? 
<laughs> so you asked the nigga where Chris G was at? Yeah. The other nigga from the side, dopey me. He like, oh, bad disrespect. Oh, oh, talk to your mic, please, cuz. <laughs> this said, is crazy. I got dopey me by somebody on the side. He like, can't disrespect the whole car. <laughs> 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 And I really was from India, like, the whole time, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> so you got dope feet, boy, nigga, cuz. What is dope feet? Oh, then he socked that nigga in the back oh, of the head. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> I ain't Fuck. nigga, you disrespect the whole court on Crip Street. He said Indian cuz, crazy. <laughs> Indian cuz. <laughs> And now I'm coming. Well, Even blood on Paul Roo. P I R U. Yeah, he all of that. That is hilarious. Hey, what's up with the? Hey, where the biggest front that be at the gas station trying to sell us gold? I don't know. I don't represent for all the Indian community. <laughs> all the old brown community. <laughs> yeah, I might be the first of <laughs> India, but I'm not the first of every Indian. <laughs> So they Indian though. They Indian though, right? Hey, I done got some gold plated pieces before, bro. Oh, I, no. I, yeah, man. Damn, no, come on. Them niggas be at the gas station trying to serve us, homie. With the kids in the back. Yeah. With the kids in the back, come on. Oh uh, no, you ain't gotta call in, homie. You gotta call in. Them niggas be in Yukon trucks, Cadillac trucks. Oh god. Yeah, like what's going on? They'll make it believable because they hop out Cadillac truck like they don't need it. Yeah. Feel me? Uh, yeah, I really just need to flip this. I yeah, I just need to flip this real quick. You know what I'm saying? Take this gold. Fuck Sorry, with me. $40. Yeah. I got it. It's 14 care. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Let's scratch it straight. I dig on my nigga. <laughs> I can't beat the face of all of them. He's a hot secret now. Oh, my boy, that's funny. You don't have any family out here? No, I don't have no family out here. No family no. out here. Wow. I moved out here. That's why, uh, you know, certain people that went. Including Blasi, like they really made me feel like family out here. I'm seven thousand miles away from home. Damn. Seven thousand miles away from home. So who do you talk to on a daily? Like, what's your what's your holidays look like? Your you know what I mean? Your Thanksgivings, your roots, you know, Christmas, you know, if you celebrate that. Shut off. Try to FaceTime the family. Stuff oh. like that. Yeah. Try to kick with the homies or like you know, uh, rest in peace, my big bro, uh, Sosa. Mm-hmm. Um, he was from Compton, uh, so I go and spend, you know, like, go to his cemetery, stuff like that. Oh, yes. What, what, what's up with Pops and, and Moms? The, uh, my my mom's in India. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then Pops? Uh, my Pops passed away. Your Pops passed away. That was Red Rum, who you was talking about, right? Uh, yeah, he was, like, a, uh, out here. He out like here. Pop- Your real Pops passed away. Yeah, same year, actually. S- damn, the yeah. same year? Ir- ironically, yeah. Damn, bro. How does it feel to be out here with no family? It's cool. It's more of an in- incentive to keep the music going. You know, it's not too many people that put on for it. Like Indian. the Indians. So, you know, me coming where... He uh, has, a, like, such a unique perspective. Like, that's yeah. that's something you just hear about, like, in a, in a, in a skit. Or, you know what I mean? Like, you hear about a story about, like, what? Like, like you someone think- grew up in India, then they land in the middle of Compton. Like, you don't hear that. What? <laughs> like, no. Yeah, that's, this shit don't even sound real. <laughs> and then he said he got dope fiend. What's some sneakers from Crip? <laughs> Because he was trying to make a transaction. <laughs> First of all, how the fuck you even know about the transactions? Man, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. That's the first thing you learned. <laughs> my nigga I'm came out here and transaction shit going on. Would never you going. ever move back to India? Uh, I, would, I would travel. Yeah, just go so, visit. Yeah. yeah. But can you? And um, currently, I can't. You can't. Yeah. Uh, cause you stuck. Oh, I know. We know somebody else that came out here for school, and then, you know, they just stuck out here. Who? Uh, Big Chief. Oh, Big Chief. Yeah. Big Chief. You know what I'm saying? They can't go Where's back and from? see their family or whatever. I know. I'm, I'm not sure where. I forgot where he was from, but uh, he can't go back to his. They both can't go back to their country because oh, they came yeah. out here for school or whatever, traveling out oh, here for they school. They get into a bag. Yeah, they they are getting to a bag. But yeah, they can't even go to fucking Mexico. They can't do nothing. They oh, just they yeah, all I'm United States. Agree. So that's you too, right? Yeah. Just all United oh, States. We about to hit TJ. I mean, now we can't because I'm, I'm on the I'm on the O1 visa, but it still permits me to not be able to go back home without certain uh, appointments and mm. being able to, you know. How did you? How 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 hard was that to get that visa? 
uh, only certain people could get it. Mm. Uh, it's called uh, artist visa. It's uh, given to people of uh, certain eligibility. They match it. That could be, I would say, you gotta be um, have a certain amount of views. You gotta be uh, in certain blogs, certain magazines, stuff like that. And all this stuff uh, was organic for me. Mm. You know? So, so yeah. the music is doing good for you. Here and there, I would say, like I, I love it though. I yeah. caught him. I caught him one day just on a blog, and I was like, I, I reached out. I'm like, bro, what? You so dope. Like, <laughs> I do that once a week. You yeah. know, as a brand of artist, I'll just tap in with everybody. I want to be everywhere. Come on. Yeah. The, what I'm kind of music you do though? Uh, it's it's like West Coast music. Basically. West Coast, but, but do like, you tie in the Indian? Yeah, I got Indian samples. Samples. Like oh, that. okay. It's my story, basically. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. So you have a lot of fans, you know, saying coming from your side of the world. Um, you'd be surprised. It's mostly people here that tap in with me because of the story. Oh. Do you have a YouTube or anything where we can find you, look you yeah, up, watch find. videos? Like, what's the song I want that if, if they would people uh, at home? Like, how would they? Like, what, what's the best one to hear? Like, Scavenger by Ella. That's the. That's the. That's uh, your rap name. That's my rap name. That's Ella? my YouTube name. Oh, Scavenger by Ella. Can you pull it up, six? Ella. Hey, this nigga called, homie, from the east side of Compton. <laughs> I cannot fucking believe this shit, homie. Wow. Let's go, y'all. You feel me? Let's go. What are these niggas talking about, man? I got a bigger, a closer look at y'all right now in the chat. We almost got 5,000 likes. Let's oh get to God. it. We got 4.5. <laughs> you feel thing? me? <laughs> this nigga like, Blasi like, God damn. Blah, blah. We got to go go do it. <laughs> nah, we doing it tonight. Blasi don't want to give away that 50%, but 50% is nah, coming. Let's do it. Let's hear this. Can we hear this? Can they, the chat see it too? I mean... <laughs> No, we ain't finna get. He ain't finna take my money. Oh God, he, he's gonna nah. up on a bag. Nah, uh, he ain't. His, his Indian ass ain't finna <laughs> take my money. <laughs> yeah, he swagged out. Yeah. Yeah, you got some hoes up in there. All that. Yeah. He swagged out. Don't play with this boy. You feel me? What's going on? What happened to your uh, reaction screen? That shit dumb, huh? You want that on the reaction screen? It'll still get monetized. Even if he showed the video. Yeah. Oh, that's wild. I didn't know that. But y'all make sure y'all go tap in. Well, tap in with his Instagram then. Or show the just Just tap in with his Instagram, not yeah. the YouTube. At, you want to see it? Uh, it's at India's only. I-N-D-I-S only. O-N-L-Y. Yeah, man. Tap in with my boy on Instagram. We going to see what it do, man. Yeah, my boy Indian Cuz. You feel me? <laughs> Indian Cuz is crazy. <laughs> Hey, we didn't took that nigga from y'all. <laughs> hey, Chili back. Dub, that's out, fool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? AC. E. She said this episode, wow. You feel me? Hindu Prince. <laughs> Indian High Power. You they, feel me? They said Bollywood Blood. W Stream. You feel me? Bollywood, Bollywood Blood. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Bollywood. Yeah, I, that I think he said Bollywood blood. I love that. Here we go, man. Nah, he don't want to do none of that. He want to be associated with none of that shit. <laughs> he is himself. He is trying to rap. He is trying to get out the way. Okay. Don't don't have my boy in none of that because he can go anywhere, do anything, and he can hustle. Period. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like that's fat. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Go <laughs> pull up the craziest shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's you? No, that's not me. I wasn't even in. I wasn't even in the states. <laughs> hey, if that was you, boy, that is crazy, homie. Oh, yeah. that's your chain. Oh, that's tight. <laughs> yeah. Boy, you got the rap. You don't wear the rap. Ain't gonna wear the rap. You ever wear the rap around your head? What is it called? Uh, a turban. The turban. You don't I wear try that. it. I mean, my peoples do wear it, but you don't wear it. You don't fuck with it. They never like. They never had a problem with it. Oh, okay, okay, for sure. Okay, yeah, my boy in here, man. I told him like once he's allowed to go. I, I'm trying to go check that shit out. Come on. All time I saw some yeah, street food videos though. It kind of fucked my head up. Oh yeah, all that is propaganda. All oh, that's propaganda. Yeah. He said that is street food video propaganda. Um, 
Cause those street food like videos is crazy where they be cooking yeah. wild shit, dog. No, like sure. eating rats and cooking rat <laughs> they frying yeah. shit. No, this wild shit. And I'll be like, huh? What the fuck are they doing? No, we don't like, do that in India for sure. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a, uh, As a member of the Southeast Asian community, yeah. we don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though, there's a uh, like in Zacatecas and Mexico they be having rat soup. Rat yeah. soup? You can search it up. Yeah, Mexico. Rat soup? Don't, yeah, you don't have to, but... No, we're not searching that up. Yeah. We're not doing none of that. We don't know what none of that is. That shit sound crazy, homie. Rat soup is wild, yeah. man. But we almost got 5,000 likes. We're going to sit in here till we get 5,000 likes. Oh, Blasley ain't going God. no more. Well, How about we, we got? 4K. We have 1,000. No, hold on. No, we ain't got no... No, 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 no. You on the wrong shit, Let homie. Very fresh. It's 4K. 4K? Yeah. I thought it was 4.5. Oh, that was viewers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but sorry. You feel me? <laughs> we got a thousand more likes. Come on. Blazzy, we ain't let Blazzy get out of here on the hook. We, uh, no, we, it's 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. Oh, my God. We've been in here. How long we been in here, dog? Three and a half hours. I love it, man. I could sit in here for eight hours. I don't give a fuck. I'll sit in this bitch by myself. Yeah. Listen, hey, if you ever want to feel the day, I'll be more than happy to pull up. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is dope. Because y'all do this on a regular. Y'all sit in here for... Y'all Y'all the ones that taught me. I'm like, damn, Blasi and them just went for four hours. <laughs> and it was crazy on stream. Y'all yeah. was the first ones doing that shit. You know, I thought it was like crazy. But once you really get in here and you start really, really, really having fun with this shit, you can go that amount yeah, of time. Yeah, the conversation what yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know nah, and I, I had a lot of fun like i said bro i appreciate uh, uh i appreciate you inviting me inviting you know letting me and the homies pull up and shit like that like this is dope bro yeah this shit was super uh fun bro the uh Dealing with the chat, man. You know, they're fucking hilarious. Bro. They loved your comedy stand up. Yeah, they loved your comedy stand up, dog. Man, it, it was uh, it was some it was some laughs and cries in here. <laughs> was, five thousand likes. Valley. Yeah, can we get five k likes? Five thousand likes, y'all. Five thousand likes. Big Orange is in the chat. Five thousand <laughs> likes. Blasi can't go nowhere till we get that. We got a couple <laughs> super chat. Let's do it. Come on. Five thousand likes. The homie fucked up, man. Uh, they said, uh, uh don't wait, are we on super time? Yeah, you good. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. go ahead. Okay, cool. Uh, Joe, Joel Bravo said, Blazzy drop that high fashion or obvious. Drop that. Blazzy dropped that high fashion. Um, I don't know what that means. You guys? Or obvious. Mm. Uh, Juan Marquez, 499, man. He said, Blazzy, your boy's in the back shroom booming and your jokes had me crying. <laughs> you're, you're shroom booming? I don't know what that means, but yeah. <laughs> he, got that, he got that Baltimore accent, bro. Woo! You feel me? Yeah, don't worry about nothing, yeah, man. Yeah, man. They, they said Buddy in the back look like a bugger. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What does it say? Why, why is Smack not here with y'all? Y'all already know that. Um... BJC said, "How smack on IG live, y'all? Come on, man! Like you know, he's going. He just did some shit. Uh, <laughs> Blazzy sitting zesty as hell. No, I'm not. <laughs> T-Rail getting to him. Oh God, I don't know what's going oh on, my man. God. <laughs> what? Whoa, it's going on this side of the couch, man. They said smack is now, man. We heard you the first time. Okay, I don't like that. yeah. Well, my nigga partying on IG live. Well, y'all gotta get on Smack's head in the comments, you know." Let, let him know where he sh well no excuse me he had to read you know he had to read and be gone but um your mama loved me uh my checkout my self checkout game cold I get two three free boxes for I get two three boxes for free I think they're referring to the um to the Pampers or the, or the you know mm. diapers but yeah well go ahead and steal some Blasi what's up when can we get this Photoshop tutorial I would like to um. I just think that there's there's just a lot of uh, good tutorials and assets out there. I'll probably get a tutorial more on like the the product development. I feel like there's not too much information on that, but like how to how to make a certain shirt, how to do a certain brand style. That's all on YouTube. Like go go watch a good forty minute video on it. You'll do it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But shout out to the chat, man. Y'all y'all made this shit active. Y'all made this shit fun, man. They said clear bath is crazy. So are you gonna be able to? Uh, 
Like, are, are y'all gonna you gonna try out the uh, taking the a bath? bath? Yeah, I ain't taking no baths, man. But we need five thousand likes. He trying to get me to have take a bath. You feel me? Floating. I'm just saying, bro. Nuts I... floating in the water, man. <laughs> Nah, nah, man, I ain't finna go all nuts floating nah. in the water, bro. <laughs> so you just all in that motherfucker just floating. Yeah, bro, with my back, you know what I'm saying? Like a couple, you know. Ah, oh, nah, nuts floating in the water back, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. I'm laying on my back. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but not like sitting in there, you know? <laughs> 5,000 likes when we get up out of here. What was that last one right there? What's that what, that one from 499 right there? They said, at? E-Monster said, Blasi, are you going to restock the million-dollar piggy bank? I will not. I heard rumors that they have them on grill right now for like six, 700 Shit, I'm finna sell mine. <laughs> no, nah, but uh, no, nah, they don't have. Uh, we're not going to let those go. We, we might do like a $2 version, though, but it'll never look like that again. Nah. Nah. Nah, why you don't want to do it over again? Um... You know, some books are better lo- left closed. I made that shit up right there. <laughs> nah, but I don't know. It's like I could make some money, but I, I feel like I, I really just want to spare my output and make sure that uh, I keep that reputation of just good shit, fresh shit, you know? Yeah. Hell yeah. Keep it going. You yeah. know what I'm More creativity. Yeah, let, let's get these super, sat- super chats in. Fuck your fresh 499, man. He said, Blast Lord, my whole family from Zacatecas, and I've been hella times, never heard of rat soup. Well, Google it, motherfucker. You're not really a Zacatecano. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> Got him. No, I, I'm, I'm not on rat soup like that. I just, I fell into like a, a wormhole on TikTok of a. Uh, um, just rat soup out there and like like in the hood you know what I mean like yeah my boy said the uh, they putting the, the turbans in the chat put the turbans in the chat that's my boy oh, he got God, emojis man. in this motherfucker man when you get an emoji you done dilly you feel me <laughs> you sick out here when you get an emoji man make sure y'all like this video that's... man we trying to get the 5,000 likes man put the turbans in the chat one time bro oh god we, we some good turbans in the chat man big turbans in the chat <laughs> he going up my nigga making deals out here yeah man turbans in the chat, I mean, I see y'all. Y'all oh, funny, we man. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Put the turbans in the chat, man. Make sure y'all like the video. Like the video right now, man. How much we got? Four point what? Two. Four point two, man. We need eight hundred more likes. Go call your thousand cousin. people in here. Tell you want fifty percent. Like Blasi, the video. Any future collabs you could speak on? Honestly, there's a lot of really, really good ones. Um, but ones that I could speak on, um, Asali, Half Evil. Um, but there's like two that are fucking huge that are life changing collabs. But you know, talk is cheap and their their talk is cheaper, so we'll see what they're really talking about, you know. But uh it, it's a lot of dope shit on the way. Like I said, like me and T Real, we gotta get it in. You know what I'm saying? Like there's uh, you guys obviously already have the branding for it and all that, like what it's nothing for me to help you and get these made, you know what I mean? Like we just gotta come together. So that's, that's something y'all could look forward to. I hope I'm gonna put that on the air right there for y'all. You know what I mean? Let's let's really do this shit. Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's do it, man. We gonna come with my boy Blasty because you really be doing it up, man. You be focused on your shit, you, your craft is, you know, speaking for itself and people starting to appreciate that shit. Like I said, you winning awards, you getting out here, you doing your thing. Yeah, man, I be trying out here. You know, not trying too hard, though. You know, I should have went crazier. I ain't gonna lie. But look, this year, I, you know, be careful what you wish for, maybe, but like, I've never experienced burnout. You know what I mean? Thank God I've been given the opportunity to kind of like do this shit right. But I wanna, I wanna try to really like, Give it my all, you know what I mean? Like, really give my give, give this year a 10. You know what I mean? I really want to come 10, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, so no slacking, man. I'm on my shit. Yeah, that's right, man. Yeah. What, how you feel about Complex Con? Um, it's politics in there. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, personally, I'm not, I'm not really, uh, a, a, a f- I'm not really into it too much. I think that, um, you know, us as uh, brand owners, like, we're doing them a favor. We're doing them a service. Like, Complex Con, you know, they got brands there. But, like, we're really bringing the foot traffic. The people who are really posting are these brands, you know. And, like, the money that people put in, like, five, ten bands, bro. Like, if you don't go to Melrose and, you know, set up shop for the weekend for five, ten bands, bro, you have a way more um, direct experience than what you would experience if you just had a booth at a Complex Con. Like, I don't think it's, like... Um, but shot. I know, I know people who work there. It's like they're good people, you know. But it's just like I'm not really into it, you know. Mm-hmm. I want to like, I want to develop my own kind of thing uh, with that. But um, 
Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, that shit is kind of it's kind of wild. It's 15, 15, 20. It, it depends what on up? the space, and it's just and then you got to create the space after you buy their little small space, and it's just not worth it. And what it's, I, it's really clout, homie. Mm-hmm. And what I what really what I want to share with the audience is like. Listen, one thing I experienced last year is I was doing these events for different uh, categories. You know, I was going to these cannabis events and like I get way more love. You get way more uh, engagement doing these events rather than doing some clothing where everyone, you know, you don't go to a, you know, you you go to a burger event. You're going to get tired of seeing burgers. You're going to want some some fries. You want some pizza. You know, you got to so you got to just pull up to um, pull up on crowds that aren't used to seeing dope shit. You know, that's why I signed the homies. You got to communicate to the right markets, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like there's there's a lot of storytellers that don't do a good job in certain categories, and if you're able to show them your work, you know what I mean, on like these little like outskirts, listen, like the the food community pages, man, the um, you know, the weed pages, they'll comment great things. It's all love, it's all hearts, all all dope shit. If it's a fashion page, it's all talky shit. You know what I mean? Like, um, I've just learned that like the fashion community is just like. They're airheads. They're fucking assholes. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm way more into um to the real communities and shit. You know the real people touching. Yeah, the what? And, yeah. and you know, real people. You know, they're not into fashion. You know what I mean? They're, they're so whenever they see some dope shit, they could unbiasedly accept it and like it. I get a kick out of that more than I, I feel like it's way it, you're you're doing a better job at selling a shirt to like the dude who just wears Puma shirts and Nike shirts. A streetwear shirt than you would be if someone already wears streetwear and is gonna buy that shit. I feel like you're doing more of an impact. Yeah, you know? for sure. I hate when I get too deep, bro. I get like a little too like. I like hearing talk-y. it. I, I like hearing it though. I like hearing it. I ain't I'm glad it. you like hearing it, bro. My office, they tired yeah. of it. They're like, Blasi crazy. You need to shut up already. Nah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm in this motherfucker. We didn't already been in here almost four hours. We probably ain't gonna get to five thousand likes because we got to get the fuck up out of here. Oh God, you know man. what I'm saying? What time? They told my car and everything out there. Huh? Four point three. Four point three. Fuck, we get forty percent off. Fuck these niggas, man. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, saying? yeah. We, Y'all did it up though. Let's do a coin toss for forty or fifty. Let's do a, right, let's do a coin, coin toss. toss right now. We was trying to get the five thousand likes, but we, right. you know what I'm saying we had four point three. We'll a quarter in here, so shit. But we gonna do a coin toss. You know what I'm saying? Heads or tails? If not, I'm flipping my phone. You feel me? Oh, don't flip your phone. Who got a coin? Oh, my boy oh, got I, change I, I, in I his pocket. Genuine. He on another level of ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> He had a gang of change in that motherfucker too. That means he got every coin. Dimes, pennies, nickels, quarters. That nigga lost his motherfucking mind sitting in there, bruh. Alright. Alright, heads and tails. Heads 40%, uh, tails 50. Alright, let's call it. Alright, give me heads. 40%. Uh, ah, sorry, woo! Forty percent off, man. That's you feel still me? A deal. Nothing personal. You know what? We still doing yeah. 50. I'm fucking with y'all. We doing fifty. We doing you still 50. gonna do fifty? Yeah. Love that. My boy still gonna do fifty for y'all. He finna give y'all a code right now, oh, bro. You know we having fun with it. What? I love. I had a good time, man. Let's celebrate. Man, my my, he, my boy gonna give y'all a code right now, man, for fifty percent off. Nothing personal. Come see what it do, man. You Nothing feel me? Personal.com. Yeah, nothing the, the nothing personal shop dot com. The the nothing personal shop dot com. Yeah, also check out uh Sorella Boutique, Money for Nails, um, dot com. Yeah. Also we just dropped the brand new cocktails with Heather A. D. Terrell and Lexi. We did a Valentine's Day drop. Make sure y'all go check that out, run the likes up. All right, so you could probably do this checkout code in the next like ten minutes, but it's good it's gonna be B O F fifty. B O F fifty, you get fifty percent on your entire order. Wow! And listen, we have a we have a service on the on we have we have insurance for your packages, guys. Sometimes shit gets lost through UPS, and it puts us in a hard position, especially when these uh, items are sold out. Sometimes, so you we now offer insurance. It's like a dollar, you know what I mean. So make sure y'all go ahead and uh, check out with that as well. But um, uh, yeah, let me uh, I'll make sure we're good on that. B O F fifty. Make sure y'all put in y'all code right now. And if y'all don't put in the code, y'all just lost out. You feel me? Y'all yeah. don't go tell y'all homies, oh, well, this is it. You feel me? Make sure y'all go get this laundry bag. I'm telling you, it's the best laundry bag you'll ever yeah. get purchase in life. That shit is hard. It's I ain't so gonna good. You got to take this one home. because Especially if you single. If you single and you ain't got no laundry, laundry basket. Oh, God. You're like six <laughs> of the bitches outside. You need that, man. You need that, man. 50% off, man. B-O-F-50. Yo, Chris, can you you put that code up on the site? 
Somebody, our King Jeff. Thank you so Joe much. Joe yeah, said, "Find the my ass. likes with the yeah. views. Don't worry about nothing." The, ch- the wow. chat, the chat's ripping my shit, man. Pause, they want pause. that. They All want right. that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. They, they're not. They're not. <laughs> they're chilling. All right, ladies. Y'all go shop with them. Thank you so much, Shot Chris. Yeah. Oh God, man, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, man. Yeah, use code. Oh shit, we got what the fuck night tiger. Come on. Nah, nah, no. hell nah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, man, you was okay. called BO50. <laughs> yeah. I, I think like, it thought Tiger was for love, promoting like, his call. He on the promo. I'm like, <laughs> man, my ass right now. Tiger. <laughs> I see the little wrench by his name. I'm like, that's official. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Tiger promoting the call, man. Use code BOF, man, on uh, nothingpersonalshop.com. BOF50, one, yeah. one word. BOF50, all caps. Yeah, BOF50. Let's yeah, do it. Man. 50% off that's oh, crazy yeah gang of items gang of items man there, but listen man. if you're watching this tomorrow at work tomorrow while you're cleaning make sure y'all like it regardless I, by the end of the stream man if that shit ain't at, at a if it ain't at 5k likes by noon tomorrow man i'm refunding all y'all <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm around. yeah man we no nah, now nah, we in that Stop. we in here yeah. man but uh back on fig you know what i'm no, saying thank you so Monday much for Friday. inviting me yeah, yeah. Yeah, Monday and Friday back. At, I don't know why I'm back, but it's my go show. Ahead, go, ahead. go ahead, right? It's your show, too. <laughs> and we really do. Yeah, it. man, check it out. Listen, back on Fig on Mondays and Fridays. We start at 4 p.m. We might end at 8 p.m. some nights. Come check us out Monday Monday and Friday. 4 p.m. And you catch us on YouTube, man. Listen, the best content. You're not going to find a, uh, find a better podcast in a liquor store. And you get 100% off. I don't know. You bitch. You yeah, know? you bitch. You know what I mean? Monday Come Friday, on now. You feel me? 4 p.m. This is what we doing. Back on <laughs> Fig. You feel me? All the homies, we in this motherfucker. We doing it up, man. But make sure y'all like this video. Comment. You feel me? Subscribe to the channel if you ain't already. Subscribe to the channel, man. And, 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 we, and if you we'll made it, and if you made it to the end of this podcast, let us know in the comments if I should do uh, the stand up shit or not. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, you might catch me <laughs> at the comedy club in in five months. I don't know. We gonna work on it. We gonna work on it. Let's see if we get two minutes of my five minutes for do no show, Woo! man. Hey, I'm there. W's in the I'm chat. There. What? W's in the mm-hmm. chat. Let's do it. Him. Come on. W's in the chat, man. Hell we yeah, go, man. Yeah. We up out of here. Don't worry yeah, about nothing. Yeah. yeah.